Saturday. So it's that Saturday feeling. Oh, it definitely is a feeling as well, isn't it? Yeah. Chris and I were just yes, McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's Chris, coffee. Yeah, Chris and I were just saying actually. We were like, ah, oh, I love working the weekends. I do. And the traffic's really good to drive down in. It's really quiet and we love them dearly, but there's no office. It's just <laughs> us. It's just us. And my goodness, is it going to be a Saturday? I mean, I can't believe the stuff that's on this desk. I mean, it's just we are luscious. Stacked. stacked. Loads of beautiful brand new promos for you today. Brand new premiere opportunities. This hour, as ever, lovely jewellery makers, it's lounge hour. So take Ooh. a little look at our website. Have a little peruse, have a little schmooze and all the goodies that we have for you. Some are priced accordingly, some will be going even lower. And as always, you can drop us a message in the studio um, and drop a request if you wish. Um, yeah, Debbie, firstly, lovely to see you. And you. Ah, we always have fun, don't we? We do, I haven't seen you for a while. It has been a while. Mm -mm. I said this only the other day, actually, with, with yesterday with Susie. You've not seen Susie for a while. Not seen Susie. Not it's seen funny how the shifts work, isn't it? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. It's been ages, so it's lovely okay. to have you with me oh, today. Thank you. Talk. Let's talk about your kits. <gasps> well, <laughs> well, in my nine a.m. kits, we've got spacer bees, but they're not just any spacer. Bees. No, brand new. Um, we've had these manufactured in our factories, and they've actually, you know, like usually you would see a spacer bead with glass inset. Yeah. These are actual gemstones. This is a really lengthy, skilled, and expensive process, and we've got them. So this is kind of a bit of a first for us. So those are in our 9 a.m. And they're affordable as well. You just said lengthy, which tells me that's going to cost me, but actually they're affordable kits. Well, I was speaking to Georgia, and she said we hadn't done it before because of the process, but they've managed to, um, to manufacture them so that you have actually got gemstones stones in those spaces which I'm I much prefer personally yeah, yeah. Um, and then in the 12 o'clock hour we've got some not already knotted strands and then we've got um, an elephant and a lion and a lion love Can you it tell I've been in, hanging out with my granddaughter lion <laughs> You, a lion. you can't just say it normally. No. Absolutely. What yeah. does a lion say, Clemmy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they're magnetic clasps, aren't they? They're magnetic clasps. But I put it at the front because I don't want him hiding behind my neck. Definitely not. <laughs> you want him front and centre, don't I you? I do. Talk about, you know, uh, we've spoken about this. I think it was Le Levion, actually, who said about, you know, the... Uh, the feature, no, that's the wrong way around, sort of the, the function being the feature. Yes. Yeah, so... I like doing it up at the front as well absolutely. because that's easier. But also I think they're so unusual, like having that lion, and of course you can turn it around if you wanted it to be. But I think also a feature of these kits is that the um, gemstones are knotted. Yes, there's... so if you don't knot, like I haven't knotted those, um, no, or you, you know, it's, it is fiddly, it's time consuming. If you, if you take anything to a jeweller's to be knotted, they will charge you per knot. Yeah, like five pounds. Five pounds per knot it can be, it's so expensive. So if you think of the yeah. gemstone and then you think of how many knots are on that strand. Yeah, exactly. You've got it done for you. I'm um, rubbish at knotting, absolutely rubbish. So this is right up my street. So those are at 12 o'clock. 10 o'clock today, your deal of the day. And it feels like ages since I've seen this lovely gentleman. We've got Dave in the studio, the globe troffer. <laughs> um, I know, amazing. And he is bringing one of my newest obsessions, and that is San and Scarn. Oh, if you think you've seen the jade, then wait until you see San and Scarn, because this is absolutely, in fact, you know what? I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on just because I can. Um, it's absolutely stunning. The We're color. launching, yeah, I know, the first ever San and Scarn bangle. And it's divine, of course, totally and utterly natural. And that's a huge carrot way. If you're worried about it being a solid bangle, don't <gasps> worry because we've also got it in. I'm just going to wear those. I'm just going to wear those Do for the rest know, of the show. That size for a bracelet, I'm so into now. I know, me too. You know, since I did my Angelite, yeah. uh, my Peacock Angelite bracelet, I wear it all the time. When I initially looked at that, I thought, that's too big for a bracelet. I tell you something, it isn't. It definitely isn't. Well, I bought I bought this one when they were launched with Dave. Um, too much? I don't think so. No. Um, <laughs> I think you should have all of them. All of the Dave. <laughs> I bought this when it was first launched with Dave, and um, I can see these being... If, 
budget permitting, obviously, added to my order. So these are happening. Listen to this. We talk about the music of Jade. Yeah. Um, so these are coming up, lovely jewelry makers, at 10 o'clock along outside other amazing, amazing strands. I also want to mention um, your beautiful early birds. So these are brand new, premiering today. And these are not just any old bolt ring class. These are very Tiffany-esque, actually. So you know when you think of Tiffany's and they make a feature of the class, they don't do, they? Yeah. Um, so if I show you them, quite nautically inspired, big investment Ooh. of your sterling silver. Yeah, we're going to do a mega deal on those. They are coming up at nine o'clock, lovely jewelry makers. So you can't get these as of yet. They're bang on nine o'clock. Remind me, lovely Rachel, how many have we got? 150 oh that might not be enough not many because people will multi-buy on those absolutely because there's nothing wrong with your sort of traditional bolt ring clasp is there no. but if you are working with something like say san and scan or some fine pills yeah. or your jadeites whichever it might be then i'm going to be wanting the luxurious clasp like that yes. like that so they're coming up at nine o'clock today as well jewelry makers plus so much more we've got honestly it's uh, it's completely jam-packed can i also say because we've got some lovely welcome faces in the studio we've got gorgeous chris on camera this morning Hello, you're right, lovely. It's nice to see you on Saturday morning. Yeah, yeah uh, great, yeah. Thanks. He's all good. Yeah, all, good. all good. Yeah. And we don't get to see this beautiful lady very often, but I love working with her. It's Rachel. Hello, darling. You okay? We've stolen you from your usual role. Thank you for spending your Saturday with us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and now he's a familiar face, I know, because he's <laughs> usually with uh, with us. Um, but in the hot seat today, keeping us all in check, we've got gorgeous Dan. Mind out for those eyes, mind. Mind out for those <laughs> eyes, because he's got the most smouldering blue eyes you could ever wish to see. It's true. It is true. It is true. It's true. Right then, should we get cracking? Shall we? Let's do it. Um, and lots of messages into the studio. Come and say hi. Tell us what you're up to this weekend. Right then, I'm going to start with... Beautiful Nilamani. Yes. Now, I can't remember the last time that I saw Nilamani. Me neither. It's been ages. Um, and I'm I, I think it's still the case. And this is the thing. We'll get inside information from our lovely Rachel as well, oh, the who's part of the of gems buying, aren't you? Um, so you haven't bought has no gems, had it? Haven't bought any this year. There we go. So that speaks volumes. Nilamani is likened to the finest cashmere sapphire. And you can see why. Oh, oh it's a pretty strand, isn't it? <laughs> Rachel just said we definitely would not sell it for 30 pounds my goodness me well you think that's just one you'd put one wouldn't you in a ring or in a pair of earrings that's an entire parcel natural from the mountains of Nepal this beautiful natural gemstone but we won't have many available and you've heard it there from our lovely Rachel none has been bought um, for the last year in fact I think it's mined out isn't it I'm fairly sure it's all but mined out. $29.99, you know what to do, lovely collectors, and I can see you on those phone lines. Um, there are only five, though, within the vault, so um, if you are a lover of your beautiful exotic blues, Neil Amani absolutely is one of those that you need to uh, pop within your portfolio. I can see you there, bright and early. Hello, Shirley. Hello to you, Maker. Hello, new customers. Um, we've got some of your favourite gemstones to bring you today, and I think you're going to love the next strand as well. Um, so, ooh it's going to sell out so i'll leave that one with you Pre sell outs already on the website not surprised this is going to sell out rachel <gasps> oh my goodness i've not ever seen that before <gasps> what it's only been on once before that is incredible does is it quartz? does clear quartz get any better than this that is so perfect <laughs> they're flawless aren't they Flawless. Oh my goodness me. Cool. I always say these words. What on earth is that? 1999. I always say this about quartz. Quartz as a mineral is abundant. However, it's very different to quartz as a gemstone. Yep. That's quartz as a gemstone. That's Pristine, eye clean clarity. My goodness me, you'll get fire and dispersion. Um, the quartz, look how it's reflecting the light on the diglitage. <laughs> um, oh, Debbie, I just not that. Not that, or if you want to, to have a little bit of sparkle, just pop one and then a chain. Oh, beautiful. In the centre of a chain. 
1999 that's pristine amazing. genuinely i'm gonna say it i think that's the best quartz we've had i would agree with that i, I was like what is that but there are only seven left. Paula's got hers well done. There's a maker wanting multiples of these. Imagine them alongside your pearls. Well, any gemstone, it's clear quartz. You know, they're going to complement absolutely everything, aren't they? It's just the faceting. There's so many colours and light. <gasps> oh, my. Oh, do you know what? I'm barely 10 minutes into the show and I already want to buy stuff. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> already want to buy stuff. That's dangerous, stuff. isn't it? I know, it's ominous, isn't it? Definitely going to sell out on that one. Angelite, oh, Rachel's saying I absolutely love Angelite. Have you seen the peacock and the green Angelite colours, Rachel? It's stunning. Stun if you love Angelite, you'll like, aren't they? They're so beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look at Debbie's bracelet. So if you love Angelite, that is completely natural. Natural, Isn't totally it? natural. I love all Angelite, so does my daughter. I'm obsessed with it. There's something about Angelite. There's a collection for gems. That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, it's so beautiful. But your classic, your more traditional, more your recognised angelite yes. is the azure blues. Look at um, the shape of it. <laughs> $9.99. I love it because Rachel's reaction is like, oh my goodness, it's $9.99 for angelite. <laughs> I know, it is mad, isn't it? It's such a beautiful gemstone and so perfectly named. It, absolutely perfectly named. And is this Peruvian? Yeah. Yeah. So it just, you know, I love where it comes from. I love the colour. There's only five, but loads of you there. Yeah, it is. It's, it's just, you heavenly. know, it's heavenly. It's very calming. It's great for meditating with. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's point. It's good with, with your metaphysical, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, what did you say? Zebra Jasper. Oh, that's another um, favourite I, I, I feel a Marla coming on. Yeah, another complete favourite of mine. Zebra Jasper. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Um, oh, look, it's like, look, is it is it just me that's immediately thinking about those chocolates with the swirly colours and whatnot? Is it just me? You know the ones <laughs> no. in the shell? You know the ones I'm talking yeah. about where you've got dark chocolate, white chocolate? Sorry, I know, it's quarter past eight and I'm thinking... Pralines. Pralines, that's it. That's it. Look at this, I went, ooh, it's like chocolate. Um, totally natural, beautiful. This is what I love about Jasper's, you get so many different varieties. I know, I'm, I never use, I, I suppose I wasn't aware of them and then I became aware of them and I love Jasper's. Yeah. I mean, again, Mother Nature's treasure. It's like you've plucked them straight out of the earth. They look like the earth they came from they in do. a way. And they're like f little fossils, all of them. Amazing, got a metre long length there as well. Morning, Miss Janet saying, hello, gorgeous girls and team jewellery maker. Settled in for a lovely jewellery maker morning while I recover from oh. my flu jab yesterday. Rough, uh, but better than flu. Absolutely, my lovely. We'll send you a new big virtual cuddle. Hi, Jan, I hope it wears off. I always get those reactions to the vaccines as well. It's If anyone's going to get a reaction, it's me. I sit there going, oh. You actually get a cold. Just get your comfy, what we call it. You Snuggly. know, your furry blanket and your nice Snuggly. cup of warm drink and yeah. have a look at gemstones. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, you don't need to be anywhere, darling. Just stay with us. We'll look after you, lovely. Um, stay where you are on the phone line for that so let's bring you is it all of these have I, have I got multiple strands there's loads yeah oh these would be a nice addition to some of your kits Debbie. Ooh, sparkle sparkle and listen i get eyes rolled at me every time i mention this but look you try and get hold of 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 coated spinel in the lead up to Christmas. So you try and get this in November or December and it's not going to happen because everybody wants a sparkle then. So, and to be honest, jewellery makers are making now, aren't they, for the festivities? Absolutely. And if you think of the glass beads that you get like this, that we'll often seed bead around or make multi designs. And this is a gemstone. Yeah, exactly. Which is what I love. I'll always use a gemstone if I can, if it gets the same effect. And this one really does. Oh, I love black spinel. And I've shown you before, I haven't got the time to do it right now, but I've shown you before, you know, your celebrity Celebrities choosing black spinel yeah. on the red carpet because it's the ultimate performer, isn't it? Now you're looking at seven strands of spinel, of course, all goes birthstone as well. And they're, you know, they're long strands as well. They're not the teeny, oh. 15, 20 centimetres. You know what you could do with these? What? The Capriccio bracelet. Oh, you could. 
you know the netted bracelet that I did um, and with you the could, tassel yeah with the tassel you could sew these in because you've got enough gems there nice oh I want that bracelet <laughs> 29.99 <gasps> as well um, well done make sure you're checking out everybody on this one right we're going to step all the way to the Dominican Republic right now um, a one locational gemstone beautiful Larimar amazing oh. now we all know Larimar comm commands a certain price point doesn't mm -hmm. it makes sense I always say this I, I'm guessing I haven't got this isn't gemologically or pr proven but I think Larimar will run out before Tamsinite yeah, because the mining location is significantly smaller it's like a one one square mile so I think this is a gemstone that will deplete before Tanzanite. Like I said, that's not that's just my belief. That's just in my head. So um, here it is, totally natural, a very rare. What? <laughs> is that correct? Because <laughs> I, I, you don't see Larimar at twelve ninety nine. I opened this auction opportunity by saying it commands a certain price point, doesn't it? There are only six, though, so you've got to be speedy. Super, super speedy. We don't like to ease you into your day, do we, here no, at Jewelry Maker? Gotta, especially that first hour. <laughs> Shake, rattle and roll you into the day. Ah, oh, I tell you what, when, if you're craving your tropical destinations, just do a little bit. Larimar will take you there. Oh. That's your sand between your toes, your Absolutely. margarita in your hand, and the warmth of the Caribbean sun. Um, amazing. OK, let's bring you... Um, we're hugely, hugely overallocated on the Larimar, so make sure you do checking out. Congratulations. Um, shall we do the first of your bangles today? Sort of wetting your appetite for the sun and scarm bangle. This is Burmese jade. I, I love the mottling on this. I've got this bangle. Have I've you? got one for Daisy as well. Did you? Because someone asked me, if you've got a jade -like bangle? And I was like, oh, no, I haven't. And I looked and I found this one. And I tell you, because I've, I ordered two, they're all different. Yeah. Like the two that I've got that are completely different and the mottling and the patination within it, it's just, I just sit and when it's on my wrist and I just look at it, it's really, yeah. really beautiful. And, and we mentioned this this morning actually, and I concentrate on getting hold of your jadeite bangle right now. And as you can see, there's differences with what's on the recording and what I'm holding here yeah. in the studio. That shows you they're natural. Yeah. They're not polymer impregnated. They're not dyed. But, you know, genuinely, when you get your jade bangle home, have a look on first dibs. That's number one, S-T-D-I-B-S. Have a look, research jade bangles, and you tell, uh, you know, if you don't think £499 is a great price tag in comparison, and they are like for like quality, that's the thing, this is yeah. type A grade. You can get very, and they're like all four figures, and then some. The quality of the jade that we bring you here at Jewelry Maker, and Susie said it even, uh, yesterday as well, is genuinely unmissable. Today, however, this is part of your, uh, early bird hour shall we take this to a brand lowest or should we take it to a, to a brand new low is yeah. that what you just said is that what you just said Rachel sorry how many have we got seven available the internal diameter of this is good as well it's, it's one of the larger ones it is one of the larger 60. bangles so we've got seven available within the vault, lovely jewellery makers. Amazing mottling, like, you know, we say uh, floating flower. Yeah. That's where you have these wonderful pools of imperial green internally. That if you, if you dyed this, if you polymer impregnated this, you wouldn't see any of that. You've got your split payment. There's seven available. We talk about, you know, uh, um, heirloom jewellery, don't we, yes. on a regular basis. Yeah. That's precisely what your jade bangle is, because for me, the pinnacle is the bangle. Good luck. Brand new low price tag. There has never been a better occasion than this morning to get hold of this very bangle. The fact that our lovely Debs has got it herself speaks for what? Oh, oh my goodness, that's low. Yeah. That should have zeros on the end of it. That's so. That's why I got one for Daisy as well. Yeah. It was supposed to be for Christmas, but I'm one of those parents that sometimes has to, if I buy too early, I have to give it to them. And she's just started college. And I said, this will bring you luck. She was so nervous on her first day. Um, and she, she wore it. And she went, oh, good, mum. And she was, I could see her fiddling with it. And I just think that it's something that she'll keep Look for at years to come. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this yeah. is, like I said, this is heirloom jewellery. The reality is, I know 
Oh, look, I don't have... I have to watch the pennies, as we, as we all do. Absolutely. I know that, you know, usually outside of this wonderful bubble that we are here at Jewellery Maker, I know I wouldn't be able to afford a jade bangle. And I certainly know that my children, when they're grown up, bearing in mind the mine, a Burmese mine is closed, closed in 2020, they're not going to be able to afford Burmese no. jade. No, no, no. So I get it for them, you know, knowing that 2 is an awesome deal, or even better, £59.80 on your 0% interest split payment. The split, the split pay is what it sells it for me because yeah, you don't have absolutely. to find it all at once. Um, it's such a beautiful quality bangle. Now, I've only got seven of them and already there's people with it in their baskets. Comes box, a perfect, very special gift. Like I said, well, don't you have to take my word for it. Stanley, you mentioned, um, you know, he sold some of the most expensive jade bangles in the world, millions upon millions of pounds. But after you've secured yours, you've guaranteed your success. Go on to First Dibs. I encourage you to do that. Make How many retailers will say this to you? I want you to price compare. Make sure you're <laughs> no. price comparing yeah. like for like quality though. I want you to go on first dibs and I want you to look at jadeite bangles, type A, Burmese. Look at the similar patterns, for example, and you will see that 299 is an absolutely ridiculous deal. Um, do you know what? Rachel might not thank me for this, but I'm not, I'm not going to be too gutted if they don't sell out because I'm going to buy one. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's and an unbelievable Some price. of our bangles have been a lot smaller. Smaller. This one's bigger. This one's bigger. So this fits my hand. It fits yep. daisies as well. So yeah, absolutely. Good. Um, check out on that one. Get it home. You've got your full 30-day money-back guarantee. Sorry, what was that? Yeah. All oh, the pearls I picked up earlier on, these are natural in colour. Oh, that's lovely. So beautiful. I love apricot pearls. That rare papaya colour, that saturation, which is so incredibly sought after. Now, there are only six of them left, though. What's that? Have we made a mistake? <laughs> Have we made a mistake? <laughs> Has to be a mistake, surely, for apricot pearls. That's... Do you remember when we launched Papaya Pills and they were like three hundred pounds, yes. which is amazing. Yeah, amazing. Now we're at twenty nine ninety nine. I think we have our viewers, we have collectors of pearls, and I'm certainly one of them. Yeah, because I know that in you know a few years' time, I won't be able to afford the pearls that we're bringing now. No, no. Well, they, uh, you know, we know that it's going to take approximately a decade to recover from COVID. Yeah, and they're going it, up. They well. are going up and up and up and up and up. You know, we've had our suppliers, of which there is multiples, um, sort of say to us, look, it's not impossible to bring you these pills, but they are expensive. Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, we must have made an error. Have we got quantity of those? Only five, so I'll leave those with you. Remember, you've got about 40 minutes left. Let's do another one of our all-time favourites globally, actually, not just here at Jewelry Maker. Now, when it comes to Tanzanite, oh. you want that vanadium-rich blue, and oh my goodness me, this strand is unbelievable. Look at that saturation. What is that prize? <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> you could definitely come again. These deals, $14.99. I love hearing her reaction. You get it. What, what? Is that right? I know. <laughs> $14.99. You've got 24 carrots. Uh, yeah. Did you, uh, Rachel said I had a glass of wine. <coughs> what, did you set these prices then? Yeah. The influence of alcohol. I yes. love it. I'm glad I love you had it. a glass of wine. <laughs> me too. Goodness me, who thought, who woke up this Saturday morning thinking I'm going to buy myself 24 carats of Tanzanite? It's not going to be the pale, wishy-washy Tanzanite, you know, or maybe a bit murky. I'm going to get that vanadium yeah, quality. This is my but I only colour. want to, I, I want change from a £20 note, please. That, I mean, it, it's all about the colour. Like, you wouldn't yeah. expect this colour. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is my favourite tanzanite colour because it's like lilac-y almost, isn't it? I don't yeah, know how to strong, describe it. Strong purple saturation. Good luck because it's going to sell out. We only have four left. Um, let's do... Is it the selenite? Oh, yeah. Now, yeah, they go... Uh, our lovely audience adore selenite, as does Deb. Oh, I love it. I've got my... I haven't got my selenite on today, but I've got my selenite bangle that I wear all the time and I have you know our little Buddha charms our yeah. sterling silver I, you must have seen it guys I always wear it and I have my little Buddha um, in the middle the selenite selenite is one of those gemstones again very strong metaphysical beliefs good luck last one I'm going to leave that one with you amazing let's do some strawberry quartz also known as a sargonetic quartz Ooh. like that hello oh, that's it I'm done now I <laughs> I've peaked. I've peaked. Have you peaked? <laughs> no, you haven't. I know. <laughs> I've 
week, depending on where I'm now. It's all downhill from here. Um, <laughs> Um, it's, yeah, beautiful strawberry quartz. We know that red is a rare colour to get within the quartz family. It's tiny microscopic hematite inclusions um, that bring you this beautiful, like, strawberry jam. Ooh, you're making me hungry now, Al. Sorry, I've covered chocolate and jam. You have. Let's see what other food types I talk about <laughs> this morning. Um, and it's all natural as well. Yeah, incredibly rare. Um, it probably, most would actually say one, one of, if not the rarest of all your quartz family because of the hematite inclusions. Um, it's a really lovely, for me, you've got your pillar box red gemstones, mm -hmm. haven't you? But this is almost, almost like a um, rubellite and ruby. It is. Mixture, and, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and you've got like that transparency there as well. And I just, just see the pips. Yes, I love that. The little, little pips, pips for them. Um, I know we won't have many of these because our strawberry quartz portfolio, if you like, is extremely limited. There's only three available, so stay where you are on those phone lines. Make sure you do check out. Morning, Alison. Morning, team. Just found out I'm home alone as family all got... What's that? Plans. So my plan is to spend it with you and not one bit of guilt as the jobs can wait. Forget the jobs. Just you like that at the door, Alison. Bye. That that rarely yeah. happens to me, actually. But Normie. when it does, I'm like, oh. nor me. I quite like that. I I long for those days. At the moment, it's mummy, 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 mummy. Sorry, we were saying rose quartz. Um, <laughs> yes, a bit of peace, Alison. You enjoy it, lovely. Um, is it fit to be? Yeah. Three strands. Uh, okay. Okay, we'll leave that with you. Um, yeah, fluff that one a little bit. Never mind, get hold of your rose quartz. Amazing, amazing. Let T bar two. Emerald. Oh yeah, I can see it. Some lovely Brazilian emerald. Oh, it's a long strand. Oh, it's ombre, is it? <gasps> Look at Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness me, that's beautiful. Miss Omer, eat your heart out. I mean, come on, there's emerald and there's... It's not this price. It can't be. It is. Brazilian emerald with those deep forest greens. Look at how long it is what? as well. You've got a full strand. 55 carats, totally natural. It's Sakota emerald at... Not, what, are you, what are we doing? What are we doing? I mean, Rach, Rach, we... What? Sakota Emerald is not 7 99 We know that, don't we? We know that Sakota Emerald, that's not usual. Well, how... Are, uh, no, it's not usual. We are... I don't know what's going on. Just make sure you check out nice and early. Uh, tell me there's quantity. OK, well, I'll leave that Why am I you. never on the other side of the screen when things like that happen? I what know. is happening? I know. What is going on? Right then, um, let's... Oh this, oh, this is unbelievable. I know which piece you're talking about. It blows my mind the level of artistry that goes into a jade carving like this. I mean, I would physically struggle to draw it, let alone carve it out as a gemstone that is as hard as steel. Prepare yourself. Make sure you're checking out on that last opportunity. Prepare yourself for the, one of those unbelievable star buyers you've ever seen. Um, I just asked then, I was like, what, was, what, what are those things you used to do as a child? We used to, and the pencil used to yeah, go round and round yeah. and round, crit, crit. Um, not etch a sketch. <laughs> Although I used to love my etch So did I. Spirograph, yeah. I remember. Now, without a spirograph, there was no way on earth I'd be able to draw this. But imagine now for a second, you're sat in, um, you're sat in a, a workshop, a studio, you have the skills to carve this amazing gemstone by hand as well. And they give you a piece of rough jade. So it might be, I don't know, palm of your hand size. And this is the end goal. How on earth do you even start something like that? I don't, I don't know where you would begin. You know, when you said you, I couldn't even draw that, nor could I. No. Not without some kind of... It's the fact that they instrument. fold... And it's all, it's like hollow inside. Yeah, it's like they, 
I, I can't even that the, the artistry on that is mind blowing. I've not seen a carving that intricate before, not like that. And it's front it's all and the same as well. It's front and reverse as well. Okay. So not only have you done it on the oh, not only have you. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Ow, <laughs> Hang on, Help. hang on, stay there. Stay Help. there, stay there. <laughs> I like it. I tell you what, while we're waiting, while we're waiting, let's crash that prize. I love it. I love it. Dan just got sick of my face. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, my goodness. You could set a gemstone in the centre you know, of that. I was thinking that because you could tube set yeah. something in the centre of that. And how many anchor points have you got? If you wanted to do a really intricate seed bead design chain or yeah. something or microfaceted gemstones, you've got so many anchor points. Lark said not directly onto it, something yeah. like that. Yeah. So cool. I've got my eye on this. $79.99. That's super unusual, that one, isn't it? It's one of my favourites. I remember us launching a version of the Samsung, uh, Samsung um, which is what this is referred to as. And it's like, I, I just can't get my head around it. You know, and we spoke about, you know, it's about as much about the translucency and the colour as it is about the artistry. Hello, Millie B. I say, morning, beautiful ladies. I have two of these and I've just mm. made um, a marker necklace with them. Amazing. Uh, is that a Marla? Do you need Marla? I mean, Mar Do you reckon a Marla necklace? I, yeah, because I was just about to ask what a marker necklace is, so I think they mean Marla. I yeah. think you do, don't you? That must look incredible. Unbelievable. Absolutely. Well, make sure you send that into the Wall of Fame, Millie B. Oh, yeah. Incredible. Love this. You know, my husband doesn't wear a huge amount of jewellery, and I reckon if I lark said not that, put it on to maybe like a sliding knot at the back, he'd wear that all day long. Oh, so definitely. Onto a little bit of leather or something. Yeah. Um, I love it, the obsession. So again, just to go back, you know, when we're talking about jadeite, yes, we know that it's the translucency and it's the colour that is the quality of the jadeite. Firstly, you wouldn't hand a master carver substandard jade no. with that in, as a goal. It would need to be the finest quality. Um, and yet, a little old jewellery maker, middle of England, come in and go, just do 79 quid, just do 79 pounds. <laughs> so I tell you what, we'll even do 0% interest. Is there many of these available? I know they usually last a stock. There's only six. Lynn, you've got yours. Margaret, Sharon, and I've got a new customer as well. I've only got five now. Make sure you make your confirmation. It's not going to lie, I've got my eye on that. And again, £79 for a piece of art. If you go into a gallery... It is a piece right, of art. Yeah, you yeah. go into a gallery where you've got paint on a canvas. No disrespect. I mean, that is art, of course. Yeah. But this is... The skill that goes into carving jade it just blows my mind. And it's not like a scene. It's not like, you know, a dragon, and a, which is incredible. But getting these all the same. Yeah. It's almost like a mathematical drawing it, that yeah, they've it's carved. That's a good point. It's got to be harder, isn't it, to actually do that? Um, stay where you are. Leave those quantities with you because there isn't many. Um, let's do some more clear quartz. Is that the six mil or the eight or the ten mil? Thank you. There you go. <gasps> Like little dew drops, the best quality clear quartz are like little fine dew drops. Well, this is what I mean. I'm describing. Now, the first strand sold out. So if you missed out on that, these are pristine. Now, of course, with, without a single facet, there is nowhere to hide. So you, and it shows, doesn't it? You know, there's no blurring, there's no feathering, there's no dark inclusions. It is literally like little pools of water in this apps oh my goodness me now under magnification where there is absolutely nowhere to hide if there were any flaws or blemishes within these gemstones we would see them 12.99 that is um our quartz is absolutely exceptional it is isn't look it? at it it really is Goodness me, and you could put a coloured cord through that and have like oh, a, lovely. A, a vein of blue or a vein of green. No, I don't want to blow my own trumpet and whatnot. I didn't buy these, by the way. But, I, you know, I'm just going to say, like, I did nag Wayne for clear cords because we didn't have any, did we? No, we I didn't have seen... any for ages. But what we've got, I mean, this morning is exceptional. Yeah, they are incredible. He's ugh, some of the best that I think we've ever seen. Imagine that with something like black jadeite or green jadeite or amazing pearls or your nine o'clock kits. There's only two of them left, though. Look at those. I do have another strand of clear quartz, which I'm just going to put them alongside. In fact, tell you what, why not? 
In for a penny, in for a pound. Oh, no, I can't cope with that. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> All oh, the sparkle. My goodness me. And there are diamonds, aren't they? Our cl clear quartz is a, is a jewellery maker's diamond, isn't it? We can bring you diamond strands, of course we can, but um, you're not going to bring diamonds like this if you're multiple millions, probably, if they were diamonds. But you get the idea. You know, there are version of a colourless stone that we put alongside our usual beaded jewellery. These are your six millimetres. If you got the 10 mil, you just got to. You just got to. Yes. Um, there's only two of them left, though, so make sure you're, you're quick. Make sure you're checking out your basket nice and early. And they complement absolutely everything, don't they? So um, the final two of those. Um, yeah, I've got a beautiful clasp. Uh, is it this one? This one? Rachel on, on her picture could see a dolphin. That's why I was a little bit confused. I was like, uh I can see by the shape. Maybe, because look, you've got the little dorsal yeah. fin. You want me to hold it that way? Your picture's that way. Oh, it oh, does yeah. look like Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I see where you're coming from. <laughs> totally see that. Yep, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. We're with you. We're with you, Rachel. It's all good. It's almost sold out anyway. And also if I can just look. Oh, that's beautiful. It's double-sided as well, so you've got your parve front and reverse. Sold out. Well done, everyone. Well done, well done. Um, Tibatu. I do have some more peach purple natural pearls. Oh, oh. special, aren't they? Wow. Just alternating. Peach and purple. The pinks um, of your pearls are the more expensive, most sought-after variety. Oh, look. You're going to do what, sorry? Okay, right. Now, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to give you, an, give, you, give you an opportunity to absorb the beauty so you can grab your phone, grab your iPad, grab your laptop and get yourself ready to secure this because the price is just unbelievable. They're almost like ametrine bicolours, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They so are. Uh, yeah, well, this is the thing, like uh, Rachel was just saying, if you imagine this knotted on, on a sterling yeah. silver clasp on our sister channel, I, I think £70, £80 pounds would be amazing. That's a fantastic price Very point. Very good price point. Um, what are we, which makes me, which raises the question, what are we taking this to then? Uh, that, that's made me think, okay, so we're talking £79, £99, which is unbelievable. What could this possibly be going to? Rachel said, if you're happy with that, you're going to be over the moon with this. <laughs> £29.99 pence only. I'd be stocking up on these. These are so elegant. You've got your colour, but it's elegant. Colour. Yeah. It's just, look at it. I mean, isn't, isn't that lovely to hear? Rachel's just said, I can't believe how affordable it all is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> isn't that lovely I love it when hear? we get um, our, um, our producers in from other channels and, and that, or wherever, and then, then they say they are genuinely, honestly, genuinely surprised yeah, by, yeah, yeah, yeah. by our prices and excited. My goodness. Oh, it's a deal wheel special. Ooh, what's a deal wheel special? It's just because it's an awesome price, basically. Ooh. It's just an awesome price, and I think <laughs> Rachel liked that bug. <laughs> I know, I need awesome. to get out more, don't I? No, I was like, oh, what's that? <laughs> it looks a little bit deal or no like, deal. Oh, it's a, it's a different thing. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> yes, love it. Joe, well done. Sarah, Veronica, Vesna, hello to new customers as well on the phone lines and also on the web. Um, did we have many then? 15. Oh, it's, it's more than some. Oh, However, it still is only 15. You've got to remember our Saturday and Sunday shows are the busiest of the week, so you need to be quick. Um, hello, Carolyn. Hello to your new customers on the phone line. Drop us a message. Come and say hi. How awesome. These aren't dyed. If these were dyed mm. pearls, okay, I'd get it. Yeah. I would get it. That's an, that, that would still be an affordable price tag if they were treated pearls. Yeah. But they're not. They're totally and utterly natural in their colour. I love them. <laughs> I love them too. They're beautiful. If they were shell pearls at twenty nine ninety nine, yeah. that would be awesome, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Or glass pearls, which we've sold in the past. But I think you know it is that subtlety of colour, that that sophistication in a 
natural pearl. Well, you wouldn't get that blend, would you? You no. wouldn't get the, 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 you know, the, you know, the sort of sash of colour where it sort of transforms the overtones and undertones. You wouldn't get that no. if it was a dyed or don't. created pearl. You can tell. Um, well done. There's loads of you getting involved. Multi buyers. I've got four left, so you need to be checking out those basket basket of Roonies. Um, don't know where that came from. I don't know where it came from. Um, <laughs> Cheryl, Elizabeth, Siobhan, new customers, welcome and welcome to the madness. But wonderful <laughs> madness. That is jewellery maker. Yes, that should have a one in front of it, in all honesty, Rachel. Do you agree? Yeah, no wonder it's got deal wheel up there. Yeah. It deal should, wheel. It should be a, I think jewellery maker price 129 would be amazing. Hello, June. Good morning, all. I bought these some time ago and they are gorgeous. Just ordered. Fab, fab, fab. Nice. Love it. Hi, love it, June. love it. She's coming back for more. Amazing. Do you know what, June? You've just reminded me. I've got to tell you this story. So I, I've used no. My mum's in a home now. So um, you saw this probably on Facebook. And I take Willow down with me because she likes to help out. And she walks around the little old dears and Aww. takes some teas and coffee. And it's all very cute. And anyway, the manager was like, oh, you're, so, you're such a good little girl. Should we go and find you a lolly from the, from the freezer? <laughs> yeah. So Willow's like, oh, yeah. So off they go. <laughs> Willow appears with a fab lolly. And she's like, mummy, look. I've got a fab lolly wrapped by the way. Just, I'm going to go show Nana. So she runs off to show Nana and her friend. Comes back, Willow, with half a fab lolly, and she's like this. I say, what happened to your lolly, Willow? And she said, um, Graham took the chocolate bit. He said, he, he's having the chocolate bit, but I can have this bit for being a good girl. <laughs> Do you know when you just like... <laughs> I couldn't control the laughter, contain it. I was just like... He stole my chocolate bit of my fat <laughs> lolly, mum. He stole it. <laughs> That's the best bit. I don't think Graham, he, is, he has not been forgiven. He has not been Naughty forgiven. Graham. <laughs> Sorry, Rachel, just reminded me of that. Right then. Um, okay. What we're doing? Show everything that we haven't shown as of yet. Um, so we've got blue gold stone. Yes. Oh, it's like a midnight blue. It's lovely. And it's a full meter long length. Sorry, I had to tell that story then. It just really tickled me. Um, no, she did get another lolly. And like I said, she still has not <laughs> forgotten about it. Graham will not get his cup of tea brought yeah, to him, let's to. say. No, no, he will. He will. She's like, Graham stole my chocolate bit. I'm a fab. Uh, $12.99 um, for this. A beautiful, beautiful man-made created gemstone. Oh, it conjures up images of Vincent van Gogh uh, Go and Starry Night for oh, me. Oh, yeah, definitely. It, yeah. It just... Oh, yeah, you just think about the stars and the lovely clear. Yes. It's just beautiful. Um, hi, Susan saying, is that the picking hour? If so, can I please see number 33? Yes, we can bring you number 33. Absolutely, Susan. No worries whatsoever. Um, amazing. What is it? Oh, the, oh, yes, yes. So you've got your calibrated stones. These are Ooh. amazing. Great if you do gem setting, of course, or you do Absolutely. tube settings, what or you dremel your kyanite. <sighs> yeah, yes. Adisha kyanite. It's a lovely teal colour, Adisha kyanite. Again, totally natural. Um, I'm thinking about setting these in big brock pearls. I think that would be beautiful. Absolutely Just get your dremel gorgeous. out. Yeah. Do a bit of drilling. Do a bit of drilling and set one of these. Look at that colour. <gasps> That's like Paraba in that image, isn't it? That. See, this is what happens when you don't have the lights that bleach them out. And, and I've got perspex here. Yeah, right exactly. Now. You've got white behind them. Yeah. That colour's almost like a teal. Yeah, it's, and it's natural. Totally and utterly natural. Kyanite is a gemstone that normally has quite... It has inclusions, because we know it has... Um, it grows in different directions as well. It's what we call a polymorph gemstone. But that's pristine clarity, and it's a really rare colour. Um, well done, everybody. Uh, next up, let's do... Ah, oh, this lovely strand of neff right now. Again, wetting your appetite for your uh, sand and scum. So if you love your spinach green colours, oh. then you're going to absolutely adore this. I love this shape of, uh, shape of neff right. Yeah, it really... Because you've got quite a large surface area there, haven't you? You can see all the beautiful green. Oh, nephrite green is just... Well, spinach green, 
aka this, yeah. is what imperial green is to jadeite. Right. It's considered the most valuable, considered the most expensive, and this is totally natural. That's madness to be at 27.99, especially when, you know, from this location, 90% of this color goes to either Tiffany's and Co or Cartier. So we are getting resourcing this from the final 10%. Wow. The final 10%, 27 pounds and 99 pence. You only, only have to look at Elsa Peretti's uh, jade jewelry and you'll find exactly this, you know, this stone basically. And they're not going to be 27 quid. No, no way. It's going to be <laughs> thousands of pounds. Um, love it. You can do simple beading. Make sure you're checking out. Um, let's dive into some really beautiful carnelian, which we did a relaunch on recently. Yes. It's only been on once. I think that was with B, wasn't it, Rachel? Yeah. Um, we relaunched it because we were completely starved of Carnelian. Um, I didn't realise quite the history of Carnelian, just how adored it was across multiple different centuries. Um, the final 11, though, so this is only its second appearance on air. 14 99 yeah. Conjures up images of the most warm summers, but also the most crisp autumns. Um, the final eight, Mary, Karen, Emma, amazing. Sarah, Eileen, good morning, everybody. Oh, it's like the finest fire opal, isn't it? It's beautiful. I think I was here when you did the little showcase of it. And it's fascinating, the history of it, yeah. isn't it? Just but it's just so beautiful. Dates way back to way Roman back, times. Yeah. yeah, way, way back, because they believed it instilled courage. I can see that. It's got, uh, and didn't royalty wear it? Yeah. It was often a gemstone that you gifted if you were kind of wishing them good fortune and good luck. Only the final few. Um, that would be lovely with the nephrite, wouldn't it? it would. um, let's do some, did you say... Mixed colour goldstone. I'm intrigued by this one. I've never seen this before. Ah, it's like a like a carnival. So goldstone is man-made. We know that, don't we? But within this, you've got like like Picasso paintings. See where I'm coming from? Oh, it looks a bit like um, the Venetian glass. Oh yes, the Moreno, doesn't it? Moreno, yes. However you say it, it it, um, it looks like that. Very similar to Murano. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, love this. I've never seen them before. They're cool, aren't they? There's like little all-seeing eyes in here as well. It's a full metre strand, 16 99 So you've got your gold stone, which is almost like the background. You can see it just here really well. So with those lovely little starry uh, sky inclusions. And then you have, yeah, like these pools of colour. Lots of you getting involved. Uh, metre long length strands. So you could do things like your looming. You could yeah. do your kiss crosses. Yeah, you could do um, your crochet. You could do your um, oh. Marlers, you know, anything where you need lots of gemstones. What's the size? Are they six mil? Yeah. Six millimetres. So great yeah. size, aren't they? Amazing. Wait, you're checking out on those. I've never seen them before. And I'm here quite a lot. <laughs> um, amazing. Well done. Well done. Oh, one of my all-time favourite gemstone in Ooh. tubes. Ooh. I can't say tubes like a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> you have to sing it. It's obligatory. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I love malachite though. I've made no, never made any secret of that. And the world is obsessed with malachite with all the biggest designers using it. PRJ, uh, Chopard, Van Cleef and Narpels, Dolce and Gabbana, I could go on. Um, all choosing to use malachite. And it is such a wonderfully distinctive gemstone. Forms in stalactites and stalagmites. And that's totally natural. Certainly one of the most distinctive. You know, I think once you recognize malachite, you immediately know it yeah, thereafter definitely. um so um congo by the way is one uh, considered to be one of the best locations of source and see those lovely separations those distinctive bands mm -hmm. that's what's celebrated within your malachite we rarely ever see it in tubes but i guess it's because it must be difficult or more wasteful to actually cut 1999 um i'll leave that with you amazing um let's go to some lovely black obsidian in hearts ah, charms all the time oh all the Way, absolutely with your pearls and your clear quartz these would be fabulous as well wouldn't they absolutely and even if you're going to do just a whole strand of pearls or a whole strand of clear quartz and just put one yeah one heart It'd be on like your asymmetrically your... or you know like tiffany's have got the heart haven't they yeah this could be your branding couldn't it oh, that's a good black idea. obsidian yeah, that's a really good idea amazing and of course very popular now it, it, um well always has been but boosted by game of thrones in medieval times they used to use this as mirrors because it is that reflective You've never watched Game of Thrones? Me neither. What? Yeah, the, the ending was dreadful, but, um, but the rest of it is really, <laughs> really, really good. The rest of it is really good. You're forgetting that there are like many seasons of Game of Thrones and that's all really good. 
It's, oh, is, is, is it, it's a bit like, you know, when someone puts a big plate of food in front of you, do you get a little bit overwhelmed, Rachel? Is that what it is? Are you overwhelmed? It's worth it. It is worth it. Give it a go. Yeah, this is your dragon glass in Game of Thrones. 9 99 plus the hearts. The hearts. And, you know, that is such a popular motif when you're making to sell. Amazing. I'll tell you what will go lovely with it. Ooh, yes, that would. Totally natural. <laughs> Im Imperial white jade. Oh, Rachel's, Rachel's digging her heels in. What's the matter, Rachel? She says, I'm not showing this. <laughs> Coming up. Coming up. Okay. Um, coming up, coming up, coming up. Let's do blue tourmaline. Blue tourmaline. So we're talking what? You're in Dicolite colours then? Yes. One of the top three oh. rarest of your tourmalines is, is, is blue. Teal blue in particular. I, I know our graphics don't say in Dicolite, but for me, if, I, if you were to ask me... I'd have said that was in Dicolite. Because it's that teal, almost grand digerite like blue, it isn't is, it? It is, yeah, it really is. This is totally and utterly natural. Oh, How on God. earth are we at 14 99 for one of the rarest colours of your, of your tourmaline? <laughs> tourmaline as well is so, so popular. I mean, yeah. it's, it's making its way into so many designer collections, lots of high street collections. Do you know, and the USA love tourmaline. So they pay, you know, norm, I think the last time I checked the gem buying, or it's about, I don't know if it's still the case, Rachel, you probably know better than me, about $350 for just your, not even your extra fine grade, you know, for your, really? yeah, for fine grade, let's say. You're talking about $350 per carat. <laughs> um, I don't know about your, your, your rare rubelites and your indicolites. Of course, it's going to go upwards then. Make sure you're checking out I mean imagine those in between some pearls or imagine those in between maybe some of your jadeite um I could count on my hand how many times I've brought blue tourmaline to air I think here at I Jewelry Maker I don't think I've ever seen blue tourmaline really ever get it like a whole strand of it yeah I mean, that's amazing yeah even like you know our paraba blue I think I've probably bought more I think I've probably brought more Pareva tourmaline than I have this colour. Fourteen ninety nine, Christine, Patricia, Gerda. Hello to you, Tracy, London. Uh, hello to you, Agnes. Hello to you, Vicky. Lovely to be with you this Saturday morning. Make sure you stay where you are. I've got some sterling silver. Is that right? Um, to bring you next, which is very, very, very pretty. Oh, these are lovely. Ah, oh, the. Oh, hang on. These are beautiful. They've got like a, an orbit. Ooh. You'll see where I'm coming from in a sec, sorry. Here we go. Look at those. Oh, they're cool. Oh, they're really cool. So obviously you've got your little peg there. You've got the little, the little peg. The <laughs> So you could perfectly put it into a half drill. Sorry. Um, you can absolutely secure into your half drill pills. <gasps> it's not just me. It's not just me. You're laughing too, aren't you? You're, you're on the same. That's okay then. That's brilliant. <laughs> so just secure it into your half drill pearls. And hey, presto, job done. You've made yourself fine jewellery. But I love that kind of ribbon of sterling silver. Really unusual, isn't it? Oh, what? So, you know, in, in um, like the Olympics, is it eurythmic? It, not eurythmic, that's a rhythmic dancing. That's it. <laughs> Lovely. Can we go like that? <laughs> Next time you should enter, Chris. <laughs> enter. Um, and here is, they've sold out. Well done. Here is Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. There you go. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Love it. Nice. You used to compete. Amazing. Not, yeah, I would have believed you. It's as dainty as a flower. Um, move, move, moving on to some beautiful cable chain. Yes, I've got it. Oh, with, have I got the right one? Is it with gemstone? Yes, citrine at the bottom. How pretty is this? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. 
<laughs> Ray says, I'll have that, thanks. Yeah, because you know what you could do? If you're not into, you know, you could wrap loop, you could attach something directly onto there. But also, I really like the idea of just cutting that jump ring away. Cut the jump ring away and then just use, um, even if you don't have any silversmithing tools, use a nail buffer to just yeah. smooth smooth the remainder and you've got a lovely very delicate very stackable so on trend really on trend. just that simple yeah. really simple rubbed over setting gemstone uh, necklace it's a necklace isn't it 9.99 for a chain for, for the chain on its own that's absolutely amazing they're lovely chains those as well aren't they they're they're I know this is going to sound weird, but substantial and yet delicate. Yeah, no, I get you. Know what I, I mean? get so you. They're not flimsy. That's yeah. the word. They're not flimsy. I've got chains. beef with those trace chains that don't do anything. Yeah, I, I don't like those flimsy ones. That stick to you. Yeah. Yeah, they just stick and to you. And then you only have hang. to blow on them and they break. Yeah. I don't like yeah. Those. Whereas, <laughs> whereas these definitely, definitely. No, not that's what I'm trying to say. Absolutely. They, they've got a substantial amount of um, metal in there. They certainly do. I mean, I've been, um, those of you that know me, I know I've well and truly started my Christmas shopping, but something like this, I mean, how giftable is that? Very, very. I'd, I, personally, I would nip the jump ring away and just wear it as a necklace like so, but you could put your fine pearls on there. You could mm. do a multitude of things. Um, do we have quantity of these then? No, no, there's not many. They float three, okay. And it's 20 inches, which I can only sort of use myself as an example. It depends on your build, but it's going to sit about mid decolletage on me. 9.99, well done. Lots of multi buyers on that one. Amazing. Uh, let's do some. Are they with Amazonite? Yeah, this is pretty. I think you're going to love this one. So pretty. That is gorgeous. Look Isn't at that. it gorgeous? Yeah, it's gorgeous. I'll do that for you, Rachel. If you buy that, <laughs> I'll make it for you, lovely. It's really, even I could do that. Of course you could do that. It's just simple beading, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's. oh, look at it. Look at the luster of your seed pearls. That is truly beautiful, that strand. And how much would that be in Monica Veneda? <sighs> definitely not twelve ninety nine. Over £100. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Put a nice clasp on there, maybe one of your early birds. In fact, in fact, can I borrow um, Debbie's board? Can I just go... There, yeah, because I'm just, we're making jewellery, people. We're making jewellery. Um, look, how about that? And then, how about that? Yes, just yes. How beautiful is that? And it's probably cost you, I'm going to tell you, like, you could make that probably for about, well, let's, let's just say less than 20. And you've less got precious pounds. metal, pearls and gemstones. Yeah, those are coming up in about five minutes time, everybody. Make sure you're checking out on those pearls because they're Lushington's. very popular. Uh, let's do the Fort Santina 16-inch um, chain. So this is going to sit right up close to the neckline, unless, of course, it's for someone that's more petite than me. Um, this is pretty, again, lovely detailing. Um, what I would describe, sorry, bear with me, what I would certainly describe as one of your fancy chains. That's just where it's been clipped wrong. Here we go. Um, oh, yes, that's lovely. See where I'm coming from? Yeah. Don't offer... I mean, you're not going to... I'm not so, never say never, but if you go down the high street, this is one of those links that you're unlikely to see, isn't it? Uh, it's very unusual, and it, you know it, it sparkles this kind of chain, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's Lovely. unusual. I love things like this. Yeah, it's a necklace. I almost, I almost don't want to call this a chain. Agree. It's a necklace. Agree. See where I'm coming from? You've got those lovely alternating links, but there's texture on those links, lovely lustre. $9.99. Again, you know, that's beyond wholesale in my head. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are. Um, oh, minutes are ticking. Let's do what, sorry? Mixed colour goldstone. Oh, I've got this one. So you go, we're going back to your Murano, aren't we? Um, very reminiscent of your Murano glass. Again, you get a full metre of these. I love this one. That's lovely because it almost reminds me of wood beads, which is what your original marlas were made of. Um, and by the Tibetan monks used to use them as prayer beads. And adding that sort of turquoise colour in there as well, I think that would make a beautiful marla. Lovely. Or a bracelet marla or something like that. I think that would be really stunning. So pretty. Is anyone seen like little robot faces or is it just me? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> and this one here, hang on. Where there is it? That one there. That looks like a penguin <laughs> with his beak. Can you see it? <laughs> I can see the robot one. Yeah. Amazing. I love these. Eight millimetres in their size. Like little pingu there. Amazing. Well done. Let's do 
Beautiful graduated jade, Ooh. multiple colours. I've this... not seen this one before. Oh, it's crying out for your early bird, isn't it? One of those beautiful, beautiful class that we've got coming up. What? I mean, we're already at double figures. To so be starting here, uh, technically we should be closing the auction here, but cheeky tenor, back into your pocket. I tell you what, this hour is about to close in a few minutes, so giving you a heads up. If you've got anything loitering, lingering in your basket, now is the time for you to be checking them out. Not that, put it on one of your early bird class and away you go. Oh, it's beautiful. Isn't that stunning? This is what we were saying. Rachel and I had a discussion before we came live. I was like, Look, you know, if we bought this, put it on sterling silver, sold it on first dibs, yeah, they'll take their cut. They will take a commission, obviously. They're not going to do it for no. free. But you're not going to sell it for £69.99. <laughs> no, 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 no way on earth. It's type... That red jadeite should cost more than that. <laughs> That's As, true. It's the rarest colour. Um, plus, you've got your split payments. Do we have many of these? Because they're big sizes. Seven, okay, okay. But, you know, look, you've got translucency, you've got beautiful strength of saturation, you've got a mixture of your aquas right the way up to your sort of dark borderline imperial greens and some of your reds in a graduated strand my goodness i tell you what genuinely this this is one of the reasons why i'm so proud to work for jewelry maker is because we do make gemstones that are beyond my budget i'm not too proud to say that yeah. accessible yeah definitely. um and this is a prime example 69.99 there's only a couple of those available though perfect to go alongside your early bird um lots of sellouts on the website so give me a little bit of a heads up um, make sure you're checking them out to, to avoid disappointment if not you can always wish list it oh what will we sorry I went really Nessa then didn't I oh <laughs> it's the Welsh and me coming out a little bit there um, we had those earrings it was Chris and his ribbons oh, yeah. they could <laughs> they you can put one of these in there couldn't you oh I love this color look how spherical that pearl is and it's totally natural that is beautiful. How is that 1999? Hello, little pearl. Hello, perfect little pearl. How it is, it is perfect, isn't it? I'm always hesitant to use the word flawless when we're describing pearls because they're organic gemstones. You know, like mm. us, they have little imperfections, don't they? Or I prefer to say just characteristics. But we know the five virtues. When we're talking about pearls, we talk about the shape. Uh, uh, spherical still being the one that commands the, hi the highest price point. We talk about colour, i.e. is it natural? This is totally natural. We talk about size. This is 12 and a half to 13 and a half millimetres, so it's huge. Then we start talking about things like the nacre surface, which is what the precious material that makes the pearl, and the luster. You know, the more lustrous and reflective your pearl is, the higher the price point. It ticks every single one of those boxes. This is a perfect pearl, and we're at 20 pounds. <laughs> it is half drilled, so again, we've brought you lots of different peg bales. All you need to do is a little touch of your jewellery making glue, leave your pe uh, the peg in overnight, job done, you've just made luxury jewellery. You have a matter of minutes to make your confirmations, jewellery makers. I'm going to bring you a stunning strand of garnet right now, though. Again, with all the pearls that we've brought you, it's like a marriage made in heaven, isn't it, garnet and garnet pearls? Garnet and pearls is absolutely stunning. Oh. That's a beautiful strand of garnet. Look at that. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at the flashes of red, because sometimes garnet can look almost black, can't yes. it? Yes, yeah whereas it needs natural sunlight, whereas we've got zero natural sunlight here and you've got the most, um, you've got the most amazing, amazing refra uh, refraction. Beautiful flashes of red, 14.99 jewelry makers for Mozambique garnet. Like I said, less, we have seen garnet before that you, it, it, it's more black than it is yeah. actually this passionate pomegranate tone. This is, I, I think, one of the nicest strands of garnet I've ever seen. And, the, and also the, um, the cut of it and the, yeah. the shape of it is really different. It's lovely with pearls. Yeah, there you are. Let's, 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 just, let's make some kits, shall we? <laughs> I mean, oh, that would be lovely together, yeah. wouldn't it? Amazing. Um, there's a lot of you getting involved on this, also recognising and appreciating the quality. Plus, you know, January birthstone, plus yeah. we're moving towards the winter months where maybe you might be looking. This is These are the gemstones that I want, the comforting gemstones. Yeah, when that, the, that the with the um, carnelian would Ooh, be. Oh, nice, like that. So you go with the warm tones. <gasps> Look at that. Pretty, yeah, really, really pretty. Or the selenite or with um, pearls, of course, classic pearls. Make sure you're checking out. Do we have many of these then, Rach? 
One left, one left. So make sure you're checking out. Other, um, wish list it. You can always wish list it. Um, let's do. Oh, where's that? Where that be? Let me see. Um, I don't. Oh, here it is. Got it. Okay. Um, oh, that's lovely. They're bracelets. Plural. So. Sorry to put, throw you in at the deep end here, Rachel, but I do have on... I, it doesn't matter if you can't find it, but there is a, there is a paperclip chain PowerPoint. Um, and the reason why I'm asking for this, I know you guys have probably seen this on multiple occasions, but um, there is a bracelet on that PowerPoint that Monica Veneda have. And I'm going to say it, it's very similar to this. Very similar to this one in particular. And it's £100. Mm. It's £100. Mm. Now, you don't just get the one, and it's the same gold-plated 925 sterling silver. Um, you don't just get the one, you get two. I launched these, I can tell you, lovely jewellery makers, they absolutely flew. I bet they did. This, again, it's so easy to make comparisons. Look, all your jewellers will have your precious metal bracelets, and probably all your jewellers will have a version of a paperclip chain, because it's one of the hottest trends at the moment. Mm. Um, although, not a new trend, actually, mm. has been around for decades. It was launched by uh, um, Chanel, um, and made famous. Uh, there's a £100. £100 for their paperclip chain. Anyway, we, uh, here we are at 29 99 but it doesn't just get you one, it gets you two. Finished piece of jewellery. That's very good. You could, you, if you want to embellish it, if you want to add your gemstones, maybe things like your bubble styles. That's it. That's it. Sorry, ninety-five pounds. I was rounding up. Um, that's it. Ninety-five pounds. I can tell you, I've seen that bracelet. Well, you can see on her wrist, it's quite delicate. It is quite delicate. You're getting that bracelet, a version of, plus another one. And notice how they're slightly different for 30 pounds today amazing it's got a really good clasp on it as well yeah big, like, it hasn't been scrimped in any no. way has it like look at the, the size of the clasp compared to the bracelet so if you wanted to hang a pearl off of there or, or or anything a charm or charms you know you've got a really good connection there a really good clasp. yeah there. absolutely amazing well done everybody stay where you are the last is a box of burmese jade hang on Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Cabochons. Some really lovely cabochons. Let me just get my piece of white paper. So if you do things like your gemstone setting, your gallery wire, your bead bezeling, um, or you are a collector and you're thinking, okay, I just want them for the loose stones, um, you've got amazing three beautiful cabochons. Ooh, Look at the translucency of those. Nice and uh, lovely depth to them as well. Um, I, I'm actually going to pick up the smallest one just because it's easier with the tweezers. But look at that quality. $7.99. <laughs> you, Rachel, you'll remember when we first launched Jade uh, uh, across the partnership. So it was a cabochon like this. It is wild. Jewelry maker is wild. They have said that about <laughs> us before. Um, but yeah, I remember like cabochons like this in, in finished pieces, that kind of size. And they weren't $7.99, obviously. Obviously, they're an amazing deal, don't get me wrong. Make sure you're checking out everybody because you have a matter of minutes. Your early bird brings the close of this hour. So make sure you check out your baskets. We're going to dive straight into your early bird. Um, anything that you have loitering, lingering in your baskets, now is the time to check it out. Otherwise, it will not be there in a matter of seconds. Your early bird is up next. They're stunning. This is that level of luxury class. You know, there's nothing wrong with your bog standard bolt ring. Nothing wrong with sort of fairly generic trigger class. But if you're looking for something, you know, the piece de resistance, it's up next. <laughs> We've had this conversation a fair bit lately where we're here at Jewelry Mako, you know, we want to be your go-to jeweler. We want to be able to bring you, yes, your fine gemstones. We love to be romanced by the story of the rarity, etc. But it is as important that we bring you the findings. Otherwise, mm. I'm not saying it's impossible making jewelry without findings, but it does make it that little bit harder, doesn't it? Yes. It but does. you know, say I'm gonna ask you a question now. What's one of your favourite strands that you bought recently from Jewelry Maker? 
pearls. Pearls, okay. Um, I've brought some of the red jade out recently. And, and so that's a favorite in your mind and you're yeah. thinking, okay, when I make that into a necklace bracelet, whatever it might be, you're not going to go, oh, I'll just use one of my more affordable bolt ring clasps. No. You're gonna put it on something special, aren't you? Yeah, and also for function, if you've got a lovely jade strand or a fireball pearl strand or a larger strand of anything, you don't wanna put a flimsy clasp on. Now, these no. are beautiful, but also functional. Yeah. Because they're substantial. And they're yeah. gonna, you know, your piece is only as strong as the weakest link, and the weakest link is usually the clasp. Yeah, absolutely. Do, is, is it just me that when I buy jewellery which I do the first thing that I look at obviously is you see the design that's what attracts you but the first thing that I scrutinize if you like is the class oh definitely it's like when you buy clothes and you look at the zip before, yeah because what's the point if that goes you know what I love using these for because they're so substantial if I'm doing bracelets I will hang an extra gemstone off of the class oh lovely um, because they can take it because they were you know they're almost a feature as yes. well as yeah function. You, you know like you said about your uh, lion that's coming up at, at midday this is a class that you would more than happily display at the front, wouldn't you? It's not necessarily yeah. a class that you would put at the back. Um, you know, you think Tiffany's and Co. They make a feature of yeah. their um, sort of padlock class, yeah, don't they? they? Do. Um, same with this one. Now you don't just get the one that I'm holding. You're actually getting three. As Deb's just said, they've got a real investment of nine two five sterling silver within these as well. I wouldn't hesitate putting my bigger, like say 12, 14, 16 millimeter gemstones on no, these. No, definitely not. Because you and also, it makes it look. It elevates the design. It makes it look more expensive. It yeah. makes it look elegant. It makes it look like proper fine jewellery. Absolutely, one hundred. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. And there's an, it's it's appealing for it to be as an artisanal uh, yeah. um, creator and crafter, etc. Yeah. But you still want it to look like luxury at it's the same your time. Absolutely. Now we have the only issue, lovely jewellery makers, is that we have only 150 and you might be thinking that's loads it's not not for jewelry maker on a saturday morning um remember i said the other day that the biggest quantity auction i've ever done here at jewelry maker was 2000 um and that was in sterling silver it wasn't a gemstone um because the deals we bring you on your precious metals and it was a luxury component like this now thank you for those of you that trust the process know that jewelry maker will bring you the best possible deal we are not stopping at 29.99 but it makes it's a logical price crash because that makes them 10 pounds each which is amazing do you know how many of us struggle with class that's the next question yes. because uh, and isn't it infuriating? Yes. I'm like, I've got like a really short fuse. So if I can't do um, a piece of jewellery up, that's it. It goes into the drawer and it never sees the light of day ever yeah. again. Yeah. Um, whereas this, you've got enough to grab onto, if that makes sense. That, so. means, that, that means a lot because it is so frustrating yeah. when you can't. You know, you haven't always got somebody around that can do your brace up. Although well, they do it up on the wrong thing and you're like, no, not like that. Yeah. <laughs> they're no. like, I'm helping you. Yeah, exactly. I know. Even when I ask my husband, he's, I'm like, well, no, can you undo it again? <laughs> yeah, you've twisted <laughs> they can't, it. They can't get it right. Um, already a third of the stock has gone, jewellery makers, and we are not stopping at 29.99. I don't think I know these are going to sell out because look how beautiful they are. As Deb said, these are luxury class. They've got that nautical vibe. We're going to put a clock on your screens and that is to your price crash. We will be dropping even lower. Phone lines have absolutely lit up there's a big investment of sterling silver um, big gram weight here beautiful design again to, sorry to keep referencing but you think Tiffany's and Co one of their most successful pieces as part of their sterling silver collection it wasn't necessarily the design it was about the clasp mm -hmm. the clasp was the feature so you could just feed this onto chain you could just knot some of your favorite gemstones on there but the clasp is as much the um, a beautiful part of the of the jewelry a third of the stock already gone we are going to your early bird price tag stock up when you see these if you love the clasp please don't oh. fall into <laughs> the trap thinking that we will always have That's them amazing. in stock because we don't um they appear and they sell out on one auction do you know what else i'm actually thinking deb's with your nine o'clock kits mm. i'd be teaming them alongside some of your gemstone set spaces aren't they gorgeous yeah they'd be beautiful this is the level of luxury this is the thing and you know I i'm 
guilty, if you like, of actually being so romanticized by gemstones. I got all gemstones, gemstones, and I'll buy loads of gemstones, yeah. but I forget components like this. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've done that with pearls and pegs and not had any pegs and thought, ah, oh, you know, and I just think that you will be putting these on your pearl bracelets, on your jade bracelets, on your, you know, whatever your gemstone that you use the most, um, you're going to be putting these on because they take it from, from one level of jewelry making to something a little bit more special extra. a bit extra a bit more fine jewelry yeah absolutely now we have 150 half the stock has gone we've got a very exciting saturday show planned for you and there's a load of you there i think those of you that have chosen to purchase one which means you get three can i just uh, maybe that's my fault you do get three it's not just the one there they all are you get three we are not stopping at 19.99, but you need to be quick. You need to be checking out your baskets. There's a whole row of names I can see there stacking up on the phone lines, the web, and also the app. How about for one of the most luxurious 925 sterling silver class, five pounds each? These aren't magnified either. Like if we put, if you've got a six mil gemstone, sure. you can put next to that. Yep. Because you know, sometimes we get it and we think, oh, because of course they're magnified on television because we get close ups. But these are substantial look. Like when we put them next to a gemstone, how large they are. They're really good size. They're epic. Look at that. Beautiful. So if you're thinking, oh, they look bigger than they are, they don't. No, no. These, are, yeah, these are a big class. You know, they're going to, they are going to be a feature, aren't they? Um, within your actual design. Yeah, look look how that. beautiful Whoa. that is. Look how beautiful that is. 47 of these available. Jewelry makers, there are full, uh, three full rows of names, soon to be four. Um, Meath has got three. Nicolette's got three. Barbara's got two. Suzanne's got two. Nancy's got two. Uh, Flinch has got two. Lanich has got two. Geraldine's just got two. Elaine, Angela, Rupal, Judith, Maureen, Jeanette. Good morning, everybody. Anita Mill, well done. Your amazing kits are coming up after the break with our lovely Debbie. And these kits are launching a brand new concept, gemstone set spaces. They are a level of luxury that will go perfectly, I'm going to say, with your early bird. Keep making sure you're checking out. And also this, uh, this auction is still operating throughout the course of the break as well. So you can still get involved, stock permitting that is. Um, but don't go anywhere. So much more to bring you. Wonderful inspiration from our lovely Debs after this. to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, Visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. jewelry makers what more could we possibly want on a saturday morning than your beautiful face oh thank you it's true you light up my day oh thank you coffee <laughs> <laughs> yeah well that's good that's on its way too yeah that so, you is know all cheap. is good in the jewelry makers studio <laughs> i hope it is for you too oh debs these so, are just would you mind sort of yeah running back talking about the conversation that you had yeah about this launch because they are brand new aren't they we've never had anything like this before we've not had anything like this and i've had this conversation with georgia about these um these components and they are 95 sterling silver but what makes them really really special is if you have a look you don't often get these in sterling silver you will often get them in base metal with glass yes yeah. Um, sometimes you get them sterling silver with glass because of the manufacturing costs. These are not only precious metal, but they've got gemstones in them, specially commissioned, specially made by our factories, our artisans, so that you can actually have a gemstone in those spacer beads. And these are the spacer beads, I would say, that are used most in sort of the high-end looking jewellery, the yeah. marlas, the tassels. Susie uses a lot of these sort of um, spacer beads in her beautiful designs. Yeah. But look at that. I mean, that's amethyst in, in those little beads, actual amethyst. It's not coloured glass. No, and the reason why we were saying earlier on, or you mentioned the fact that we've never done this before because is because it's incredibly advanced to actually achieve yeah it was um george was saying that the techniques used and that it's time consuming yeah so the manufacturing process is costly so they've never been able to do it before at a cost that we could pass on to our customers so yeah. if we did it before it was a it, they would have been really really expensive so they've managed to get them manufactured amazing absolutely so incredible but yeah so you get your gem set uh, your gem set spaces but yeah. also you get this amazing component which i think is revolutionary you know like as revolutionary as the slider bracelet was Agreed. this it's almost like a belt isn't it in sterling it, silver it is like a belt and, and it i've got a, a strand a very very long strand of pearls and quite often they will just swing to one side or the other. And I just want to kind of nip them in, sort of, I don't know, three quarters of the way down. And you know, what do you do? You tie a ribbon around it, you, yep. you know, you think of a way, but there's not really a lot of ways that you could take it on and off. Yeah. This is genius. Because, yeah, so basically, and I, and I think it's included on your monochrome necklace. Um, so you use it, you gather it together, don't you? And you yeah, clip it into so place. I took, um, I took these pearls off of the bust. 
I'll put them on, can we, on the overhead, is that all right, Dan? Yeah. And um, just to show you what you would do with just a, a regular strand of pearls. So if you've got sort of a strand of pearls and then you're wearing a neckline where you either want to take them up a bit or just make more of a feature or you just don't want them to hang down or if frankly, you've got bigger boobs and when you put them on, they go to one side and you want them to sit in the middle. Well, it's true, isn't it? Let's be honest. Let's yeah. be real here. Yeah. Um, you can put the, <laughs> you can put this in between. And what the, I think the revolutionary thing about it, you can get ready-made necklaces like this, is that it clips on and off. So you clip it on and look what it's done there. Ah. It's immediately made this bit shorter and it's brought this in. It's like a scalloped feature. effect, is not it? But you don't have to have it like that all the time. Like sometimes you might just want it to be plain. So then you can just unclip the side here and take it off and then your necklace goes back to what it was before. Do you remember some time ago I showed that photograph and I think um, Susie actually went on to make this ne or make a version of this necklace and it was it was pearls, mm -hmm. say a rope of pearls, but it wasn't 360, it was like a scarf. Oh, a yes, scarf yeah. with the tassels. I've seen I showed those. that photograph and I was like, I love that look. And, and she just kind of like looped it over. But you could use these kind of to gather together in like a lariat design. Most definitely. You? So what that that basically is, is a long, say, a metre length mm -hmm. of gemstones, a half a metre. And often people will put tassels on both ends and you wrap it around like your a scarf. neck like a scarf. But if you wanted to, with this, you can bring it together in the middle, clip it. Or if you've got a really long necklace... Put it in four, put it over your head, and then clip it. Nice. Now, so we have, these are brand new lovely jewellery makers. They are in 925 sterling silver. And we're going to start <laughs> with the amethyst, which is always a firm favourite amongst our jewellery maker audience. So, yeah, be quick on these. Um, lovely Rage, how many do we have? So, 77. And I just think that if you... Put those spacer beads can really elevate a design. If you have a look at my necklace on the end, the purple one with the pearls, if you go right down to the bottom, the largest pearl. Oh! Now you look at the difference, just adding those spacer beads, either side of the focal bead yeah. has made to the necklace. So that's the kit, thank you. Um, and I've added in some um, pearls that I had lying around. They are JM pearls from a while ago. And then I've just added, I had a few pearls left from a strand as I go up sort of every three. But look at the difference, uh, the, the elegance, the sophistication that those two spacers add. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they frame it, don't they? They frame they it fra perfectly. They make a feature of it. And they're the same gemstone as the strap. Amazing. Amazing. Now, six millimetre amethyst. You get your sterling silver gem encrusted uh, clip, I'm going to refer to it as. And for the first time ever, you're getting these amazing amethyst gem set spaces. You will not believe the price on this kit, lovely jewellery makers. I'm just going to say that. Because you've got three, well, four luxury components. Don't wait. $19.99, I genuinely would have expected to be for that, you know, the gathering clip. And that's because there's a huge amount of silver. Exactly. And, and, you know, we're talking about sterling silver components that would usually have some form of crystal glass in them. Yeah. But they've managed to be able to manufacture them with gemstones and be able to bring it for this price, which is why we've never done it before, because this would have been so much more expensive. Oh, they're beautiful. And I think for me, Deb, I was actually just looking at that pearl at the bottom of your necklace, just seeing it framed. Super simple. Two be of uh, those gem set beads either side. You're like, look at the difference. Definitely. And look when, at the difference when just by adding those. When we come to the demo, I'll show you just how it can just make a design. And I think our jewellery makers know this. It's the little touches that take a design from nice to beautiful oh out of this world yeah and absolutely. if you look at some of our guest designers it's what it's the little touches that they've added into those strands that they've added into their tassels that just make it look gorgeous but you know what we've we've not had these before no. Even, we've had crystal yeah. versions of yeah. them and they flew out the door but now to be able to offer genuine gemstone spaces which absolutely amazing isn't it um but this is the thing it's about access to components like this yeah i'm useless at maths and even i can work out that six pound 66 per component isn't it yeah and it's the sort of thing that i would imagine once you have them manufactured you know it's going to be a bit of a, a while before or if yes. we see these again because we've uh, georgia said she's been trying to to do this for a while and just hasn't been able to get the cost 
right to yeah. pass on to our viewers because it's been too expensive. Yeah, and I get that. It's you know I admire our buying team for being able to actually overcome those kind of challenges. They'll have these ideas like we do as as jewelry makers. We have these ideas, but actually manifesting them to at an affordable price tag. Nineteen of these left. Joyce, Cheryl, Molly, amazing. Keep on dialing through everybody. Um, now let's bring you the next gemstone, which features one of my all-time favourites. And if you've got silver. Um, then, yeah, you've got to do it with black spinel, haven't you? It's so elegant. It's so Chanel. It's so uh, Audrey yeah. Hepburn, Breakfast at Tiffany's, all sort of, of that sort of jewelry. I mean, I put pearls with mine, but you could put, and, oh, that quartz from this morning would be stunning. Oh, the clear quartz. <gasps> and yeah, some crisp white pearls would be absolutely beautiful as well. Yeah. Also, if you wanted to mix your kits, we've also got this lovely strand of garnet coming up. You could mix those in there as well. That would be pretty. But pearls, yeah, it's crying. I mean, sh move over Chanel. Because <laughs> Chanel often, no, listen, Coco, we admire you. You're amazing. They're not even real pearls, are they? No, they're yeah. faux pearls, yeah. faux gemstones. We're talking about genuine Spinel in your precious metals with pearls. I mean, oh my goodness me. Fifties are flying out the door. I'm not surprised. We've got a similar quantity as well. Yeah, similar quantity. Uh, also, they'll work beautifully together if you wanted to mix the amethyst with the black spinel and the garnets. We've yeah. got them all today. I don't think these are going to hang around. You've got a strand of six millimeter plain black spinel, totally natural. You've got that abundance of sterling silver in that lovely gathering clip. It's like a corset, if you like, to it your is beads. Like, yes, it is. Um, <laughs> wonderful. Gem encrusted. And then you have, for the first time ever, your black spinel spacer beads. They're lovely, aren't they? They really are. And you're looking at the final piece that is looks very high end. I mean, who hasn't got, you know, that dress where you have the classic black and white, whether it be pearls or, a, you know, a different gemstone, but you have that black and white, very Audrey Hepburn, yeah. timeless. Yeah. The sort of piece that your grandma could have worn, you could wear, your yeah. daughter could wear. Um, that's the beauty, in my opinion, of this monochrome colour scheme. Absolutely. I, I just think it's, yeah, it's faultless and it's, it's appropriate for every occasion, as Coco Chanel once said. But also, if you wear multiple pearl strands, like I quite often will layer Me gem too. necklaces. Yeah. Um, you could gather them together with yeah. this one as yeah. well, so they're not kind of slipping off your shoulder and whatnot. 19 99 only. We had 77 as well of the Black Spinel. They are flying out. First time ever being seen. You can see all your names across the bottom of the screen. Alison, Linda, Diane, Joyce, Angela, Heather, Meath, Multibuying, Sharon, Anne-Marie, Mary and Jerry, Yvonne, Christine. Good morning, everybody. London, Jackie, Lynn, Michelle, Anne, Angela, amazing. New customers getting involved as well. The final 30, well over half the stock has gone. You're loving them. And of course, we'll feed that back. Do you know, I think this is, we're at the tip of an iceberg here, aren't we? We're at the beginning of something very exciting because yeah. who who knows where it goes from this we could maybe um, upsize it they could be big Ooh, statements yeah. say, uh, uh, space beads obviously for the gemstones within them but 19.99 I also think because of the manufacturing cost involved you know you have to test that our viewer you think oh, our viewer is going to really want this but you have to test and see if our viewers do yeah. want it before you would maybe make the investment to do more styles and bigger bigger manufacturing costs but I think that for me, this is a little component that I've been using since I ever made jewellery. Yeah. Even those little base metal ones with the really obvious glass in. You know, I've used those since the beginning. It, but, but they do make a difference, don't they, to your jewellery? they do, yeah. You know, there's like, for example, say that black spinel, if I was just to knot it. Yes. Lovely. 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 However, if I was to knot it with just a couple of those spaces, it makes, it, it makes such a difference yeah. to it. The final 20 of these, you are loving these brand new components and, and we will feed that back, loving our lovely Deb's jewellery. Let's do the what, sorry? Let's do the garnet ones next, yeah. Amazing. So there's no jewellery for this one because I'm demoing with it, but if you want to have a look on my mat, um, just to give you an idea, you will see, I absolutely love Oh. that you can have these little tiny beautifully faceted garnets amongst you know any gemstone and then I've done again either side oh it gorgeous. just frames it doesn't yeah. it and I just think how gorgeous is that it's stunningly beautiful I, I know I've, I'm a pearl girl you know but 
I just think that something like this is just luxurious. And, and it is, oh, you're right. You know, like wearable. This, absolutely. And, and it was a viewer, and I forget, sorry, I, I want to say Amanda. Was it Amanda? Amanda, if you're watching, who said, look, Elle, we need the findings as much as we need the beautiful gemstones. I think that's so important because it can elevate. You could put those two garnet findings and that beautiful clasp on a strand of Joss Pearls and it's going to take it to a completely different level. Beautiful. Isn't so, the clasp lovely? It is lovely. You've got that, like, uh, um, hollow... Oh, my goodness. Oh, look You've at got that. hollow box clasp with little hearts. Can you see the little hearts? Yeah, it's... Oh, my goodness me. That's a £30 price tag for that level of quality. I mean, look at the refraction, the flashes of blues. Um, garnet, yeah, like we've said it already today, haven't we? Well, we've had some amazing strands of garnet this morning so far. Yeah. Um, it's a gemstone that look, can look borderline black, can't it, if it doesn't have the refraction like what you're seeing here. This one here. doesn't. This one is really... I was very taken with it when I got it out of the packet. And also, I was really taken with the quality of the gemstones that yeah. are in the little space. I don't know if we, how close we can get on that uh, there, but it's just... Um, you know, sitting here, I'm not, I haven't got my nose on top of my mat just because my head gets in the way, but I, you know, they really are juicy. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they juicy. really are. Um, so beautiful natural garnet set in your lovely sterling silver, plus you get the strand, plus you get that sterling silver box clasp, which has got little hearts. Can you see little hearts? I know, in the they're page? so beautiful. And Such we are going clasp. lower. So that's three luxurious components, lovely jewelry makers. Nineteen ninety nine. In my head, that clasp is fourteen ninety nine here at Jewelry Maker. Is that gone to nineteen ninety nine as well? That really? clasp is fourteen ninety nine. Would we agree? Yeah, uh, yeah. And the here rest, at yeah. Jewelry Maker, <laughs> yes, I'm thinking yeah. fourteen ninety nine. I'm over the moon with that. But that means well, five pound. I'm getting the garnet spacers, the gem set garnet spacers, and I'm getting the micro strand as well. I mean. Uh, it's beautiful. Um, I usually tend to gravitate towards the kits with the larger gemstones in, but I'm going to be really controversial. And even with the amethyst, which you know is one of my favourites, and say this is my favourite kit. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Your because favourite? Of it, because of how it is, how these gorgeous little sparkly creatures look in between larger gemstones. I mean, look at it, winking at us. I know, it's be winking at us. <laughs> now, our lovely Rachel... We don't get the privilege of her company that often, do we? She's a busy no. girl and she's in demand. Rachel, are you going to make an impact, Rachel? We're already making an impact, mind. Yes, she does. Like Why not? Yes. There is no one in the building to tell you off, absolutely. And I don't think they would anyway. I don't think they would. Oh, my goodness. For the class, the box class alone, I know I'm like a broken record, but it can't be a coincidence that every single vintage piece or antique piece of jewellery that you find on Antiques Roadshow is a box clasp. And that's because they're very secure. They, they stand the test of time. Plus, you've got these brand new gem set spaces and your beautifully refractive natural garnet all today for £16.99. Deb's favourite kit. I, that, I did not think it was going to be that bright. No. <laughs> I no. think the silver on its own, I'd pay that yes. for. Uh, I'd pay £20, our prices, for the two spaces and the clasp on its own. Definitely. Definitely. That, I don't think anybody would argue with the fact, if I was to bring, say, the box clasp as a star buy, and I was to say, tell you what, lovely jewellery makers, let's do that for £14.99. Yeah. Engineering, craftsmanship, for that box class. We'd be amazed we'd by that, wouldn't we? Yeah, we and if we were bringing these gem set spaces on their own, $14.99, amazing. You're getting it all for $16.99. That's very, very good. Uh, look at the quantity, though. It's plummeting. <gasps> Hurry up, you're going to lose. Huh? Yes, you don't want to miss out. You can always wish list it, though. Geraldine says, I'll have two. Thank you very much. Uh, hello, Lanarkshire, Nicola, Anne, Carol, Heather. Hello to you, Kent, London, Barbara, Molly, Pamela, Tracy, Angela, Christina. Hello to you, Andrea. 
uh, Maker, Catriona, Hello to you, uh, Buckinghamshire, Dorothy, Christie, Merthyr Tidville. I can't keep up with you now. Um, three full rows of names already. Already, um, here we go. Just gone over the 30 quantity remaining within the vault. They're brand new. Of course, these will be looked at by the powers that be on Monday morning yes. and go, oh, well, okay. They absolutely love those gem set spaces. And I think, you know, you're right. What uh, the, Our viewers, right, who said, and I think we'd all agree as jewelry makers, that yes, of course, we need the, the great gemstones, but we do need the great clasps and the great components Definitely. of space of beads and There's, to go with those gemstones. There's one thing about that, though, is that we do them, but we bring them at such an amazing price like they this, sell out. They, they're gone. Yeah. They're gone. I mean, these won't see another show no, they because don't. they'll sell out today. Yeah. So you've got to be watching and you've got to be checking out to guarantee them when we bring them. Um, hello, Janet, saying, oh, thank you. I was happy at the higher price, but that's fab. Exactly. I, I didn't think that they were going to go to this. No. At Rachel all. making an impact this morning. Now, I have got one more of your kits and then we've got a little bundle that i can bring on the back and of course we've got your demonstration as well um oh these are beautiful so what you're looking at now is me just putting them together with nothing in between as an actual focal component of a bracelet because they're just so beautiful and i've seen if you buy a couple of kits as well people put like four of these together in the front of a bracelet or a necklace to to draw the eye there <sighs> yeah. There's only 63 though, so you'll need to be quick. 63. Already going. They're stunning, aren't they? I love peridot. Me too. Mm. Me too. An amazing, amazing gemstone. Oh, look at that. And if you look at Spring them... Spring and summertime vibes. It really is. They do have a completely different look with the gemstone in than they do with the glass in. Totally different. Don't they? Yeah, they look classier, I'm going to say it. They, they are that much more classy, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they, they're not quite as blingy. So if you're not a bling person... I'm not a greatly blingy person. I'm a bit more of a boho jewellery wearer. But um, I like these because they add that kind of sparkle, but it's a different sort of sparkle does that make sense? yeah yeah total sense yeah. i've just introduced some of the garnet in the black spinel oh hang on i'm missing one where's the other one there because i'm thinking if your budget allows can you imagine being able to mix all these colors that's together? what i mean and like some people um have the different colors inside the gemstone strand which i think is yeah cool. beautiful. Well, you can put those on a chain you know totally have them kind of loose yeah links of london vibes beautiful um we're at 1999 i've got 50 Very of them good. available you get the four four millimeter peridot totally natural with that lovely chartreuse green shall we we're feeling rebellious this morning mm. shall we match the price of the previous kits oh yes yeah and look we're barely even mentioning the fact this has got one of our honeycomb box clasps which i'm fairly sure is the best part of 15 pounds on its own go <laughs> on your oh, marks exciting. get set <laughs> go 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 16.99 goodness me sorry i don't want to confuse anybody what, but what an affordable kit amazing absolutely amazing um hello karen morning, morning gorgeous peeps um, would I use flexi right uh, so for these kits? I think you can use anything. You can really. use whatever you want. I mean, I'm going to just demo with some um, tiger tail, which yep. is basically the same. But if um, which is beading wire. But you could use um, you could not. You mm -hmm. could use silk. You could use um, cord. You could use um, beading thread if you wanted to seed bead something around them. But yeah, just for a basic necklace or bracelet, I would go with beading thread. So yeah, flex right would give you a nice. Um, You've got a drape. nice aperture in the middle as well, haven't you? you so you could put yeah. leather through this if you, you wanted. You could put a couple of strands with that as the middle, yeah. so that you could do two strands, one of these, two more strands, so that it kind of brings it in. Yeah. So if you can, yeah, that you, that's a good point. You've got a really good sized aperture. In the It'll middle. go through most of your threading materials as well. Thirty six of these remain lovely jewelry makers hello lorraine nice to hear from you this morning i hope you're well as well say morning jewelry maker i would pay 30 pounds just for the spaces yeah it's not just me thinking that is it lorraine i mean but you know 
they've got gemstones in them. Yeah. And you know, you've got a substantial amount of sterling silver there as well. And, and I don't the know process. How, you, how do you go even go about making those? I couldn't make that. That you've got to have special. And you're equipment. a silversmith, yeah. aren't you? You need special equipment to make those because of the shape of them. Um, and again, it's all about the manufacturing process. So how they've managed to do it. I don't know, but I'm glad they are. Yeah, they're incredible, though, yeah. that's for sure. Um, make sure you're checking out everybody. Good luck. Lynn, Pamela, Dorothy, Denise, Carol, Mary, Suzanne, Rita, Anita, uh, Anita, Alison, Tracy, Lynn, Linda, Barbara, you're there as well. If your budget allows, I mean, it's $16.99, yeah. and some of them were not $19.99. Can you imagine mixing the colours as well? I think the amethyst and the peridot is calling to me because it's that classic purple and grain combination. It's just, it's saying, come to me. And you've got, <laughs> it's just beautiful. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I just think that, you know, then you've got the different spacer beads, uh, the different colours. And I don't know, there's a completely different vibe about how it looks with the gemstone is as opposed to how it looks with glass in and yeah. there's room for both yeah i'm not a massive blingy person so i would go for this more because i love the fact that it matches the gemstones and i haven't seen it anywhere else yeah absolutely and i i agree there's de it's like it's like your base metals and your precious metals i think there's definitely a place for both of them um but yeah naturally i think we're going to gravitate towards the genuine gemstones yeah. make sure you are checking out these kits are extremely limited um, first time ever actually launching your gem set spacer beads. Again, I mean, $16.99, that's absolutely incredible, isn't it, for all of the silver and the gemstones that you're getting within. Now, um, just to give you, uh, just to, we're going to just swap over the graphics, show you the amethyst kit, because our Debs is going to bring you a lovely demo in a few moments. And as ever, if you've got any questions, um, drop us a message. We are live here in the studio. So amethyst, again, we haven't seen amethyst for quite a while. No, and you know, again, it's one of my. It used to be my number one for many, many years, and it's still up there in my in my top five gemstones. People love amethyst. You know, you've got that beautiful purple colour that people mm. just. Again, it, it's it's if you're thinking about it metaphysically or to do with the chakras, it's a very spiritual colour. It's a very calming colour. And it, just to have that in my space beads as well, I think is a bit special. Oh, absolutely. Totally agree. At the top of a tassel or something like that. Amazing. Yeah. Make sure you're checking out each and every single one of these kits are getting quite limited now, folks. So never done them before. You know, for the, the I don't know how to describe it, maybe let's call it a corset clip, jewellery corset. Yes. Something like that, yeah. I don't know, which is equally gem, uh, gem encrusted as well. I mean, that I would pay nineteen ninety nine for. I didn't know that these existed, these little clips. And I, I was saying to you that I've got a long strand of pearls and they literally are just strung on. Um, and I wore it the other day and it was just getting in the way. And often when I'm on here, I can't have a necklace that's going to interfere with my microphone that yeah. goes off to the side. And I thought, oh, and I tied it in a knot. And I don't actually like that because it brings it right up. Mm. And when I saw this, I thought, I know what I'm going to use that on. So even if you're not going to use this with this particular kit, you're bound. You're, you're, yeah, you're, you're going to have... Function you're gonna have that strand that you sometimes want to take up or change the look of, like I showed you just now. Yeah. And this is perfect. Perfect for that. Now, question coming through from Karen. Uh, can you show me how to open the clasp piece? Yeah, this um, one. What, the box clasp? Is that what we can show you about all of them. I tell you what, our, uh, Karen will do all of them. So this is the box clasp. This is the heart one, which will be the same as the honeycomb. So you squish, that's the technical term. I've got nails and then you open it. Yeah and it comes out like that. Look, can you see? And then it's on. Oh, it's a double one too. Yeah, and then it's a hook take one. It off. So if, if it comes undone, you're not gonna lose because you have to then do a second process of just taking that off of the little loop. Can yep. you see what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, they're incredibly secure. It's like, it's like a door stop, isn't it, effectively? So you yeah. squeeze it down like you do, like you just, press down like that yeah and the same applies with your honeycomb one that we showed you with the other kit as well so if I kind of place that hold that on my fingertip can you see so again just press that down like this and it squeeze with squeezes within like so so really nice and secure like I said they are I think one of the most secure of class that we actually do yeah it's like um, a two-part yeah, security it is um, hello Sharon saying good morning I, I have all four Sharon <laughs> Amazing. I don't blame you uh, yes. 
Ah, oh, now hang on a minute. So Rachel's just said, can I ask a favour? Because Rachel has taken her own free time away from her beautiful family to be with us today. And her little boy, who's how old? Who's not, not so little. You're a big boy then. At nine years old, Harley is watching and, and we're going to say hello to Hi, him. Harley. Hello, Harley. Oh, your mum is awesome, isn't she? There's your mum. There's mom. mummy. <laughs> isn't she awesome? Ah, That's lovely. You should have brought him in. You should have brought him in. Next time we'll get him jewellery making. I remember Dave doing that once. He brought uh, um, his little girl, Mila, in and she was sat upstairs making jewellery. I came on in, proud as punch. Oh, hello, Harley. Have a lovely weekend, darling. You have a good day. Bless him. Your mum will be home soon. We just <laughs> need you right now. Definitely. She's bringing all the deals on the jewellery, you know. Um, awesome. Right, we've also got... I am right in saying this, aren't I, Rach? Black Spinel. Let's recap the Black Spinel. Yes, amazing. Um, and we've got your demo as well. And um, we've got... It's gone so fast this hour, isn't it? Gone super, super, I think super the great fast. thing about this is you don't need really, you know, once upon a time we used to try and do everything really complicated and, you know, now you want to make lovely wearable designs. So if you're a new maker, if you haven't made jewellery before, this is the kind of kit where you can get something really special with some very, very basic techniques, which I'll show you. So it doesn't have to be a long demo because it's not difficult. No, well, but again, all these questions do come in, uh, do text in. Amazing. Just recapping now on the black spinel kit for you as well. Six millimetre strand of natural black spinel. Plus you've got your gem set uh, spaces and you have that lovely uh, um, sterling silver corset clasp, if you like. Um, we've got a bundle to bring you as well um, before Ooh. the top of the hour. But first, okay. take it away, Debs. Take it away. So what I've done is I've re-stranded this because these are little tinies. I have to get my head right over the top and you don't want to watch me stringing for ages. But just to make the point, that these little spaces add so much to your design. So I've put my fingers over the spaces here. Now that's pretty, I think, isn't it? Because I absolutely love the little garnet with the pearls. But you take and add some precious metal into the mix. And this is the sort of effect that you get. And then you get a beautiful precious, sorry, I've caught it. You get a beautiful precious metal clasp and pop that on and you've elevated that design from pretty to something in my opinion that's really really beautiful and high end and of course these are precious metal and you've got your gemstones i can't believe how um, sparkly they've got these garnets in these beautiful little spaces so what i've done is i've cut a length of uh, i call it tiger tail like old school jewelry making but it's it's I, i'm hesitant beading to say wire, isn't beading it? it's beading wire um i'm hesitant to say beading thread because then you start thinking of your wild files and your fine yeah. lines but with something like this i would use um a beading wire and a beading wire is essentially it's got sort of seven or more strands all sort of cleverly woven together to give it structure and strength but also a really nice drape so decide on your um, design and what I tend to do is I don't fix my ends on at the beginning so that I can take away if I don't like something on, and add in without actually committing to doing the clasp and then when I'm happy and I've measured everything and everything seems um, fine so the only thing that I've added in here are a few um, freshwater pearls from my stash and then I had this larger pearl that was just one left over from a strand that I had of another kit and I've popped these beautiful spacer beads either side and then I've put two of these beautiful spinels in between. Now you could put one in between and eat and still get that sparkle because it's beautiful. And then I've just added more onto the end just to sort of give that effect. But you're the designer, you can do whatever you want. And then to add my clasp, all I need to use is a crimp bead. And if you haven't used a crimp bead before, it's essentially just like a little tube that we squash down to hold the wire in place. So I'm going to take my crimp bead I'm going to pop it on the end of my wire here. Okay, so it sits on your wire just like that. And then I'm going to pop my clasp, one end of my clasp on. So I've kept this clasp together, but you can take it apart if you want to. So I've popped, this is what I have. I have my crimp bead and I have one end of my clasp on there. And then I'm going to take the very end 
of my beading wire and I'm going to take it back down this crimp bead. So there is more than enough room to do that. And I'm going to put this on the mat so that you can see what I'm doing. So let me move that right into shot. So what I've done is I've gone in a big circle. I've gone through my crimp bead, through my clasp, and then taken my strand just back down the crimp bead. And what that's done is it's made this loop that's going to attach my clasp on. But I need that to be neat and I need that to be secure. So what I'm going to do is just pop my crimp bead right up there to my loop. Now you don't want to have it so that it's so tight that you don't get any movement here because you know this class can move around freely and you don't want to put too much pressure on the beading thread so if that was stiff and you couldn't move it um, it wouldn't feel so nice to wear so I'm going to get some chain nose pliers and then I'm just going to squeeze down now if you are have got crimping pliers of course you can use crimps and a crimp cover but this is a demo really for people who haven't done it before now I'm going to be controversial I rarely use crimp covers I like the look of the squished crimp especially if it's it's sterling silver and that's all there is to it so now this is very very securely on the end of my design so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my bracelet beads right down to that class. Now usually I would say if you can take this little tail that you've got left over and pop it through the first couple of beads but I know that these are too small to do that so I'm actually going to trim it off at this point. So get a nice close trim and just bob that off and then push these all up together so that now half of your clasp is connected on there. And then you just need to do exactly the same again on the other side. So I've got too much beading wire here. I'm just going to um, snip it off. So you're now nice and connected on one side. So I'm going to do the same again. And you just have to pay a bit more attention when you do the last side because you don't want to be having, you don't want to be left with sort of when you finish gaps, gaps in your, in your bracelet. You don't really want to see that wire. So I'm going to pop on my crimp once again. And then I'm going to take the other end of my clasp. And if you find it easier, you can take this clasp um, apart while you're doing it. And this time, you just have to make sure that all of your beads are nestled up together. So I'm going back down again that crimp bead and pulling tight so that that crimp bead comes up. Now, the common mistake, if you are a beginner, it's not a mistake, it's just a learning curve, is that you think, oh yeah, they're really nicely tight, you crimp it, and then you find that actually you didn't crimp it tightly enough and you've got like a space. So you just take a moment here to make sure that you're pulling that so that all of the beads are snuggled up together, they're not sort of wrecking out, they're not too, you can get a nice movement, and then you just once again will take your pliers and just squish and you'll find that little crimp bead will go flat and it will hold in place and then all that's left to do is take that excess tail off and you're left with a really look at pretty, that a really pretty bracelet um, with some very basic but beautiful though but a kind of bracelet that I would wear and when I was making to sell absolutely. would sell any day of the week oh gosh yeah, absolutely now if you want additional yes, spaces <laughs> which I'm I, I'm sure quite a few of you are really excited to do you get two of each of your amethyst your black spinel and your peridot we've got a very limited edition bundle Ooh. there isn't many of these so it's you know if you're thinking I want more than two maybe you yeah this is a good add-on isn't it's it it's a lovely add-on to your kit there are only seven left straight away. You've checked out on these. They are the same gem set spacer, uh, uh, spaces as we actually had in your, um, in your other kit. So um, absolutely beautiful, aren't they? And they're brand new to your screens, never been on air previously before. Um, and they've absolutely flown out. Again, I think this is something that tip of the iceberg, really, I think, for your gem set spaces. Um, they're stunning, aren't they? Nicolette Joe, London, uh, London, London, multi-buying, Karen multi-buying, Devon multi-buying, Wiltshire, Meath multi-buying, uh, Lynn multi-buying, Linda, Heather, I can't keep up with you. Um, it was a limited edition bundle. There's literally one left, so congratulations. You can always wish list it, though, remember? Yeah. Add it to your wish list because our call centre do call you if anything falls back into stock. Yeah, because I've done it. 
you know, and I've been desperate for something, um, and I thought, oh, well, I'll try it, or what, you know, what, some people's cards don't go through, some people change their minds, some people cancel their orders, some people, um, it, it just, you know, tech gizmos, like, cra it crashes or whatever, well, and it comes I've, back into stock. Yeah, they bought two, and then they go, actually, I'll only get I just one. want one. So, yeah. yeah, so it's worth wishlisting your items as well, for sure, if you miss out mm. on it. Now, ideal opportunity for me to tell you what's happening in a few moments' time. We have the lovely Dave stepping into the studio to launch for the first time your San and Scan in a bangle, and we've got the most unbelievable bracelet as well, plus other beautiful strands. So this is happening in a few minutes' time absolutely beautiful and totally and utterly natural i'm obsessed with sun and scar oh it's gorgeous isn't it it's gorgeous, absolutely the color it? is oh like that and it's a larger size bangle as mm. well so if you've struggled with a smaller size look at that translucency um yeah we've also got the last remaining opportunities oh, in yeah look at that it's like it, it's like the purest freshly fallen snow that what you've got there on your arm party looks like something you'd see in vogue magazine a hundred percent doesn't it and should carry thousands upon thousands of pounds as yeah, a price tag yeah. because it's all natural oh, it's beautiful. all totally natural um, it is coming up. Not too long to wait on any of those. We've still got loads to bring you in today's show. We've got beautiful masterclass, which features your sterling silver, the lion and the elephant. Elephant, it? yes. Um, that's at 12 o'clock as well. So amazing masterclass demonstrations with our lovely Debbie. Um, um, but like I said, after a very, very short break, we are welcoming the wonderful Dave Troth back into the Jewelry Maker Studio to bring you one of the most delectable gemstones you could possibly wish to own totally natural when the likes of cartier accepts it into their grasp then you know that you're going to get something truly mesmeric but also usually highly considered up next dave troth with the launch of your salon scar to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, Visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Something's just entered into my head. It's like, do you ever have those moments where you think, gosh, how lucky am I? Because right now I am stood with arguably one of the most beautiful, beautiful gemstones on the planet. For sure. And we're going to make it available. Yeah. It's the wonderful oh, day. Thank you. Everybody. And thank you to you guys as well. You're absolutely right. You know, one of the newest, most exciting gemstones in the world. It's captivated the kind of uh, Far Eastern marketplace. I've you know, not long returned back from China and I've seen the, the prices of this commands. I've seen the teams that are working with it. I know firsthand the team that we're working with is selling it to Cartier. So it's mm. already got that uh, international backing in the Western world. And to have the opportunity to bring you the finest grade as well, that, that's one of the, the key components. When we talk about Jadei, I can't bring you Imperial Green Jadei. I can show it you. you. Go to Christie's, go to Bonhams, Chow Tai Fu. And we can talk about uh, the most uh, remarkable Imperial Jades in the world that command these supreme price points. When it comes to San Anscon, of course, it also, look at this. It also Unbelievable. Has, you know, the different grades. What you're looking at would be considered kind of imperial grade San Anscon. It comes from one place in the world. It comes from Pakistan, Kashmir uh, side of Pakistan, that autonomous region between North India and Pakistan, which is disputed territory. Very difficult to mine there. And it's been around for a few years. And for a while, no one really knew what we were dealing with. And then it was, went to the different labs around the world. And a lot of publications have picked up on it. And they see this as the future, really. Mm. You know, we know that the jade out mines in Myanmar are mined out. We know that this imperial green color you cannot get from Guatemala. You know, we get the Olmec blue, but we don't get this color. Mm. And the opportunity right now, and look, going forward, maybe we will be priced out because you know, we got in very early on this deposit. And we're going to make it available, like uh, Al said, which we, we feel very fortunate to be able to do that. But even more so, we're going to make it affordable. So when you go to Parlor International, which is an incredible authoritative body, like a lab, 
which is owned by uh, my friend Bill Larson. They're incredible. Um, they write about and document some of the finest gems in the world. They you know, sell some of the finest gems in the world. They wrote about this gem. This is early on, you know, when no one really knew what it was, and they called it the Mao Sitsit Masquerade. And they say exactly a year ago, the Hong Kong Jewelry and Gem Fair saw a healthy amount of a green stone, which was sold to dealers as Mao Sitsit, but from a new deposit, not in Burma, which is weird because Mao Sitsit only comes from Burma. And they say, and then later in the spring at Basel World 2016, gemologist and educator, uh, Professor Henry Hani, was asked by a dealer, Ibrahim Rashad, uh, of Rainbow Minerals in Peshawar, Pakistan, to look into this material. Indeed, Rashad has been working on a remote deposit in Western Pakistan, uncovering boulders of the green material as shown in the images below. Right? So this is where, you know, it first launched at Hong Kong, being sold as the finest grade mouse sits that anyone had ever seen. You know, they'd got the location right. They said, look, it's not from Burma, it's from Pakistan, but no one really understood mm. what this material was. You know, there isn't real notable gem labs in Peshawar in Pakistan, although they have a lot of great gem knowledge and they're great uh, at mining gemstones. You know, this kind of database of knowledge really kind of only exists in the Far East, like, you know, your Hong Kongs, or in uh, Switzerland, you know, yeah. Dublin, the SSEF. <clears throat> and then these articles came out. This is my own picture, okay? And um, this is what they're saying. They say, it looks like Mao Sitsit, it's Sanan Skan from Pakistan, and this was with the first article that came out. Look, you can see it's by Professor Dr. Henry Hani, who was asked at Basel in 2016 to look into this material. Now, the picture that I took here, the gentleman that, that I was talking to, I was in, this is when I was in uh, the Far East, in China, in Hong Kong, sourcing jade in November. And I walked into this gentleman's uh, cutting facility, and he had these inc incredible boulders, which I'll show you in a moment, of this impressive green stone. There's one there on the right, you can yeah. see it by the calculator. And uh, foolishly, I was like, is this you know, a new form of jade? Is this jade? And he said, no, no, no. Uh, and he had about three guys in there working on this unbelievable collection. You can see there's a strand there, a graduated strand. You can see there's a bangle at the front as well. And um, he was telling me that he's actually working on this collection in November when I was talking to him for Cartier. Right? They'd just tried to take exclusivity of it. Okay. They'd fallen in love with it and they wanted to bring it to the world. Yeah. And obviously, this guy's the only guy that I'd met in the world that had this material. This is in November. And I asked him if we could do a deal. And the reality is, this forms almost like dust. Okay, I, I think I have a picture of the rough, which I'll show you this. So this is the rough, my own picture from this, this facility where they're carving for Cartier. And he says, you've got to buy these huge boulders of rough. And you very rarely get the, the, the mineralized material. Like, it's not as healthy a yield as jadeite, for instance. But buried in that rock, sometimes there will be material suitable enough to carve beads from. And so to get the deals that we're doing for you today, and Jake Thompson was with me, we actually bought a huge pallet load of rough. Okay. Because he said, look, we, we can start working on it, but it's going to become really expensive because of the wastage. We said, we'll buy the rough. We'll buy the rough from you, but we want you to work with it. Because he's one of the guys that's you know, carving for Cartier. We said, we want you to cut and carve for us. And so we did this deal in November. We are, what? Nine months further yeah, down the line, ten forward, months yeah. further down the line now, eleven months or, or whatever it may be. We're in the late, you know, mid to late September, and it's arrived. And I'm telling you right now, had we bought this um, kind of retail or you know wholesale pricing, but already cut, already carved, finished goods. Mm. Well, I know I told you that necklace. I think I told you last time that graduated necklace that I showed you a moment ago. Mm -hmm. I asked him the price on that because I thought, oh, we'll, we'll bring this back at least. Was ten thousand US dollars. Wow. 10,000 US dollars because of the wastage that goes into it, because you can't get this from anywhere else. And the unique thing is, <clears throat> with this gemstone, uh, San Anskan, the vast majority of it, when it's crystallized, right, so you don't get huge, with jade out, when you carve a boulder, a lot of it is usable. There's, there's always crystallized jade out within the boulder. It will vary wildly in terms of colors. So mm -hmm. very little imperial green, maybe some lavender, maybe some white, more often than not, like a, a much more washed out green, which you call a celadon green. There will also be different hardnesses. There will be your rough, uh, your, your fine quality, whatever it may be. With this material, you don't get a whole boulder of crystallized material. But when you get crystallized, it's imperial green. Wow. It's imperial green. So we have the opportunity right now to bring you light for light material that Cartier are bringing. And this is uh, the GIA and the SSEF. And they are colored by chromium, which is exactly how the, the imperial green jade gets its color. <clears throat> it's a huge amount of chromium as well which is probably quite evident if you know anything about gemstones. You know, we're talking about emeralds, talking about the imperial jade. 
This is imperial jade color in an exquisite brand new gem. That is the rough. This is the SSEF who certified this material. <clears throat> and they talk about it, the new material resembling Mao Tse Now the reality is, you see those two cabochons? Those two cabochons there, and there's another shot of it there in the rough. Usually it is dappled or striped with black yeah. inclusions, which is why it can be sold as Mao Tse Okay. But in the premium grade, which is what this guy is sourcing from Pakistan, uh, i.e. this, he's, and look, remember, he's not sourcing it for us, he's sourcing it for Cartier. But because it's the only thing he's importing into Hong Kong, that's all he's carbon for us. So we're getting, we're jumping what's widely available in the market, which looks like Mao Tse black and green, and we're getting the imperial grade. Wow. Right? So this is what it looks like. But in its finest grade, the SSCF said Sanan Skan will find its position in the market among Jade at Jade. Mm. So it will become, and has done, and we've seen it firsthand, more expensive uh, and valuable than Nephrite, than... Um, then the mouse sits it, that it masquerades us. This is like alongside Jade at Jade. And when Jade at Jade now has disappeared, it's been mined out, this is the future. Like, as, as I said, they're, they're cutting for Cartier, and the, the gentleman I'm in touch with quite a lot, and he sent me one of the pieces that they cut for them. Are you talking tiny, yes. tiny moments of this? In fact, the Sanan Skan is 70 points. The tiny moments of it. Now, there are other pieces that Cartier has still yet to launch. They're bringing, and I know, I look, you'll see them probably in the next year, but I, I saw them before they were even set or sent to Paris. Butterflies carved into this material. Wow. Bangles. Bangles? Yeah, absolutely. You, in, that clip, in that picture that I showed you of the framed uh, certificates, mm -hmm. you saw the strand, yeah. which is carbon for Cartier, and the bangle, wow. which is carbon for Cartier. It's just that the first few pieces that have trickled through into the Cartier stores are these pieces. Yeah, when you're talking... Huge, huge uh, prices for this material, probably in excess of $100,000. Oh, it's Cartier, of course. Exactly. And it's, you know, a whole wealth of 18 karat gold. It is a, a, a bangle slash bracelet, but it's tiny moments of the sun and scar. And I'm going to tell you today, <clears throat> I think you were wearing it earlier, weren't you? Yes. One of the largest um, bracelets and bangle opportunities you will ever get the chance to acquire. This is a single piece of sun and scar in imperial green colour, and that is Cartier standard. Oh, my goodness. That is Cartier me. standard. And look, I'm not going to pretend that he, this is the only guy carving it. <clears throat> We're working with him because he's working with probably the biggest jewellery brand on earth, so we know <clears throat> the grade is extremely high. But there's another one uh, team that I know in the Far East, and, and they've just started bringing this material to the market. And these are wholesale prices. These are wholesalers. They're not retailers. So new products, great prices. This is their kind of headline about this material. And Sanan Scan there, wholesale price, like a pair of earrings, six hundred dollars. No precious metal. And with mottling as yeah. well. Yeah, of course. And then the piece in the middle, don't get don't get confused. That's not like bangle size. They're for earrings. Right. So they're like drop earrings. Okay. Incredible carving technique, eight hundred dollars. Wow. And then there's a starfish on the right, which is nine hundred dollars. Can I can I just ask? Because we we've got lovely Rach. Yeah, we've got Rach. Yeah. Rach, have you seen this before? It's amazing, isn't it? Um, it's the, it, the most vivid green yeah, I've yeah. ever seen. This is, the reality is, the, the, the colour that we have, you know, the, that's impressive, that picture, but the, the colours that we have right now are what we would consider imperial green. Like if I, it, okay, Rach, Rach is one of our, you know, senior buyers here, yep. uh, more so at Gem 4 -ish. She's helping us out today with jewellery making, but she's one of uh, an incredible team of buyers here at, uh, at Gem 4 TV or whatever you want to call it. So she buys a lot of our jewellery. Yeah. Rach, if that's type A jade that looks like that, that's forty thousand dollars. Yeah. Like the price to Rach. Like, yeah. Then we have to make a profit. Yeah. But there's a reason we I've brought you in the last three years, including this place as in Jewelry Maker and next door, probably bought you different designs, two hundred to three hundred different bangles, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of like jade, nephrite, different colours. Never ever even got close to that colour. There's a reason for it. Like, I met a gentleman in China, consider him a friend of mine, uh, Stanley Chu, and he sold the world's fifth most expensive bangle. And it, my, my, is my mic on or messing around? Is it? It's just banging a little bit. Okay, so is that a little bit better? Yeah, all Thank good. You guys. So <clears throat> he sold the world's fifth most expensive bangle. It didn't look too dissimilar to this. No. He sold it in 2021 for $3.88 million, US dollars. Million. Yeah, and Rach, I don't know if you've seen this, but... Um, 
I wanted to buy a piece of Imperial Jade for myself. Yeah. Um, this. You guys might have seen this, but I wanted to buy, and, and I thought this is the best guy to do it with. His family have like 60 year collection. He sold the most expensive bangle of all time. And I was like, I'm gonna ask him. So he was like, yeah, no problem. I said something tiny, cause I don't wear any jewelry. I was like, I just want it on a chain, done. He was like, no worries. When I get back to my office in Hong Kong, I'll find just a piece of this. This isn't retail, this isn't even wholesale. This mates is- Mates rates. Friends. Mates rates, right? So this kind of color mm -hmm. in Jade Eye. And remember the SSEF, the reason I'm saying that, thank you guys, the reason I'm saying that, is because the SSE, SSEF, the Swiss Gem Lab, are saying, this is going to be the next Jade Eye Jade, right? This is the piece. Right? Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful. Unbelievable. 56 points. Okay. Oh, my God. Which is about 4,000, yeah? 4,000 pounds. Mates rates. That's why we don't bring you bangles of Jade Eye that look like that. And you've got a problem when in the SS EF are saying, this is going to find its place among Jade at Jade. We've got a bangle. And um, I was speaking with Wayne just this week. It's probably the last bangle of San and Scone we will do. OK. OK, that's just it. Because Cartier are going to have them. Exactly. And you know, <laughs> once they launch it, we can't, this guy's not going to provide access like this to us. Of course. So if you want to own the finest, natural, single locational bangle in the world that we can bring you. This is it. And Rach, how many of these do we have? 49. Okay. 49. Healthy, healthy quantity. Yeah. Range. These are going to disappear. Absolutely. I think we have to start with the bangle. Is that right? Yeah, I so, think okay. so. Guys, I'm going to ask for a 30 second clock just to make this fair for everyone. So this 30 seconds is going to give you opportunity to pick up the phone or to get the app open or the web. But in 30 seconds time, everyone's going to have the same opportunity to get involved in this. It is absolutely translucent, top gem, incredible material, imperial green colour. It's blown me away, Dave. There's, like I said, that imperial green colour with the translucency. Mm -hmm. I, I, you said, I think it was your words at once upon a time, we don't, I don't have business wearing this. Yeah, yeah, That's we, the we, thing, I don't yeah, feel we, we like... We have no business bringing this material to our country, Yeah. Right? We don't exist in this space. We're not Cartier. But right now, and maybe this might be the only time, you've got an opportunity to, to buy this. Mm. And we're going to make it as affordable as we possibly can. I know if in November, wholesale prices for a strand that was graduated, just a strand, was $10,000. Wow. And this is a solid bangle car from one piece. And remember, you don't usually get slices of this material. So no. it's almost impossible to do that. So it forms almost granularly. Yeah, pretty much, for 80% you know, of it. And then there'll be you know, almost gem-bearing portions within the rock. Maker in London's got two. Maker in Devon's got two. Nottinghamshire's got two. Let's remember, if everyone multi-buys, there's actually less than 25 opportunities available. Yeah. That's... And the reason I say that is because more people have multi-bought than not right now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't blame you. I don't We blame exist you. in a world where I, I, I should sell that for the price on screen. Yes. Well, this, that's what I was about to say. You know, if you're saying a beaded strand is 10,000 wholesale, I mean, that's not unrealistic, is it? No. In fact, that's an amazing deal. For sure. In fact, do, do, I, don't, look, I don't want to be rude, but does anyone mind if I just nip out and grab my jade torch? You plan no, This no, is no, you know, going do. to be, um, the SSCF puts it there alongside jade, right? Yeah. I'm going to nip into the office and grab my uh, jade torch, which I got from Hong Kong. Yeah. I'm going to put the light through it, and I'm going to show you just how gem-bearing this material is. Absolutely. It's not brittle. It's not weak. It doesn't have fault lines. It is top crystallization. It's compressed. It's compact. Is what if it was jade up, we would call it top water or aqua jade. Up. It's something even rarer right now. You know, it comes from one single location on the planet. Yeah. In Pakistan, San Anskan only recently recognizes in its embryonic stages of development in terms of its market appeal. And already the most respected labs on earth are saying, this is the next jade out jade. Amazing. Chromium bearing, imperial green. Already Cartier are bringing this forward to their collectors. And I'm going to nip at my torch because I want to show how this yeah, goes. Yeah, no, please one second do. Now. Well, uh, here's a, an opportunity for me to tell you, look, we only had 49 and already these are going. Um, collectors, multi-buying, as Dave just said. Don't, it, it, it genuinely is one of the most beautiful gemstones I've ever seen. And like I said, I've only ever experienced it 
um, over the past few weeks when Dave actually launched it first here at Jewelry Maker, San and Scarn. When Cartier have got their sort of hands on this beautiful gemstone, it is only going to have one influence on the price point, and that is not going down. It would mean it will dramatically increase and will be quite literally priced out of the market. Just amazing that I'm actually holding a natural... That depth of green, that imperial green with the translucency that Dave's going to show you in a bangle, you know, in the world of jade, be that Burmese, be that Guatemalan, wherever the location, be that Canadian, you know, the bangle is the pinnacle, isn't it? We all know that. It's the pinnacle. It's regarded as the most valuable of all varieties of jade. But even more so, I'm going to suggest with your San and Scarn, because if it forms in almost like dust, how, how seldom would it be that you would find, and we've seen the rush, uh, the rough, sorry, that, uh, that Dave showed us earlier on, how seldom it would be to be able to incorporate. And it wouldn't have started at this size. It would have been significantly uh, larger. And, and then exactly, imagine if you're holding something which is tipped to be the newest imperial green jade, something as valuable as that and to embark on actually carving a, a, a bangle like this. Um, what an opportunity to our collectors up and down the UK, all around the world, getting involved as well. We've never had it before, quite obvious. More than likely, we'll never have it again either. Thank you, Ash. Dave, that's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, um, I, I completely agree. It's nice to see so many of you that have multi-bought. We appreciate you putting your trust in us. <clears throat> Rachel has been, you know, she's our producer. She's been here for, for a very long time and in the industry before that. Yep. Um, and Rachel, as, as one half of our incredible buying team, has been tasked with, for the last year, you know, working with myself, working with the team in acquiring incredible uh, uh, gemstones and mm -hmm. jewellery for our birthday next door, right? Which is a pretty big deal. It's our 19th birthday. We are the, the, the you know, we're talking about as a group here, but we are the UK's longest running dedicated Jewelry channel, right? Yeah. Or, or, or jewelry house that just exists on TV. We've got the most exciting birthday ever. Like that's the idea, isn't it? You want to beat each birthday. You want to make it even better. Give you a reason to tune in. Rach, do we have any San and Scarn in our birthday next door? No. Right. Okay. Do you know why? Because we cannot get the quantity. Like, no, no, not being disparaging to anyone, but. That is a, a much bigger beast in terms of it's yep. live for lo longer hours. We have a huge American presence. And so the reason I come here isn't because, oh, it's convenient, it's next door. I come here because I get to do really exciting things here at Jewelry Maker. Because the things that are too, I'll be honest, that are too rare for next door, that like I would take to Rachel and she'd be like, look, it's amazing, but it's going to annoy more people than it makes happy because we can't just, uh, as our big star yeah. buyer during the birthday, we can't just bring 30 of something. Yeah. Rachel's placed orders that will have 1,000 quantity, mm -hmm. literally 2,000 quantity, 500 quantity. When we bring a bangle next door, we bring 200 minimum. Yeah. The massive quantity today is 49. That's not like a nice round number. Like we, you, you can imagine those conversations where we said, at least give us one more, can we get 50? You can't <laughs> get it. You know, no, one, no one chooses 49. No, 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 definitely not. And then now... <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, my this is goodness why me. I dis thank you, Dan. This is why I disappeared into the office. Oh, my goodness me. Right. And I just want you to understand, this is not like some gimmick or like a parlor trick or like, you know, some, some sort of, you know, party trick. This is the reason we do this and the reason that a jade torch exists is, you know, when you speak to people in the West, if you speak to a gemologist, a gemstone buyer, what they carry around their neck is usually a jeweler's loop, right? Because when they're studying gemstones, when they're buying gemstones, yeah. that's how they adjudicate the value. You don't carry a loop with, with jade or nephrite. You have a jade torch. Okay? Which is what that and is. a jade torch exposes the, the reality of the jadeite. Now, I'm currently in the process of launching my own website, David Harry Jewels, mm -hmm. and I've been compiling a you know, series of blogs because I want it to be really informative for anyone. And one of the blogs is about jadeite. And um, I was speaking with someone who's been in the industry for 50 years, and he, he talked about what makes good jadeite. And he says everyone gets distracted by colors, right? He says an insider in the industry looks at the stone, an outsider looks at the colors, and they get distracted, which is me. Like, I'm an idiot. Like, I've got three years' experience with jadeite. That's the reality. And I might know a little bit more than other people here, but like, I, these people that I speak to in the Far East, they've forgotten more than I could ever learn in a lifetime, right? Mm. They grow up around jade and its derivatives, like Mao Sitsit, like the Sanan Scarn that Cartier have fallen in love with. And 
the, the first and foremost thing they look at is the body of the stone. Mm. Okay, that's where we talk about water. And there are three variations in like Taipei Jade and Sananskan. And it's water, ice, and snow, to be really simple about it. Okay? And they talk about these stones in, in layman's terms, so everyone can understand it, in, in the, the way that water can exist. Okay? So if it's the finest, it's top water. Right. If it's translucent, it's icy grade. And if it's okay. opaque, it's snow. So you get moss in snow, uh, you get icy okay. jade, right? and then you get top water. Right. And I love the way that, the, that they do it in the Far East because... They don't care about marketing or like making it sexy. You know, when we look in the West here, people are selling fragrances and perfumes. They've got Johnny Depp topless walking through a desert. <laughs> you know, but you know, the, that's the reality, isn't it? And nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it, no. right? Okay. <laughs> you're right, you're right. And, and for instance, when they talk about naming a gemstone, you know, they, they have a perfectly incredible gemstone that was discovered in Tanzania. It's called Zoosite. And Tiffany and Co. went, mm, no, nah, it's not sexy enough. Where's it from? Tanzania. Let's call it Tanzanite. Doesn't it sound more mysterious? Yeah. Right? yeah. Same with Sarite. You know, we're talking about diaspora, color change diaspora. It's incredible. We go, it's really cool. Like the SARS of Russia, let's call it Sarite because it's so cool. Yeah. Right? In the Far East, it's all about what you see is what you get. Right? The most expensive gem in the world is uh, Kotan jade, right? Yeah. Mutton fat. Mutton fat. Mutton yeah. fat. Sounds Mutton disgusting. Fat. It's more expensive than gold. Yeah. Yeah. The most valuable rubies on the planet are called pigeon blood ruby. Yeah. Right, that comes from the Far East because it literally looks like pigeon blood red. Yep. You know, it's not sexy, no. but that's the reality. And when we're talking about this, this gemstone that will become the next shade, already has, in many respects, chromium bearing, imperial green, far more difficult to work with than jade eye, mm -hmm. much more dense. The reality is, as this torch exposes, you've got an incredible stone to start with. It's top water, there's no fault lines, there's no imperfections. This bangle, so a jadeite bangle, solid bangle, takes 10 hours to produce. Okay. Do you know how long it takes to produce one of these? No. 14 hours. Wow. Right, so you like, it's not, uh, might, might not sound like a huge amount, but if you just sat there for four hours, it's a long time. Yeah. Right? It's a long time. It takes an extra four hours to produce a Sananskan bangle because of the complexity of the gem and also finding the material. Like, Half the work's done for you, and I don't mean that, again, in a disparaging way. They're amazing, the people that work with jade. But half the work's done for you because the jade up boulder, you get a jade up boulder when they're large enough, and you slice it, and they're 12 mil thick panes of glass almost. Yeah. And then you literally get a stencil, and you draw the bangle on. And a lot of that 10 hours is actually based on the, the quality of the jade. Like, is it going to crack? Is it not? You know, mm -hmm. we take our time. Mm -hmm. With this material, you can't, you can't, if I show you the rough again, yeah, you, you can can't. carve it into, like, panes of glass if you want, but the majority of it's rock. A lot of it is just minuscule particles that have crystallized. That's the reason at Cartier, the first piece they ever launched with is 70 points. Yeah, they're probably like Collection. four mil rounds, probably about that size. And this is 180 carats. Wow. And you can feel the weight of this. Yeah, material. it's beautiful. It's 100% natural. It's type A, if you want to call it that. It has a wet look finish, which we know that high gloss finish is, is what you know, gives you the value. Um, um, I wish we had another one, because if you put these together. Ah, funnily enough. Have you got one? No, but look, it, do, it does it. I wish I had one. Okay. I wish, I wish. That was Sorry, nice. Rach, we'll have a 30 second clock, we'll start giving you a price. Um, only it. because I obviously put Cheers, these Dan. on this morning, Dave, yeah. and... There, there you go, okay. You put it near your mic. They can probably hear it anyway. There you go. So that's just with a, a huge bracelet and an amazing bangle. And again, that's not it like uh, some a gimmick. Yeah, it sings. Th that, what that teaches us is that the crystallization of this jade, of this, sorry, of this sand and scarn is extremely fine because there is nothing blocking the reverberation of the, the sound, the acoustics, I guess, the pitch. That's when you know you've got fine grade hard stone. Oh my goodness me. Straight down range to uh, 1,500 pounds, from, from 12,000 pounds to 1,500. And that moment in November where I saw that bangle, remember we bought rough then? Yeah. I saw one bangle. The, the, the necklace was $10,000. If you'd have said to me, no, no word of a lie, because of how expensive it is, because of the absolute unbelievable privilege of seeing a gemstone that Cartier is on the cusp of launching, if you'd have said, I'll give you 10 of these bangles for $1,500 a piece, I'd have taken them. Yeah. And we'd have sold them here at maybe $1,700, $2,000, whatever it is, take a very small margin. I'm telling you right now, when we bought that rough, we didn't think we'd get a single bangle. Okay. Did not think, we never said, guys, make bangles. That's always priority is given to bangles when it's with yeah. Jade, Nephrite, it's a dream. San Anscan. That's what they're going to look for first. But I genuinely didn't think we'd get one. Not one, but 49. Like, 
I only ever saw one before this moment. And the guy told me, we've just finished that for Cartier. That's how I know it takes 14 hours. Just finish that one. That I got one bangle. I got to hold it. Wow. And I know that's going to a boutique somewhere, whether it be in Paris or, I don't know, uh, Bond Street, Fifth Avenue, wherever it goes. I don't know. I, not, I don't make enough money to shop at Cartier, right? So I don't know where they are. But we've got the same grade. That's all this gentleman imports from uh, Pakistan, carved by the same people. This is like jewelry maker, Jampori, or whatever we want to call this, doing what we do best. And right now, at 1,500 pounds, I am so far removed from where we're going to end up on this. We've got 16 left. Is that right? Yes. Okay, 30 second clock. Sorry, Dan. Sorry, Rach. 30 second clock. These are all gone today. No yeah. Worries. Good luck. Um, your opportunity, probably the last opportunity. The price goes up all the time for new and exciting material like this. Amazing. What an opportunity. What a piece to be the custodian of something this incredible. You see, and I loved learning about that, the water, the water, ice and snow. And you can see this is that water quality. It's my favourite yet. It's my favourite yet. It just, I've never seen anything like it. That great, look at it, look at it on our screens, the, how it glows. 49 is a far greater quantity than we ever imagined. I say we like I knew about this, I didn't know about this. Just the love affair became immediately when I saw the first ever strand that was launched here at Duramaker. Never in my wildest re dreams, Dave, did we think we'd have a bangle. You did. I'll be honest, I didn't hear what either of, either of you said. I was just. Right? I went because I was in the gallery and and like El, El will cover for me because I'm going off in the gallery. She's like, I'm going to keep talking so no one knows I've gone. But I'm just going to be really <laughs> honest with you. I went in the gallery to speak to producer Rachel. Um, I'm in like birthday mode. Okay. I am like just done the rarest pearl on planet Earth next door at the most okay. stellar deals. I only ever bought 400 of them. I've just sold them all out. Okay. Fucking abalone pearls. Not wow. Shrimp, pearls. Iridescent peacock blue natural pearls. They're 30 years old. And I've just given them away, essentially. Jewelry editor says it's the rarest pearl in the world. Rarer than conch, rarer than mellow. Really? And we've just sold them. Okay. And I'm in birthday mode because our birthday kicks off officially next month. But um, we are doing what we call priority access deals where we bring in some of the deals from the birthday forward. Um, I just went into Rachel, who's, you know, part of the, the family here. And Wayne isn't in today. We know he's, you know, not too long going to be boarding a plane for Hong Kong. Uh -huh. He's going to the Hong Kong show. And I'm like, do you know what? Let's do something wild. Let's just do something incredible. I bought the rough. Ultimately, there is a price that we want as a channel for this. I don't care. You want to get an incredible deal. Now, usually, Rachel, I love the fact that Rachel's in there because <clears throat> she doesn't know the way jewelry maker works in many ways, in the best way. She's get, she, it's exciting, so she, I, Rachel. Usually, usually and, and Rachel knows this as well, but usually at this point, we like stagger it a bit more. We go, and that's not your price. Rachel, I went into Rachel and I said, do you mind if I do this price? And I circled a price. And she's like, I'm not meant to take it that low. I was like, should we just do it? Like, this is a takeover, right? Yeah. And she said, yeah, forget it. Let's do it. And then I said, okay, well, we'll stop off here first. And Rachel went, no, no, no. Slam it right down. Go straight down to the price. And that's what we're going to do. So what? I'm going to, just because we've had this discussion behind the scenes, Dan and Rach, apologies, because we're going straight there. I'm going to ask for one more 30-second clock because okay. I feel like you have the right to know. We are going straight down. This will sell out in a second. Oh gosh, yes. In 30 the seconds. Screens. There's 13 left. Yeah. In, in uh, you know, I can't even see the clock, sorry, Dan, but it, we'll say 20 seconds on uh, 15 seconds, whatever <laughs> it is. There's a clock there somewhere. We're going to just call the price. And I'm giving you time to get on the phone lines. I'm giving you time to multiply like Rosemary, like Karen, like Greater London, like Devon. Thank you, Dan. Uh, 13 seconds, 12, 11, 10, okay? Good luck, everybody. These, this is an opportunity that comes around once if in lucky. a lifetime. If you're lucky if you're lucky, genuinely. Right place, right time. That's where I was in November, and uh, that's where you are right now. So, Rach, take a £1,000 off the price. Oh, my goodness me. £1,000 straight off. I said, we're just going to slam it down. This, these are gone right now. Rach has got a sheet in there. I don't know if you've got one out that says we should be at 799 for this. Should be 799 Brand new launch, incredible bangle, huge carrot weight, San Ants gone, the last one we'll ever do. Premium, imperial grade. I just said to Rach, should we just go 499 499. When you think about that singular bangle mm -hmm. that was created yeah. for Cartier. Yeah. Listen, I used to I used to sell Cartier jewelry. Mm -hmm. They didn't have unless it was a pen. Yeah. You wouldn't see that price tag. Yeah. 
No way mm -hmm. would you be looking at something like this in Cartier. Look, we were developed, I'm not 100% about jewelry maker, but Gemporia or Gems TV and its different iterations over 19 years now. Like Steve wanted to take on the high street. Mm -hmm. okay, he was like, we're going to take on the high street, we're going to deliver exceptional jewelry, and we're going to beat the high street prices. Today, we take on high jewelry. High jewelry, yeah. That's what we're doing. Like, we're talking Cartier. It's true. We're talking San Anscon. The most uh, uh, celebrated labs in the world are saying this is going to be the next Jade Out Jade. Like it's just leapfrogged everything else. Jane, you've bought three of these. Congratulations. Cumbria, you've got two. Surrey, you've got two. South Yorkshire, you've got two. Greater London, you've got two. In the queue right now for the final seven, I've got Tracy, Libby, Maker, Jilly, Marie, Michelle, Maker, Maria, and someone else has got four in their basket. I've got six opportunities left. You've got the most undeniable, unparalleled translucency, transparency in this material. We've never, we've never seen that before, have no, we? No, no, no. Never seen that transparency. Nope. That quality of colour before. No, never. And probably never will again. No. I think it's that's a fair conversation to have. I completely agree. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've got to be honest, I am so envious right now because this is my all-time favourite now. Do you agree, Debs? I've said that before we came live, didn't I? Yeah, just a combination of the colour and the sound that it... Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's that sound, isn't it? It sings, doesn't it? Confucius yeah. wrote about that, how it sings. Amazing. Plus, you've got your 0% interest split payment, Jewelry Maker. A once in, I, I, do you know what? Not even lifetime, multiple lifetimes opportunity. We're in the infancy, as Dave was saying, of San and Scan. It has just been um, taken under the wing of beautiful, uh, of the wonderful brand that is Cartier. But when, if you look at the pieces that they've got currently, they are set to launch new pieces, as Dave was saying, but tiny, like four millimeters in their size on that brace. Yeah. Four millimetres. I've never seen anything quite this colour. I mean, no. It's, but I, yeah. Very, very different to anything that we've ever actually brought that to That we've air. ever had before. Ever, I ever. Mean, it's so saturated with colour. It's just beautiful. It really is. The final few. Good luck, everybody. Make sure you're checking out. I can see a load of names stacking up, Dave. Uh, it's, it's an honour for me to actually just to, just to wear it. Dan, can I have a 30 second clock, please? Okay. Um, I've got six left. I've got, what, 20 or 30 people waiting for the final six. Maybe you're waiting uh, to check it out. I don't know. A lot of people have multi bought. In okay. 30 seconds' time, I'm going to take three figures. There is a clock price. ticking. I'm taking three figures off this price. What? Yeah. We're going to do something absolutely wild. These are going to be. But going. weren't they meant to be? Weren't they meant to be seven nine nine? Let's do something wild. No point putting six back in the vault. No. Um, I'll have one any, of them. Yeah, we'll go for it. Um, to anyone right now who's tuned in, who's already been on the phone, already multiple, already got it, I'm going to say to you: everyone pays the final load deal, so don't worry. You're going to be getting hundreds back in your account. Hundreds. Um, Rach, take a hundred pounds off the price, please. We're going three nine nine, and then Dan, when the price is in, we're just going to give everyone a minute. There's only six left. Um, if you want to try and get another one, go for it. We're taking £100 clean off the price. This should have closed at 7 dollars We're going 3 dollars This is your moment. Oh, my goodness me. Minute to check this out. Minute to close this one out. Uh, Anne, Tracy, Maker, Jilly, Marie, Michelle, Maker, Maria. Yeah, good Maker. luck. Got, trying to get five. I don't know what you want to do. There's four chances remaining. We're at 3 dollars £79.50 on interest-free split payments. And you've got a minute right now at this price before we close this auction. So good luck. Yeah, you've got 40 seconds. I know we're having a few technical issues That's with right. our clock right now. But yeah, 40 seconds left on this auction. £79.80. The final three opportunities. Good luck, everyone. Don't think you've missed out. Don't think you can't do it. You absolutely can. If you call up, you're going to um, yeah. jump the queue. You, you know, it can be taken out as well. Oh, I will be. Yeah. 20, 20 seconds, seconds left on this auction. Um, I absolutely will be giving this a chance during the break because I'm absolutely hypnotised yeah. by that green. Um, so 10, 10 seconds, seconds remaining, yeah. two chances remaining. Don't think you've missed out. You absolutely haven't. You are right now in with the chance, an opportunity. We've gone super low, too low, ridiculously low, brand new, imperial green, San Anscon, 100% natural. Stay holding on the phone lines or the app or the web. Try and get hold of this. That was the most outrageous deal I've done for you this year. And there uh -huh. was still two uh, available, we believe. So stay holding for those. Unbelievable deal. Good luck. Is there two? Two, I think there's two remaining rates, right? Yeah, oh, two so chances remaining. A lot of you trying to get through. Oh, my Do goodness. not think you've missed out. 
we can do beans on toast for the rest of the month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can do, I, like beans on toast. For I've sure. got salmon For scum. sure. I don't mind beans on toast. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. a treat. Yeah. Um, oh. Congratulations. Well done. Ready? You ready? I don't know if I am, Dave. Yeah, I've got to be honest. The these are unbelievable. Ever see. There's 10, though. 10 of these. Just puts into perspective how fortunate we were to have the amount of bangles that we had. Because when it comes to the size of these rounds, when it comes to the, the sound of these rounds, when it comes to this bracelet, there is 10 in the world. Oh my goodness. Yeah. If you, I mean, that, just that. Phenomenal. Look at that. Yeah. That's Imagine. Um, red carpet fact, worthy. I'd, I'd go even <gasps> further and I'd put it next to the mutton fat. Yes, I, was, I did put that earlier. Put the mutton fat on next to that and you make this unbelievable strand. 390 carats, nearly 400 carats. There's 10, you've got to be quick. Hopefully you've already dialed. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. And if you think we did something crazy on the bangle, we're gonna do something far crazier on this. And straight down right now to 499. Seven left already. Which is where we should be. What did you say? 499 is where we should be. 499 yeah. is where we should be? Uh -huh. That Remember seems amazing. Remember the, the, the necklace, if I can show it. The first time I ever saw this gem, the first piece of finished jewellery I saw was a necklace in that studio in Hong Kong. Sorry, Ray, I just think I accidentally switched the clicker off. Um, this one here. Yeah. And the price on that was $10,000. Okay. Obviously, it's, it's longer. It's graduated. I'll say two bracelets then. £1,000 with us right now. Yeah. That's 10000 But we're nowhere near done. Half wow. the stock is gone. And we're nowhere near done. 30 second clock. We've got multi buyers already. Thank you, Dan. I appreciate it. 30 second clock. If you can see it or if you can't, there's 30 seconds on your screen right now. And there's four chances remaining. Rosemary and Surrey, you've got it. Devon, you've multi bought. Hazel, you're there. Amy, Maker, trying to get two. Cumbria, you're trying to get two. Four opportunities remaining. The bangle, we, were, um, we went ridiculously low on. We're about to do exactly the same Unbelievable. on this bracelet. They are 16 mil rounds. You don't usually get above 10. Absolutely incredible, aren't they? What we should be looking at. Um, your deal right now, 299. 299. Yeah. Certified natural. Yeah, 100% natural, imperial green. You can see the glow behind L there on the screen. Uh, you can see the sheer size of these. They're phenomenal. Do you know, and it's funny, Dave, I think the last time we discussed actually San and Scan, we were talking about can you imagine being you know, in Brazil when, um, for example, Bra Brazilian Preba tourmaline was discovered, you know, where it's at its infancy, quite literally. Can you imagine being able to source it before the world was captivated by that beautiful gemstone and the price per carat went to astronomical amounts? That is exactly where we are right now with San and Scan. It's new, mm -hmm. it's new, but and already it's been discovered and, uh, and, and uh, grasped by, uh, by Cartier. It is like that Dave it's almost like we're at the foothills in 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 Brazil yeah. in the infancy and discovery and of your Paraba. Privy to that opportunity there's one gentleman that I know that went over there searching for Alexandra in the late 80s early 90s he called his wife and he asked her he was obviously a prominent gem dealer and he said can you wire me a, you know uh, I think it was ten thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars and she said oh you found the Alexandra he said no I found this like brand new tourmaline he bought an oil drum of Windex Blue Paraba crystal. Wow hundred thousand dollars that's like hundreds of millions of dollars by today's standard yeah and that's like what happens if you're in the right place at the right time but it is sheer look that guy was looking for alexandra yeah he didn't have like a tip off no. uh, and that's the reason we travel that's the reason we go around the world you know you have to be there you have to be in it i guess to to win it mm -hmm. and we were in the right place at the right time and right now if you're tuned in you are because we've got three left we only had 10 and rach i'm gonna go two four nine on this yeah, I know. We went crazy on the bangle. Don't, <laughs> Did you don't hear like, her then? turn on me now. Did you hear the reaction? Like, she was all on board for the bangle, and then this one <laughs> I do it, and she's like throwing me under the bus. What are we doing? Oh my goodness. I thought I had an ally. <laughs> yeah. um, 249. You know, they're, 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 they're what, 16 millimeters, and they form in granular sizes. Yeah, yeah. And also, there's five split pays on this. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. 49 oh, yeah? pound 80. Four, yeah. 
That's madness, isn't it? Interest free, one chance remaining. Cumbria, Surrey, uh, Amy, are there Rosemary, Hazel, Devon, Anne, Margaret, Marie, Maker, 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 good luck. Thank you, Dave. I got the bangle. I already have the 16 mil bead bracelet and it goes beautifully with the mutton fat bracelet oh. in heaven. Thank you, Margaret. Wonderful to hear from you. I hope you're having a, a lovely Saturday and uh, thank you for taking the time to message in. Now, oh, let's do... Oh, Necklace. Was... Yeah. How many of these, Rachel? Barbara Hutton. Yeah, this is it. All right, let me show you the translucency if that's okay. Oh. Sorry, guys, to step out of shot. Oh my goodness, this is that, if you are inspired by the Barbara Hutton, this is the perfect colour, isn't it? Yeah, this is the Imperial Green in San Anscan. And, you know, I'm going to show you that transparency. Oh my goodness me. It's just unbelievable, isn't Each it? Each one holding the light like a light bulb. The Barbara Hutton. All the way, sorry Chris, to the end. Natural. Not one that lets this strand down. Incredible. I held a strand like this in China. It was jadeite. Nowhere near this color. The value of, of strands has obviously gone through the roof. It's the most wasteful material to produce and has such the most expensive. And the wholesale price in it was $70,000. 70? Yeah. And it wasn't imperial green. Of course, it was jadeite, but we've got 41 opportunities of this. Yeah. Take a look at this color in the daylight. Oh, my that goodness. That is why we're talking about uh, the Barbara Hutton. That's why we're getting excited by Yeah. This. That's incredible, isn't it? And, you, and we never... We'd have never entertained being able to bring this to our no. customers. Absolutely. Well, Imperial Green, 100% yeah. natural, single location, or a gem that has been touted as the future of Jadeite Jade. That's the shot. You know, as you rock it back on the hand. Yeah. And it, each one is has got that incredible glistening. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. You could just, we can stand in silence, can't we, and just admire Rach, it. Rach, can you do me a favour? Can you go on the internet? and just type in uh, doubly fortunate jadeite necklace or Barbara Hutton jadeite necklace, and there'll be a shot where it's in the hands at some point, and it's that colour. Doubly fortunate. Or Barbara, or Barbara Hutton, Hutton, whatever. Barbara though. Hutton I mean, we're talking necklace. about gemmy, juicy, top translucent, yeah, imperial green. I've never seen a strand like this in all my time here of any gemstone. Oh, it's incredible. You got it. Uh, and if we, There might be a better picture whether it was like in the hand, but, you know, um, that's fine. You go on images, or even that one there. You see that one? Yeah, that one there, like the fourth one along. That yeah. one would do because you know that's kind of how it's put together right now. Oh, yeah, even here that. it is. The record sale of the Hutton Midvani necklace. It broke the world record three times: 1988, 1994, and 2014. Most recently, selling for 27.4 million US dollars. Today, it would be worth north of 100 million. You see, like, both shots there, one showing you the matching, one showing you that incredible luster and how juicy and gemmy those jadeites are. That's incredible. Yeah? I'm blown away by this uh -huh. trend. 31 opportunities. Oh, wow. Okay. Simply knotted with a luxury. This is what, you know, know how many times, Dave, we've had the conversation about how yeah. jewellery makers should Class. sell 18, yeah. uh, 18 karat gold clasps. Mm -hmm. I've, 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 I've lost count of the amount of times I've actually said it, but um, this is why. Okay, look, this I'm going to go why. to the price that we should be. I'm not even going to mess around. Okay, we're at 19,000 pounds. I could, I could go to 1,000 pounds, I could go to 5,000 pounds, I could do 1,500 pounds, we could do 799. I'm going to go to a price right now that I'm still nowhere near the finished price, and it's because this is selling out already. So I'm going to go to... 299. That should be it. That should be us done. 180 carats. The most impressive colour I've ever seen. It is. It is. Yeah, it really perfectly, is. Perfectly encapsulating. With that water. In pure green. With the water. With how gemmy these are. How juicy these are. With that luster. That's, Unbelievable, Dave. If you, get, if you miss out on this, you miss out on this. I'm nowhere near done, but I'm giving you the opportunity to get involved right now. The next price will be the final price and it will be disappearing. And listen, we haven't got a crystal ball, but we kind of know Cartier have got their mitts on it, so they're oh, desperate. We've also heard from the, the, the most notable gem. Exactly. But so I'm just thinking, look, if I can get this today, split payment, 299 whichever and it is. the highest grade. And, 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 yeah, the finest quality. Yeah. And see what the future holds. We kind of know. We kind of know. Yeah. And then maybe, I mean, I don't think I could part with it, but then you approach the likes of your first dibs, your Sotheby's, your Bonhams. And your uh, all I'm going to say to anyone right now, I am going to call a price and 
more of you will miss out than well, this is I'm giving you an opportunity. I'm trying to buy you some time. That's literally what I'm trying to do. And I'm going to recommend that the price I'm going to call on this, that you multi-buy. Imagine getting an ultra long length. Is this not it? No, no, no. We're nowhere near done. Like, we're stopping off here to give you the confidence. Well done to Greater London, who's got two. Nottingham, who's got two. Lincolnshire, has got two. Karen, you've got three. Greater London, you've got two. 21 chances remaining. 20 of you have already got it. When I, and, and, and when I see it even here in the studio, which is the worst lighting mm. you can get. Yeah, floodlights. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, it's not Jadeite, and we shouldn't really even kind of put Jadeite in the same breath, but, you know, the SSEF are putting it in that bracket. I'll just let you know, Elle, and Rach and the team, if that's Jadeite, it's about $10 million. Yeah. My friend Stanley Chu has got a necklace maybe slightly larger than the, the um, eight mils here. That colour in Jadeite, and it's $11 million. And I've seen other strands at 70,000, which are nowhere near this colour. And Good you've luck. got the opportunity to get something single locational, ultra rare, and that the, the world is saying, this is the future, this is going to be in the same bracket as Jadeite. Um, I'm going to give you 30 seconds then. I will give you 30 seconds, and uh, I'll call one price. Good luck, Never seen everybody. Anything this beautiful. No. Never seen anything this beautiful. Ever. It's incredible, isn't it? To have this opportunity, even to be just part of this show. Well, okay, we know Cartier are bringing um, San Anscarn. Yeah, right now. How much is that necklace in Cartier? Oh. Cartier sold the Barbara Hutton necklace, by the way. It was there. Yeah. They sold it for twenty. They they sold it for twenty-seven point four million dollars. Okay, so they have this history with Jadeite, and they've now turned to San Anscarn. Yeah. Right. They put a ruby clasp on that, as they did with the Barbara Hutton necklace. What's this selling for in their boutique? Ugh, beyond my budget. Rach, I know we've only got 13 left, an unlucky number for some. I hope it's not for you. I said more people will miss out than get involved. I could stay here and it sells out, but I'm going to take £100 off. We're going 199 A hundred pounds? Okay. Yeah, good luck. Oh good luck. my goodness me. It's perfection, Dave. It it's absolute perfection. So, Maker and Ayrshire, Anne, Marie, Maker, Claire, Michelle, Nottingham, Surrey, this is your opportunity. That, that is perf perfect imperial green colour. Can I, can I be controversial? Yeah, for sure. Because we've had the most amazing three years of jade, yep. haven't we? Mm -hmm. This is my favourite. Yeah. yeah I, can I love, I because, love you know, when, we, when we look at jade, when we talk about jade, it's the colour, this is the iconic colour. It's my favourite, yeah. And you can't get it in jade, right? No. You can't get it. Eight left. Eight left in the world, Philippus, Maker, Anne, South Yorkshire, someone's trying to get seven, Staffordshire, Nottinghamshire, we've got Surrey. Amazing. Eight opportunities, you've got 0% oh. interest payment, translucent, top water, imperial green, chromium bearing, single locational. Well, there's quantity remaining, but only just, there's also a lot of people with it in their baskets. Yeah. Um, good luck, good, good luck, good luck. Now. Mm -hmm. Is it? Wow. That's a necklace waiting to, you know, you just need to attach your clasp of choice. Yeah. But it's the same with all the strands. And, and if, if you wanted to create that amazing long line necklace. Or graduated. Graduated, uh, yeah, absolutely. Graduated this, put I, them all in one strand. Oh, it comes to about here. Like a rope of San and Scarn. Yeah. Um, Okay, look, this is the must-have if you've just got involved on that the piece before. How many of these do we have, Rach? 19, 19 opportunities. It's also the most popular size as well amongst our jewelry. I like, I like having Rachel in there because I don't need an earpiece. I can hear her. I know we've got 19 <laughs> of these. It's good. You know, I never wear an earpiece and, and sometimes they have to write to me on a system, but Rach can just say it. Um, this one, 19 opportunities. We're going to do an even lower deal, even though we shouldn't because it's exceptional. We are talking about something really special. Mm. Let's go to 199 straight away, Rach. Match the price of the other strand. Okay, we're going to go there straight away. There's only 10 carats difference between them. Yeah, because this, yeah. this is a Much longer strand. Yeah, much longer. I mean, if you were... I'm going lower. I'm letting everyone know that. So you've got Belfast, Maker, Surrey. Um, 16 opportunities. We don't have the, the luxury of having 41 of these. Okay, that's a boutique out. That's, that's, that's Cartier. I, f I can imagine myself in Cartier right now. You know in what? The they're, they're smart. You know, like, there's a reason they've chosen to go with San Anscon. Yeah. There's a reason they chose to go with San Anscon, and I, I can see why. Mm, me too. 
They have an illustrious history. In fact, they have the most illustrious history with jade out of any jewelry house in the world. Wow. They've sold the most expensive piece of jade ever. Yeah. Okay? And, you know, if you go into a Cartier boutique, you can often find jade out, one of their flagship stores. And now they are moving into Salanskan because the jade is gone. And I'm telling you, to be able to bring the imperial green colour, something that is arguably rarer. Oh my God. Like we That's are, insane, I know isn't already, it? I know already we're underselling what we have here. Yeah. Like it's not even a case of what if, what's going to happen. I already know we're underselling this. 30 second clock, um, if it's okay with Rach and, and Dan, and I'm going to do the ultra long line. 170 carats, imperial green San Anscon. Remember what San Anscon should look like? It should have black inclusions, flex. Yeah, well, right? you see and those. Patterning, where it looks yeah. like now sits it, not today. It's oh completely God. translucent and uniformed as well. Wasn't it, so, was it, didn't Stanley say to you, the only thing more expensive than, than a bangle? A bangle is a strand, match strand, yeah. A match so strand. So it's really easy to see the, the wastage in a bangle because it's literally the holes cut out of it. Yeah. Something like this is far more waste. And so it commands a much more serious premium. Nine left, Rach takes 50 pounds off 149. And Rach knows because she works more next door and she buys for next door. That's the price of a Swiss blue topaz ring. What, 149? Yeah, 149. I mean, and they're not running out of Swiss blue. No, no, it's lovely. I like Swiss blue topaz, I don't just, get me wrong. That shot, that, was you, that shot that Chris just had there of that bottom row of this. Yeah. Where you just see how gemmy it is. Yeah. Like in the worst lighting ever. And we're doing that for 149, which is bonkers when it's 37 pounds something on interest free split payment. 30, seriously, can I just. 37 pounds something, I don't know. Confession, I don't know if this is appropriate. I'm going to go with it anyway. But Friday night tradition is that we have a takeaway oh. in our house. Ask the girls, what do you want? What do you want? McDonald's. Probably yeah. the worst, in my opinion. Right. Anyway, I pay more than that. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. Pay more than you that. You can't pass that down for general. No! Uh, well, it's you know, rubbish. You, you try giving well, to this a is grandchild in 30 years. Not going to be too best pleased. Although, apparently, <laughs> the McDonald's just would look exactly the same. Um, <laughs> yeah. Look, we've got oh, one more auction to squeeze in for you. We've got me. other auctions coming up. W which one is it, Rach? Oh, she says, I'm going to do... I heard oh, big my ones. God. 270 carats, 10 mil rounds. How many, Rach? There are. I, can I have it for a second now? Of course. One Sorry, Chris, I'm going to do the, the, the course, acid course. test with the light. Oh, tell me this quantity, Rachel. Tell me this quantity. 10 are. That, I mean, listen, 10 is a fantastic quantity for what we have. This is outrageous. Ah. Uh. It's perfection, isn't it? Look at that. Again, it's... Thank you, guys. Cheers, Chris. Just wanted to show you that because as we get larger, you know, usually we're more accepting of it being more opaque. Yep. But Fair again, enough. Jemmy glowing like a light bulb. <gasps> I've only got, what did we say, 10? Just oh. 10. I'm going to go straight down to 499. It's 270 carats. San Anscon, the gem that no one else is bringing you, the gem that you know, we, we've literally stumbled upon in a studio in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And I thought, not that I'm an expert or anything, but I thought it was Imperial Green Jade. Yeah. Um, and then when he told me that he's you know, cutting for Cartier, I thought, yeah, it's Imperial Green Jade. And then he was the one that was like, no, it's rare. It comes, this material comes from Pakistan. It's only just been verified and certified as a brand new gem calling it San Anscon, it's chromium bearing in the same way that Jadeite is, um, but it is something that is capturing the attention of the biggest jewelry houses on the planet who are all looking for that gem that's going to replace Jadeite. Mm -hmm. It's easy Here to see is. why. Like, I can't, you know, we talk about Pareto Tourmaline because it's in living recent memory, you know, 1990, it made its day yep. at Tucson. But the reality when Jadeite first was unearthed, it's 800 years ago. Mm. No one's got a good deal on Jadeite. You can't go back 800 years and get it. No. Right? So... This is the emergence of what many, and it's not like anecdotal, it's not like, oh, I met this guy at Tucson that's saying he thinks this is the next Jada. I'm saying the SSEF, the most respected gemological institute in the world, have come out and said this will find its place in the market, which is directly linked to pricing, alongside Jadeite Jade. That's their, their exact quote. San Anscan will find its position in the market among Jadeite Jade. Then you have Cartier, who are the most synonymous jewelry house in the West with Jadeite, mm -hmm. 
who have placed this incre impressive order on. I'm so fortunate to have seen, you know, the, the, it being carved for them. And we've You've got the same rough. We've got bundles. access to the same rough. The same studio. Look, one price, one incredible deal. 30 second clock, please, Dan, if that's okay. Trying to buy every one time. We, we are looking at, you know, 10 of these in the world. Imperial green color, top water, top transparency. We have very, very fine crystallization, single locational, massive caraway. And completely uniformed. Yeah. Completely uniformed, not mottled, which is beautiful too. Oh, that's, that's the majority of the material. That's yeah. how people would expect San Anscon to look. Not many people know it can do this. Clock has expired, your deal. In fact, Rach, I was going to say take 100 pounds off. Forget that, let's half the price. Half it? Half it. Good luck, 249. 249, this unbelievable block. We've only got 10, um, so be as fast as you can. We're just going to take 100 pounds off. We're going to half the price. Hazel, you've got it. Patricia, you got it. Greater London, you got it. Swansea, you've got it. I've got Surrey, Pembrokeshire, Greater Manchester, Hampshire. Someone's trying to get three. There's only five in the world. Oh, my Necklace goodness. Necklace ready mate. to go. Imagine being the custodian of something like this. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine yeah. passing this on to future I'll tell you what, passing it on to future generations, or if you pass up on this opportunity today, imagine seeing what happens this time. Oh, like, no. Oh, I remember when. Um, Jewelry maker, like they had uh, some strands of that. Yeah. Like the same kind of material that's in Cartier, and um, they were doing it for £249. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't have the money at the time, but I did have £49.80, and I could have just spread the payments over five months. And be making with it with those payments. Well you don't done. have to wait the five months. Yeah, yeah, no, it's very unique. Oh my goodness me. I agree. These are opportunities that I will not pass. Will not pass. Look how beautiful it is. And you know what? It's, I, I always you know what's also incredible? Like, the, we never think about this. And when, when, when we're paying, like, um, interest-free monthly payments, like, there are other things in life that you do that on. One of them would be maybe a car, mm -hmm. right, where you, it's not interest-free. But if you pay monthly for a new car or something, you know, a car is a depreciating asset, right? So True. at the end of that term, when you've paid off the car, it isn't worth that anymore. No. That's the reality. You know, That's unless true. Unless you've got like a very special car. Mm. With, with gemstones or, or with certain gemstones and with what's happening with this gemstone, with the market appeal, with different labs talking about it, with the marketing, we've seen it time and time and time again in the 19 years. We've been going 12 years, I think. Here yeah, at, uh, 13. 13. You know, we've seen it with Prem Tourmaline. We've seen it with the Russian Alexandrites. We've seen it with Aquapraise, which is now in Boucheron Jewelry. We've mm -hmm. seen it with... Every gemstone you can throw a stick at. Yeah. And we've gone, wish we hadn't sold it that low. And here we are offering you split payments. We don't learn, do we? And, you know, in years to come when we can't get hold of it, when we are priced out, you've got it and you've got it at the best ever deal. Yeah. Incredible deals, well done. We have this opportunity right now. This cut, I mean, Dave, you've explained to us how this forms normally in granular sizes, so it's difficult to get sort of your beads or your bangles and things like that. When you start influencing multiple facets... Yeah. Does that go up another? I've never seen anyone do this. Like, I've literally never. I mean, the closest I've seen is uh, the, the Cartier piece. Uh, where they yeah, have that yeah, faceted yeah, yeah. kind of material where it's, it goes from being a, a translucent gem to a transparent gem. And that's why you get this exquisite fasting applied to it. How many of these do we have, Rach? 50 available. Right. Oh, <coughs> my goodness. 50 Natural opportunities, daylight. 40 carats. Can we make this one a star by Dan and Rach? Like, this one has to be a star by its biggest quantity. First time I've seen it faceted, properly mm -hmm. faceted. Um, the only other people that are fasting this material are indeed Cartier. We've got supreme transparency here. It's still natural. It's still Sanan's Khan. And I'm going to do a wild deal on this. So this is your star by. Don't miss out. by time this is it you know everything's been crazy deal hasn't it? the bangle went too low on the big bracelet went too low on so for in the context even of this show for something to be a star by you know we've got something really really remarkable lined up for you and to prove that you know forget this start price eleven thousand nine hundred pounds mm -hmm. we have 50 of these do you want to know how quick these are going to sell out my real start price forget you've seen that real start price right now 99 pounds so it's starting yeah nowhere near 50. double figures yeah. Faceted, transparent, top gem, clean, 
San Anscan. So uh, is this baby type B or C? Nope, this is 100% natural. If it was jade art, we'd refer to it as type A. But it's not just natural, it's top grade. You know, it's finely compressed, yeah. minute crystals, and that's why you get the transparency. No fault lines, no imperfections, uh, no inclusions. This glows. And, and this is a, a remarkable piece to get to work into your collection, yeah, whatever you want to create, because it is so different. You know, those asymmetrical, incredible facets, um, which are, you know, positioned all over this wonderful, transparent Sanan scar. Well, in that bangle, the Cartier bangle that you showed earlier on, they were faceted, what I think are four mils, faceted four millimetre rounds. And they have what? Hang on. Uh, one, two, three, five mm -hmm. either, in either side. Ten in, in the bangle. Yeah. Ten. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it is, like it's you said, 70, 70 points, points, yeah. And you've got 40 carats here. 40 carats. I can't believe we've broken through that milestone. I can't believe we're double figures. All I will say to anyone is, if you manage to get through, I know it's, it's busy, if you manage to get through on the phone lines or the app or the web, just multi-buy and trust me on that. Okay, I trust you. So we're you. at 99.99. Let's go to... Let's do a, a 30 second clock. Let's again shock everyone. Let's okay. do something really special on this. So, 30 second clock has started, okay? Um, we're at 99.99. Yeah, this is the lowest price of the whole showcase. Um, in some arguments, we've moved up in grade because we're supremely transparent right now. Yeah. With unique glow. And with the faceting that has been added into the mix, which you only do when uh, you have got a clean material, transparent material. And I guess fault lines as well. You mentioned earlier on about fault lines. Mm. You, you probably couldn't embark on these kind of facets if there was fault lines. Absolutely not, of course, no. Because um, you would, you know, it would be almost like fissures in the gem. So yeah. it would be too brittle. Okay. There's only 35 opportunities. I'm, I'm treating this like we've got 100. We haven't. We've only got 35 left now. I'm going to half the price, 49.99. Still not your deal. What? Still not your deal and nowhere near your deal. Oh. So this is where, when I said to you, multi-buy if you can, do it because we're still nowhere near done. This is a star buy for a reason. How are we doing this? Look, how, we, how? We, we want to give, you know, if we get a, an amazing deal and we bought a lot of rough and yeah, we kind of I got suppose. lucky, we took a risk, you know, it could have turned out that the, 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 the finished goods were really expensive because the yield was so low, but we got a healthy yield from that rough and we were just lucky. Like that, that's the reality. And we that could look, we could look to Cartier, we could look to the SSEF and you know the, that wholesaler that's selling you know earrings for like six hundred dollars and say, well you know let's sell it at the market price or even a little bit lower than the market price. But we're not. We're going. Oh, we got a great deal. Let's pass it on. That's how we're so yeah. different, and that's wonderful, isn't it? The mm -hmm. ethos of this uh, of this this is wholesale market. prices yeah. of of gems that we would look to take and create jewelry out of you know at Gemporia. Yeah. And they say, yeah, we've got this sun and scar, and we can carve these drop shapes. They're yeah. earrings. We'd have to then pay more to have them set. They're six hundred dollars for a match pair. It's not even the grade I've got for you. The next ones are earrings, eight hundred dollars mm. because of the wastage, and you still have got to pay for the finishing as well and the precious metal. Yeah. And cool. then you've got that wonderful. Uh, uh, starfish, intricately carved, $900 wholesale prices. You know, that's 18 karat gold. The one on the right would have to be a brooch. It'd yeah. probably retail for here at like £1,500. Yeah, probably. And that's an amazing marker. Yep. 49.99, 18 left. 30 second clock, please, Dan. I can't believe we're even doing this. No, nope, we are. We're going to go far lower. Oh, Thank goodness, you for trusting me. Thank you for multi buying. History. This, I'm trying to buy you some time. There is 30 seconds right now for you to secure this. Or you can wait for the final price and just chance it. But it is very busy. And we don't have the luxury of having 50 anymore. We have 17 chances. Can you imagine like an, a, a tassel in this or something? A tassel in mm -hmm. sand scarn. Yeah, imagine. Yeah, multiple strands. I mean, how Look incredible. at the way it catches the light. Yeah. Look at, look at the, 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 the kind of vitreous luster because of those facets. You get this kind of scintillation of brilliance, scattering like a domino effect across the surface of these gems. And you've got the transparency, so it has a glow. And that incredible green colour. The clock has expired. 15 chances remaining. I'm going to go 24.99. Oh, my goodness, May. You said earlier on about how you get a Swiss blue topaz for 149. You don't get one for 249. No. What do we get for 2499? I know a court a court candle, site? Maybe a candle. Can <laughs> That's the truth. Like genuinely, like Rach, how many times have we sat in meetings this year alone and said price of all the gemstones has gone up, price of precious metals has gone up. It's really hard to provide deals at 2499. Yeah. Any deal, let alone 40 carats of a brand new gem. Yeah. Like, realistically, you, you guys can watch next door, a lot of you do. 2499, probably going to get you a candle. 
That's not, not even going to get you a perfume. No, no. That's the truth. Like, it's not even going to get you a perfume. And, or, 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 you, or maybe it'll get you a reed diffuser, I don't know. <laughs> That's the truth. Like, you right now have got San Anscon, translucent, top gem. In oh, my goodness. Rubbing shoulders with the likes of Cartier. Yeah. How amazing is that? Single figure price tag, beautiful. One of the few, well, faceted strands that I've ever seen. It is the only one we've done. Yeah, amazing. It's we've only be ever brought you one previous collection of San Anscon. No faceted material in that collection because you have to have the... the the clean goods to yeah. do that, which okay. this is not famed for. No. Like, neither is jadeite, by the way. Like these mm. are gemstones that are, the reason we look at them through a torch and not a loop is because they're not transparent. Like to have something that is fasted, you've got to have an exquisite grade and you just got it for 24 99 so well done. Oh my goodness. Now, I have another bracelet. The first one. Is bigger or what? Um, I think the mill size is bigger on it, it looks it. It's a giant. What's the mill size, sorry, Rach? It's yeah, it's bigger. Sixteen. Ah, uh, look at that. How many of these do we have, Rach? Four. All right. Well, if you missed out on the other one, which sold out, mm. here's your second chance. You can keep it on, and you can put the torch through, uh, just through any one of those rounds on the front. Um, okay. I just want you to see, like 16 mil, the light shouldn't be able to go through that. At 16 mil? Yeah, it shouldn't be able to. Look at that. But it does. My God. Oh, my goodness me. It certainly does. Yeah. Oh. Unbelievable. There's four, though. You're going to need to be really quick there, There's on these. four of these. I wish you the best of luck. R uh, Rach, we didn't even know we had this. We certainly didn't know we had a 16 mil. I'm going to go straight to price on this. Two nine nine. Two nine. I mean, it's four hundred carats. It's four hundred carats. It's a bigger carat weight than the bangle. Yeah. That's the sound of of you know top crystallization. You know, it's not dull. There's not a third. No, no thud. Out. It hasn't got any polymer. It sings. It hasn't got any imperfections which would stop the reverberation of that sound. Like it's prime crystal, so it carries the pitch. It's fifty nine pound eighty if you want it. If not, that that will be gone. Yeah. It, I, yeah, I'm all over these opportunities. It is my newest obsession. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's just exquisite, and it goes if your budget allows and you've got the bangle. Oh, well, look, then you know there used to be an old saying from Tiffany and Co. Like really clever marketing. They used to say because they had exclusivity of Tanzania. They said only available from Tanzania or Tiffany and Co. Right, that was it. it was the only place you get it. If you had enough money for a plane ticket in the 1970s, yeah, go there and try and get it. Or you come into Tiffany Boutique, the only place in the world. I'm saying to you right now, only available in jewellery maker and Cartier. I know where your budget's going to work better. Yeah, absolutely. Where, where your money's going to go that bit further. Now, if you did miss the bangle auction, there are a couple left. Oh, wow. And we I've got my on eye on one of them. We went to three. Unbelievable that we went 399. I hate that you've done that, Rach. I like tried to forget it. I tried to forget that we went that low. I'm all well and good for saying, yep, yeah, we've got a few bangles remaining, but don't put that on the screen. It's embarrassing. We've wait, got to wait. 399 on a 400 carat. So what did we just no, do what that was bracelet for? We did it for 299, I believe. So you're talking less than what we first launched our jade bangles. You can get both. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's an imperial green San Anscan bangle carved, obviously, from one single piece of rough, 14 hours to produce just one of those. Um, Caroline in Greater Manchester. Caroline's actually been collecting jadeites for 51 years. That's amazing. Okay? And she says, Dave and team, I thank you for all the beautiful precious gems you bring. I own this gem. It's super cool. My collection keeps improving. This is someone who's been collecting. I love your, your uh, messages you write in Caroline when you say that you know you remember being a child, like going with your father to try and buy jade. And even back then, it was like 2,000 pounds or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's back then. And here yeah. we are with Sanan Scarn at 399 for a bang. Amazing. Truly amazing. Well done, everybody. Now, I don't know if you know this, Dave, but after our show, when we launched this mutton fat, I ran off and bought one. Did you? Yeah. Wow. And I've had so many comments on it. You will. And do you know what was exciting? And I wanted to relay this back to you, actually, is people are recognizing it now as mutton fat, oh, which wow. I find surprising uh, here. I do. I in do the too. UK. In, in, yeah, in the, in, anywhere in the West. Um, can I just ask a question, Rich? How many of these do we have? 
Uh, 29. 29 of these, not 50, not 49, 29. Is That's 100% that sure? natural. These don't come from boulders, they, boulders. they come from river-worn pebbles that have a, a skin. You have to wade out into a river to find them. And there's like this old romantic um, saying that comes from the Far East, comes from China, has been around for thousands of years. And it, the saying is, and it's kind of illustrate how highly regarded jade is in the Far East. And it's, you know, gold is valuable, jade is priceless. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an amazing saying. But there was also uh, an article written in the Washington Post and the New York Times, which documents the fact that actually for this gem, it's not for jade, not for salmon scarn yet, but for mutton fat jade, it is factually more expensive per ounce than gold. Globally. Like it is more expensive than gold. Imagine, and just the reason I'm saying that is, imagine if that was solid gold. Yeah, exactly right? how much it's going to be. Rachel, you, you, Rachel buys a lot of our you know, gold uh, jewelry in terms of like chains. So she, I, mean, what, I mean, she buys all our jewelry, but I mean, with chains, it is just the gold. Okay, yeah. so don't get confused with gemstones or setting costs. Like Rachel, her whole job is tightly linked to the price of gold. The like when to market. buy it, when not. Yeah. Um, you know, tracking that, trying to get a good deal when when platinum's at a certain price and whatever, and she makes those executive decisions. Imagine what that would be, Rachel, if that was solid gold, like pure gold as well, twenty-four carat. Uh, six figures. Easily. Yeah, yeah. Like actually, you ever tried Hundreds to buy? Of thousands you ever tried to buy like a chain? Yeah. Like a chain of gold. There's no deals to be had. No, it's this like gold market. is gold. Yeah, yeah like it's, market. It's, it's it's global. Yeah. It's tracked. And I've got mutton fat jade here. And again, I love the the the, the way they talk about gemstones in the forest. I mentioned that earlier. You know, it is mutton fat. But there is different versions of Hishan jade. This is where it comes from, you know, um, the Xinjiang province uh, or near the Khotan River on the very western side of China. One location on Earth that produces this top crystallized nephrite jade. This is the original jade. This is what is known in some circles as the emperor's jade. You know, far before they even discovered jade. When we talk about a 10,000 year history yeah. of, of jade, that's this material. Mm -hmm. So... Jadeite, thank you, Rachel. Jadeite has uh, an 800-year history. Rachel remembers. It was you and me, was it, Rach, that launched mutton fat? Okay, we launched mutton fat. Um, on gems. On gems, even before here at Jewelry Maker. Probably, it was in 2020 for sure. Um, and the showcase lasted, what, 10 minutes? Genuinely, I mean, I know I waffle on for a long time. But like from the moment we opened the auctions to it selling out, it was 10 minutes, right? And we had really healthy quantities. In the whole time, in three years, 2020 when we launched it, we've done several versions of mutton fat since. We, have we ever had another strand? This we've is never the only had, one you've had? We only launched one strand. Okay. It was 227 carats. Okay. And we sold that for more than we're going to sell this bracelet for, even though this bracelet is over double the carat weight. Uh, yeah. And so the size of each piece is larger. Huge. Um, again want to take you back to the history. So this is Lotus Gemology. It's a lab based in, in uh, Bangkok, owned and operated by Richard Hughes. He wrote that book that I carry around on Jade Eye. Yeah. Okay, he edited that. It's 21 authors contributed to it. The book that I've got on Jade costs more than this bracelet. Okay? That's insane. Yeah, and he talks about the Jade Pickers in the Karakash River near Hishan, AKA Kotan, many different names, Hishan Jade, Kotan Jade. <laughs> Uh, in Western China, Xinjiang province. And they used to go out in autumn moonlit nights because the best material should glow, right? Uh, and this is like a depiction of that from 1637 AD. And they're wading out in this river. It's still the same today. Um, so there's many jade mines in China, not jadeite, but nephrite. They're all listed there. There's one that produces this material. It's in the far west, the Xinjiang, Khotan. And although we talk and talk about jadeite, we talk about, you know, the Barbara Hutton and whatever, mm -hmm. The most expensive jade ever sold is actually this material. Okay, pieces there like is. this. This one is $18.7 million. Because of the size business. of it. Yeah, it's not that it's, big. Yeah, exactly. But to have that car from one piece is yeah. impressive. It's incredible. Now, as I said, New York Times covered this. Like, it's a nice saying, isn't it? Gold is valuable, jade is priceless. That might be true in the Far East, but not in the West. Like, we value gold supremely. Yeah, of course right? we do, yeah. But globally, Jade from China's West surpasses gold in value. Surpasses gold in value. Not all jade from the West. In fact, they say ounce for ounce, the finest jade has become more valuable than gold with the most prized nuggets of mutton fat. Mm -hmm. That's a grade. So named for its marbled white consistency. Mm -hmm. 
which is what you've got here, yeah. fetching $3,000 an ounce, which is a tenfold increase from a decade ago. Wow. And just to break that down, because, you know, let's, let's do that. Tenfold increase from a decade ago literally means this has doubled in value every single year for the last 10 years. It's crazy. That is crazy. It's like crazy. It's insane, really. Um, and, you know, again, we like to talk about the history of jade and we go, oh, my God, this culture, 10,000 years, 8,000 years. But that's this material, by the yeah. way. Although archaeologists have unearthed Neolithic jade tools along the Yellow River, the Chinese affection for the stone received the lift around 1600 BC when the Shang Dynasty royals took to sleeping on jade pillows. This material signing edicts into law with jade chops and interring their loved ones in jade tile frocks. Legend suggests that only the emperors were allowed to possess the mm. carved, legendary Khotan white jade. I love this that. This is the original imperial the history jade. History is amazing. This, you couldn't own this. Yeah. Only the emperors could own it. And like we showed you that depiction, 1637 AD, Today, New York Times documents it. They're still out there wading in the river trying to find it. There is no mine to speak of. No one knows the primary source. Mm -hmm. It flows from you know, almost a fabled mountain and has been eroded for thousands of years. And I'll show you what they're collating, right? Because it's really important to understand the size of these. 18 mil is monstrous. Yeah. Remember, jadeite, the newer material, can f I've seen it, can form in boulders as big as a, 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 a garage on a yeah. detached house, Car. huge, yeah, yeah, massive, garden sheds, massive boulders. But this material, this is, this is what it looks like. Wow. And then in there, they're hoping to find some marble, like consistent white mutton fat jade. They've got multi buyers all the way from Vermont. This here is the heritage in bloom. It's literally a necklace that is valued at 200 million US dollars. 200 million. At the, the, at the heart of it there, you can see it's got like a, a cullen and diamond. It's over 100 carats, loot clean, and a type 2A. Then it's got hundreds of uh, natural pink diamonds. Mm -hmm. It's got some imperial jadeite. It took 47,000 hours to create. No. And with that, well, that's one of the most important diamonds of the last 50 years. Yeah. The gentleman that designed it is called Wallace Chan. He's actually just done an exhibition in London of his life's work. I hope some of you got to see it. Um, and when he was creating this for the Jewelry House Chow Tai Fu, he almost turned it down because they said, we're getting anything you want. Whatever you want, we want you to create this piece of jewelry for us. They'd sourced the diamond already. He said, okay, I want this many imperial green jadeites, this many pink diamonds, done, no problem. I mean, they're bigger than Tiffany & Co. Chow Tai Fu in, in, in the Far East. And he said, okay, I also want like mutton fat jade. And they said, we can't do it. Like, we, we can get you the imperial green. This is when the mines were producing. We can get you pink diamonds when Argyle was producing. We can't get you mutton fat. Like, not the size you want. He wanted like a bangle size to go around the 100 carat diamond. Eventually, they got it for him. And you can see it. Wow, it, there it, it, is. It, it, it literally halos that diamond. Yeah. And then you see the, the white beads coming out with diamonds set in yeah. the center. They're mutton yeah. fat. Amazing. And even those beads aren't as large as the beads on this. No. <laughs> this is the most expensive gem on earth and even strands the reason we've only done one strand at Gemporia is because they actually uh, average a full strand of certified mutton fat is about $93,000 $93,000 yeah? and I know we're all thinking that's crazy and it's not true um, I'll show you something you see this here this is a, a, an incredible yeah. piece of mutton fat on first dibs you've got the links mm -hmm. you know you're talking six figures five figures this piece here it's $178,000 wow that piece is certified natural nephrite true mutton fat they call it it's, you know, they come in those boulders where they've kept the skin of the boulder on this one, carved it into a pixu. So, so the skin of that, the stone would have been that color. And inside was a chunk Amazing. of mutton fat. It's not the only one. There's one here at 178,000 pounds. My goodness me. These are yeah. available on first dibs, like a website. So I'm not taking you to Christie's. Another piece here, 258,000 pounds. Incredible. And just a chunk of mutton fat in the center. It's also just on a cord. That's what I mean when I say yep. this is far more valuable than gold or platinum. Like in the West, we'd be like, God almighty, that's got to be on a platinum chain with diamonds. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, no, put it on a shoestring. That's the value. <laughs> yeah. The price of a house, right? Yeah, exactly. It is house. a like, lovely house. Yeah, um, absolutely. Mutton fat chunk of jade and the river worn skin of the pebble around it. And you've got, I don't want this to be sniffed at, you've got 500 plus carats. You can see it from this shot here on, no one's even looking at me. Look at, look at Al's wrist. I know. It, you can't fail to miss this. It blows my mind, Dave, the fact that this has formed over thousands upon thousands of years, and yet look at that colour mm -hmm. in the ground. It's pure white, isn't yeah. it? Pure. Yeah. So, um, 
And uh, just before I give you the, the price, and we've only got 29, I want to take you to uh, the Xinjiang province, mm -hmm. right, where they're searching for this. And the Chinese government came out recently and said there's about four years left of mining of this material. It's really? The material has been mined since the Neolithic period. You know, 8,000 years will be gone within the next 10, certainly the next five. Okay. And um, this is what they're trading for. This is the side of the river. I don't know how long this has been collected over, maybe a year, maybe six months. And you can see the colors of the stones that you get. Mm. Very few of the white. In fact, you see that one near the where he's squirting, you know, so he's holding that. Yeah, is that water? That yeah, that's spread. water. You just keep it wet to, to give you the best idea of the color. You see just below that, you see there's one, two, three, four, five, five mutton fats kept to one side. Yeah. Like, look at the size of those. Yeah. You've got to carve them, you've got to cut them. No. This is mutton fat, like, from Western China. The absolute best of the best. Now... From the oldest to the newest. Yeah, so I'm going to take you right now to £1,000 straight away. Not done, but I'm going to take you to £1,000. And I'll guarantee no one beats us on this price anywhere in the world. No. Mutton fat, even if it was 100 cows, no one's beating us on that price. And I'm nowhere near done. But we have 29. I want to give you a little bit of confidence to get involved. 29 available opportunities. And Yeah, you, you, yeah, you can do it. Uh, you just need to press the top. There you and go. You just show everyone oh, this, this crystallisation. By the way, I'd multi-buy if you can. Create the ultimate necklace. I have this. I'm so proud of this. Let's look at that. Mm -hmm. Just the most unbelievable translucency. Okay, 30 second clock, please, Dan. And uh, we, give, we, we give everyone the, the craziest deal. Oh, my word. It's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. 16 millimetres in their size. And you can't fail to admire and notice it. It gets noticed from metres away. What a legacy. Hasn't, hasn't today been just wonderful? We've, I mean, in this showcase, we've covered the newest, in the, you know, the infancy of Jade to the oldest and possibly, well, not possibly, definitely, um, within the sort of realms of it actually running out. So how amazing is that? That here at Jewelry Maker, a little shopping TV that we can cover such history. How incredible. Okay. Um, I'm going to call one price and then, Dan, if it's okay with you, can I have one more 30? This is my final auction with you. Elle and Rachel and the team still have an incredible showcase. I wanted to finish on this, so I'm going to do something really ridiculous. I'm going to go to 499 right now, so half the price. 499 is crazy. 499. Th these are the biggest rounds we've ever had, ever. Yeah. Of mutton fat. They're Definitely. Th some of the largest you'll find anywhere on planet Earth, genuinely. Yeah. Like I, I struggle to find any comparison. They're 18 mil. They're nearly two centimeters across. Yeah, that's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, and they're pure mutton fat. Especially when you look at that, that you know, that that trader. Yeah. You know, that that's what I mean. Like when you look at, if you want to look at jade rough, even nephrite rough from uh, there was a millennium boulder from um, North America that was sold in the 2000s. I think it was 2000s. Mm, yeah, yeah. For the millennium boulder, and it's it's as big as a house. Yeah. Right? And it was like, valued at ridiculous millions. And you hear stories of jadeite boulders like that that are taken into villages and they're like, oh my god, we're going to carve it open. They bring it in in like a tractor. This is like. They're bringing this out of a river. Right, I'm at 499, we should be here. I'm not going to, my final deal. Always like to go out of the bang if wow. I can. I know Elle and the team still have the most remarkable collection to bring to you. Uh, Rach, straight down, 299. 299 for the historic, the history. Glowing. Glows, you know, it does glow, it has, it's pristine. Yeah, they, they, they talk about uh, the glow. Yeah. And the, the, the consistent marbled white consistency, they call it like yeah. a, uh, a, a tallow like luster within the body of this gem. It's completely pristine and it's natural. Like, Rach, again, like as one of our you know, senior buyers, imagine pearls of this size. Like would 18 they be mil pearls. Would they be too? No, they'd be far more. And, it's, uh, and, and I, I think it's fair to say pearls, you, you, you can, can farm pearls, pearls right? Yeah. You can farm pearls. Yeah. You can't farm. This will be gone in four or five years. I imagine I then. wish you could farm mutton fat, Jade. Like, yeah. I'm sure the world wishes you could, but you can't. Absolutely. Like, an 18 mil pearl, even fresh water, which are the most widely uh, mm -hmm. available, the most affordable. Yeah. 18 mil bracelet like that uh, would be, even a Gemporia would take the smallest margins. You'd be looking at probably 499. Yeah. For a bracelet. Which is incredible. Yeah. 
apps it's, it's incredible to be in three figures mm -hmm. let yeah, alone the lower numbers mm -hmm. My goodness me, the final seven. Final now, seven opportunities. Um, oh, Linda, you are in for a right treat. So you're asking, we, we haven't got none next door, not even for our birthday. And um, Elle and the team have got strands coming up of the legacy, glowing, mutton fat, natural <gasps> jade from the Xinjiang province, from the Khotan River, from the Karakash River. 10,000 years of history, they are gigantic. They're huge. They're larger than the only one strand I've ever done on Gemporia. Even these strands are. What, okay. what and, are and what I'm going to do, actually, Linda, because you've taken the time to message in and I, unfortunately I have to leave. You, yes, you're going to bring that out and I know you're going to tell everyone about it. Rach, I'm going to come in and see you and I'm going to authorise, just in case you might get in a bit trouble, I'm going to authorise a special deal for everyone. Okay. Because, uh, you know, I've been doing crazy deals all morning and it's okay for me to do that and, you know, whatever. I'm not going to allow that to Please. go because I'm going... Rach, we're going to figure out deals on the rest of this whole collection. So you've seen how low we went on the Sun & Scone bangle, how low we went on the Sun & Scone bracelet, the ridiculous deal we've just done on the 18 mil bracelet. If you like these deals and if you're in love with these gemstones, stick around because I'm going to go in there and me and Rach are going to bash this out and you're going to get the most sensational deals. Um, stay tuned. I know Deb has an amazing masterclass coming as well at midday. So you've got the most incredible show coming up. Do not go anywhere and I'll see you all very very soon. Oh, isn't he just wonderful? Always a real pleasure. Thank you so much, no Dave, um, to have you in the studios. Now, let's bring you the only strand that we have of your beautiful Kotan mutton fat. Again, look at the glow, look at the quality, look at the translucency, and they are absolutely huge. If you, got, if you had the budget for the bracelet, I didn't know there was a strand. I've got this. I bought this when it was first launched. I love it. I absolutely love it. I didn't realize that there was a strand that I could potentially make a, an amazing, amazing matching bracelet with. I'm just going to do something. And, I, and lovely jewelry makers, you've probably thought ahead on this as well. And I know they're different size. For me, I don't think it really matters. But if you got hold some of the San and Scan, can you imagine that? Because I think we're onto something here. Imagine having the, the, the youngest and the oldest of your jades because you've got nephr like, we know mutton fat has been around for thousands of years tens of thousands of years imagine teaming it alongside your san and scarn just alternating i mean wow how incredible is that now i don't know rachel have we got quantity of these is there many available 23 okay okay 23 available I'll take that. That's a good quantity. Let's never lose sight of the fact. You know, Dave's quite openly said before, the days of us having actually 100, 200 quantity in any of your jade varieties are way behind us. We know that. But the reality is when it comes to your Motan cut and fat, uh, <laughs> Kotan mutton fat, rather, um, we never had those kind of quantities. This is something, like you just said, is not is is, is alluvial mind, effectively. Um, it's not big, vast bulk. Boulders. So 23 is a huge quantity. I encourage you once again, after you've made your confirmations, to price compare, but make sure, sure it's like for like. Now, Dave has bowed out of the studio and left, given approval with Rachel to take this to an amazing, amazing deal. Let's start by getting this full 38 centimeter strand. Significantly larger, I believe, than the only necklace that was done on our sister channel. Just to get the wheels in motion, we're at 499. Just to start. Already collectors getting involved. This is why I'm sorry, I'm gonna jump on my soapbox once again and say, we need 18 karat gold clasps. You know what, jewelry makers loss? Go on to an auction site, go on to your Ebays, go on to uh, um, Amazon, wherever it might be, and purchase an 18 karat gold clasp because that's what Kotan mutton fat deserves. Or, as Dave said a few moments ago, in the East, they simply, or they simply cord it, don't they? Because the value is in the jade. Are you ready? There's a load of you getting involved. Oh, it's beautiful. It glows, especially against the skin. 
without doubt one of the world's most valuable gemstones and we're at 299 pounds again I, i'm going to ask that question that dave mentioned a few moments ago we know that cotan jade we know that mutton fat is more expensive ounce for ounce than your gold so can you imagine if this was solid gold the price that it would actually be and there's no negotiation with gold either we can't go i'll tell you what we'll give you this much the bullion market price is the bullion market price we've got 13 of these all around the world getting involved hello to you hazel libby hello to you london jane Anne and margaret in cumbria hello to you amelia nice to see you you've got yours as well i've still got collectors who've got it in their baskets says don't worry there's still 10 opportunities but um and don't let that put you off dialing through if you see your name right now you've done it amazing we're a little bit delayed here in the studio than what's going on real time um so fantastic we don't see any of the name there just yet make sure don't worry if you've confirmed you're all good if you are Anne or maker or milliby or bridge end or uh, South Yorkshire, another maker or Maria, make sure you're checking out to guarantee your success because you are possibly going to uh, miss out. We can always wish list it though. What an amazing deal. Now I've got one more deal. We're going back to San and Scarn. Okay. Uh, ah, here we go. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Going back to our San and Scarn, your Imperial Green. The future is San and Scarn with Cartier taking it under their wings. This is totally natural. And it's one of those few rare opportunities to get the gemstone in its faceted form. Straight away, we're going to take it to a price point. But I don't know. You know, really, it's not difficult to make, I don't want to say comparisons because that's inaccurate, but, you know, you want to see San and Scarn elsewhere? Go to Cartier. There you go. So do you see a double figure price tag in Cartier? No. You can't buy the boxes for that. Um, here we are bringing you one of their newest, most exciting launches in their faceted three mil size. Not too dissimilar, actually, from the ones that were cut included in that cactus uh, bracelet. Straight away, we're under £100. Now, have we got quantity then, Rach? 41 that's good. 41's good. However, it's, you know, coming up to midday, Saturday, jewellery maker, we know we're busy on a Saturday. We know there's a lot of people maybe not working. You've got up, you've had a nice lie-in on the weekend as you rightly deserved. And you're thinking, look at this mesmerically beautiful gemstone. It is going to be fast as fingers first. Dave has allowed us a little closeout deal on your San and Scarm, which is just bananas, quite frankly, when we're talking about a gemstone that globally, never mind just here at Jewelry Maker, globally is in its infancy. We're at 1999 it's hypnotically beautiful isn't it and it's all mother nature there's no oiling there's no diffusing there's no fissure filling there's no polymer impregnation it's all that premium quality when san and scar naturally forms um in granular like sizes here we are bringing you Oh my goodness me, the faceted variety. It's so much harder to do faceted rounds. I only had a handful though, at under 20 pounds only. I've got the final 23 available. Um, you know what to do. And I'm thinking back, Deb's mentioned earlier on, didn't she? De I guess designer Deb. She mentioned earlier on about doing that beautiful bracelet. Can you imagine doing that bracelet with San and Scarn? It would be unbelievable, like a wonderful woven cuff. Um, yes, you'd need to multi-buy, say, let's say three, but that's an incredible piece of jewellery. And 19.99, what an amazing closeout deal opportunity. The quantity is absolutely flying. These could be your little spacers. Um, yeah, let's do it, Rach. Let's do it, because that's beautiful. Sorry, Rach was just asking me a question. I might be able to bring another mutton fat bracelet, she says. Shall we? Shall we? Oh, my goodness me. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Yeah, I've got one more opportunity in your, uh, in your mutton fat. I'll leave that there. Um, did you say bracelet?
A strand of eight mils, did you say? Oh, yes, definitely, because eight mils with those 10 mils. Can you imagine a graduation? I don't have it here, though, because they were the 10 mils that I just showed you. But we know what an eight mil round looks like, don't we, jewellery makers? So if you can imagine the 10 mil... Ah, oh, here we go. Um, could I ask you as well, Lauren, sorry to be a pain, lovely. Have you got a blackboard, a bigger one, a big blackboard? Because... Um, I do this quite a lot and Dan I don't know if it's possible to do the overhead but if you're thinking about the long ropes which I, we're a fan of aren't we Debs? Yeah, oh, yeah. We love. Imagine knotting this, I'll just wait for the blackboard one second and creating that beautiful graduated necklace. I don't know anywhere else. If our wonderful um, sister channel Gemporia has done one singular strand I don't know how many other places can actually bring you a rope of beautiful natural cotan jade now i know that this is tied together but you get the idea don't you you can visualize it you're creative people you have those amazing skills and talents and furthermore you can make this dream a reality can't you look at that imagine that being a custodian of a graduated natural mutton fat necklace knotted with uh, with your cords or silks or whether you choose to further embellish it um, like that incredible necklace that dave showed earlier on halo in one of the cullen and diamonds now rachel do we have many of the eight mil 52 available which means slightly larger quantity slightly but we're still talking about cotan here mutton fat we are still talking about we could sell this back into the industry if we want to do that's not what we're about of course look at that water content the bigger the quantity the better the deal but we need to see you there what did we take the 10 mil strand to? Do you remember? 299. Sorry, 12 millimeter. I beg your pardon. So 299 for the 12 mil. Oh my goodness me. Let's match the 12 mil price then. Just to, again to get those wheels in motion. We should not be able to. And I, I liked it. And you know, there's certain Davisms that you say, and I, and and I and I and they stick with me. Like he said, I've got no business in owning this quality of jade. We should. We've got no business being able to talk about the same kind of gemstones. Really, look, we could sell them, of course, but they'd be a completely different price point ordinarily. This is the ilks of your first dibs, your Sotheby's, your Christie's, and your Bonhams. We are talking about the most valuable variety of jade in the world. World. let's get this under 200 pounds we're talking about the eight millimeters this is madness and i'm going to tell you we're going again look at that how few pure white gemstones there are i just love the story uh, i don't know is my mic on yeah oh, I, sorry i'll just um I love the story of them, how they find them. That really resonated with me mm -hmm. about how they go and they're in the uh, in the river and it's been worn down through time. I just think that that story, before you even get your hands on it, makes me want to own it. Yeah, 100%. Mm. 100%. I'm teaming it alongside as well, just so you can see alongside the San and Scan, because you imagine those two as a piece of jewellery with a set, let's say, look, and I know they cost money, not that as expensive as we think, actually, because 18 karat gold, you can go to somewhere like Cookson, get an 18 karat gold yeah. cast. Can you imagine that on a necklace? I mean, that is something, again, that you're making that you couldn't afford to buy. No, 100%. I'm not yeah. too proud to admit that. I would not be able to afford that piece Me of jewellery. Whereas with Jewellery Maker, if I, could, if I learn, I can create that piece of jewellery. Um... There are 37 available. We are talking about your eight millimeter beautiful Cotan uh, mutton fat. It's one of the most popular uh, sizes and shapes and we're under 150 pounds. That's insane. It is insane. We've just shown you, you know that stamp that, that fetched one of, one of the highest prices in all of your jade that was Cotan mutton fat as well. Did you notice how it was an off-white color? It wasn't yeah. pristine. Natural too. Look, and yes, it will have loads of history behind it. It'll be from some kind of dynasty that I don't know about. I'm not educated enough to know about that. However, millions upon millions of pounds. 
Here we are at 149 for that same natural component. It's not reconstituted, it's not polymer impregnated. £37.25 on split payment. Maker, London, you've got yours. Pembrokeshire, amazing. Margaret, amazing. Um, hello to Essex, Lynn, new customers getting involved. If you got one of the Cotan Jade uh, bracelets, which I did when it was first launched, and you're thinking, okay, well, here's my, here's my opportunity to, get, to maybe create the matching necklace. How amazing would that be um, but be quick though because this is a special one-time deal make sure you are checking out to guarantee your success there was only a limited quantity there might well be a little bit of a delay um, a little bit of a, a, a delay on our call screens but you can still absolutely absolutely do it ah the story I agree when we talk about the oldest jade it's coat and mutton fat that we're discussing okay now what we're going to do lovely jewelry makers is leave this running you can still get hold of it you can still check out your baskets still got loads more to bring you as well um we have um natural topaz strand coming up we've got amazonite tanzanite uh, multicolored spinels and we've got your wonderful masterclass with the wonderful debs who has these beautiful brand new premiere class so make sure you don't go anywhere lovely jewelry makers uh, check out your baskets we'll be back after this oh. to do to apply for Britain's Next Gem 2023 is email guest designer at jewelrymaker.com with the subject title Britain's Next Gem 2023 and include your name, your specialism, how you fell in love with jewelry making, how long you've been making jewelry for, an image of your proudest piece. For more details on how to apply, visit the Jewelry Maker website. Oh, and good luck. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight, or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, and I'm back with our lovely Debbie. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, okay, she, you've never been. You've been here, haven't you? I've been, been here the whole time. Been away. I have, and just trying to catch a glimpse of everything that I want. How amazing. Sand and scone and mutton fat. I know, and, but, and the prices weren't what I thought they were going to be either. No. And I love that our split pay was in five in some cases, so that did give people the opportunity to... Yeah. Absolutely, because we all work on budgets. Listen, I, I don't mind saying I use split pay all the time. Oh, so do I. All the time. Oh, so I. Because, you know, if I'm buying one of those stretchy bracelets, rather, this it's not like you're paying whacking great interest either. It's 0%. It's a no-brainer. I know, yeah. absolutely. I don't mind telling you that. Make sure you check out. Well done to every single one of you, truly. Do you know, if you think they look beautiful on our screens, wait until you yeah. see them at home. That's they the look thing. even more amazing yeah. at home. Speaking of beautiful, look at the jewellery that we, are, we have coming up in your masterclass. Ah, uh, I've moved it, sorry. Keep I just on our toes. Because I need to refer to it. <laughs> My arms aren't that long. No. Um, just stunning. And, and of course... Brand new. Brand new uh, magnetic clasps. And you've got, obviously got the lion one here. I've also got an elephant, but... Um, and all, but not only that, your gemstone strand is actually knotted already, which for oh. me, who doesn't love knotting, I have to be honest, I don't love it. I used to be absolutely useless at it, but with coming back here I find and having, that hard to believe. Well, just I don't know. I just wasn't very good. I, I always had a gap between. The, but now it's just practice. Now I can. Do Nobody it. wants baggy knots. No one wants gaps in their knots. No, definitely not. <laughs> No baggy knots, no gaps in their knots, absolutely. No. You get the strand and it is already knotted. Well, that, that feature is a clasp. It's a magnetic yeah. clasp as well. So those are coming up within this hour. We've got loads still, still to squeeze in. Um, and our lovely Rach says, I tell you what, let's do 10 minutes crazy auctions. Amazing. Shall we start with a bit of bling, a bit of sparkle? And you said earlier on this morning that you would... I know, I know I'm freezing. Um, <laughs> um, you said earlier on that you... <gasps> My <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, right, gemstone not. bling. I'll do it. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Don't, don't, don't touch the merchandise. Um, <laughs> how about a steal of the day? <laughs> oh, look at that. Even from distances away. What are you, Chris? About two, three metres away from me right now? About that, and yeah, look at that performance. It's amazing. It's so sparkly. I love it. And me, I do. I adore black spinel. It's always one of those gemstones. If ever I'm asked by um, by Wayne, no, no, what L? What showcase do you want to do? Black spinel. I always say black spinel, um, because it's one of those. It's a red carpet gemstone. Oh, it would go beautifully with your cotan, for example. Um, and you know, if if, the, if it's good enough for the likes of Angelina Jolie, Sandra Bullock, Maisie Williams, who was pictured pictured wearing it on the red carpet, wasn't she? Black spinel, Gemporia on the red carpet. Mm. Um, yes, yeah, she was. Yeah, uh, Jennifer Aniston. It's good enough for them. Certainly good enough for me. How about a bundle? Seven strands. We're going to do this in two price crashes. Yeah, it's lovely. So easy to do that, Rach. So easy to do. She's like, I like how it's twisted like that. You could teach her how to make that into a necklace. Yeah, that's so easy. And, and, and are these three mil? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you see that it's just like the perfect size because getting gemstones, ge actual gemstones this small is amazing because you can just bundle them all together. Yeah. It's incredible look. It's big wow. Um, there's only 31 oh. opportunity. Think back to Michelle Yeoh wearing that black spinel and black opal necklace where she has literally multiple strands draped across the decolletage. It's this, isn't it? What? 
No, that's seven strands, mine. That's very good. Oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, you get all of them. All seven. Oh, sorry. Wake up, Deb. I didn't realise that. Seven strands. How much is that a strand then? I can't do that math. That's stupid, man. Um, <laughs> no, under four pound, either. maybe. Can we do twenty four ninety nine divided by seven? It's it's less than four pound, isn't it? Three fifty seven. Few. That's um, amazing. That's so amazing. Isn't it incredible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that'll do for me. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. I, d I mean, I don't know if we've got the time to do this, but if you Google Michelle Yeoh, I think it was the uh, Cannes Film Festival. Yeah, black spinel, black spinel necklace. She's wearing this amazing black and white gown. Yeah, she looks And amazing. she's got like drapes, little strands like this, basically. Well, it's not little. That, mm, Scroll down. Yeah, she had white on. She had black and white on. That one, there it is, in the middle. In the middle, bottom. Sorry, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, there, no. Bottom, middle. That one, there we go. There she is. That's black spinel that she's wearing there. Can you see? Black spinel and you've got a big black oh, opal nice. there. Oh, Unbelievable. Nice. Look how beautiful she is. Just wearing multiple strands, so draped across the very elegant shoulders. You see, you could you could recreate that with that. You Especially could have, at this price. Definitely. You could do bead, bead embroidery for that big um, sort yeah. of cabochon. And then you would just um, take the strands off of the backing. And Oh, I want to recreate that. That's do it, do beautiful. it, do it, do it. That's your next project. I'd love to. That's really stunning. I reckon you could. I reckon you could. Amazing. Full, full, full of sparkle. I mean, look at that. Right. Let's bring you some more beautiful blues. Let's do some amazing tans tonight. Now... It's, this is crazy, seriously, <laughs> there's only 25 available. We know that it's not, a, it's not a coincidence, round is not a size that we normally see in Tanzanite, is it? That's because it's all thrombic, it likes to have a longer C axis, a longer length basically, like your ovals and your trillions and things like that. Making strands like this incredibly rare. Um, look at the quality of the colour. We've only got 23 though, so we're going to do some quite, to quote Wayne, fast and pisey deals. <laughs> <laughs> fast and Pisces, Al. Fast and Pisces. Right, oh, Wayne. Um, we're at 19.99. A simple beaded bracelet. Yeah. Like, say, take some of those, one of the early bird clasps yeah. that we had this morning. In fact, I've got it here. Um, one of the early bird clasps that we had this morning. Turn that, bead it onto something yeah. like, a, I don't know, tiger tail, whatever you wish. How much would that be as a Tanzanite tennis bracelet elsewhere? Oh. Um, over a hundred pounds. I mean, yeah. if you look at Tanzanite in, I had a little I had a time to kill the other day, and I had I was looking around um, our shopping centre in the jewellers, mm -hmm. in the different jewellers. Well, flabbergasted isn't the word. Like, everything's gone up so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. And you know, Tanzanite, anything with Tanzanite. In oh, it, people know it, don't they? Yeah. That's why people know it. Um, love this next strand. It is brand mm. new. Do you remember that? Topaz strand that I brought you, and I think there was about 500 yep. um, during the birthday celebrations. Well, this is it's from that supplier that produces some of the finest. Is there is there a big quantity of them? Right, okay, because Rach, I don't know if you know the story of this one. There is a story behind this strand, and it absolutely deserves to be a star by. So good luck, everybody. It's one of those strands you know what i'm talking about and it's going to one of those prices Okay, now listen, I, I'm not going to reference any PowerPoints. I'm not going to give you the big wordy presentation. We all know that Topaz is a beautiful, genuine gemstone. I always refer to it as the um, one of the most brilliant stones, not as in, you know, well done, Topaz, as in <laughs> it has the, some of the most amazing brilliance, yeah. you know, um, often actually uh, uh, um, surpassing that of diamonds. Um, we know that Topaz can be faceted more times than diamonds in certain sizes, namely what's on your screens right now. So you can have more facets in a topaz than you can a diamond but what i want to talk about is the fact that we have multiple suppliers all around the world of course and there was it was about a year ago a strand that arrived here in the studio well 
we knew about it, obviously. And every single one of your jewelry maker team were like, oh my goodness me, have you seen that topaz? And it became known yeah, as yeah. that topaz. Yeah. Um, you might have got involved in that auction. Now, what that topaz, which I brought to you, sold out entirely, entirely. And we went back to, and there was a big quantity of them. I think it was about five, 600 of them. We went back to Wayne and said, you need to go back to that same supplier because they are exceptional at cutting. They are exceptional at sourcing some of the most pristine clarity and see if you can get more. Um, and also the price was incredible. He was successful, but he only got, I think it was a more limited quantity. Wow. It's that topaz back again from that supplier. This, was, this is deal of the day worthy. If we had, and I've got 300 for you this morning, this afternoon, if we had, if we didn't have the salon scar, this would have been your dealer day. Because I know what this is going to. It's unbelievable. And, you know, as jewellery makers, to be able to indulge in pristine, eye clean Brazilian topaz of this grade, you know, they are like beautiful faceted round diamonds, but with yeah. more scintillation. Yeah, they are. Um, and also really affordable. So just wanted to know that this is from that same supplier that brings you that, that topaz that we had back in our birthday celebrations. But jewelry makers, 300 might seem like lows. When I tell you we are not closing anywhere near this next price crash, you're going to soon see the phone lines, the web, the app absolutely skyrocket. No way near. You're right. Absolutely. I love it. Rachel has just said, I think, look, we've probably actually got about three, uh, about 100 to sell because people will get threes. Do you agree? Especially. You've just heard the price. Yeah, well, the price we're going to. And well, it just will, the ultimate design possibilities for a strand like this and the quality of it, I would agree with that. Do you see what I mean? This is what this Ooh, is. Th no, no, no. There's not enough people on the phone lines. No, 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 jewellery makers. No, no, no. I get it. Saturday morning. I don't think you realise how amazing this deal is going to be. We're already at an amazing price point. Um, we have 300. We, I know our clock's not working and whatnot, but we need one of those little sirens. You've got some sound effects, haven't you? The, si the sound effects. <laughs> Sound effects are fairly pathetic. My favourite is the hoo, you know, the little, the little, the little, little tooty. What are they called? Those ones. The hoo, yeah. hoo, hoo. But you know when they actually do it and then they go, hoo, hoo, it's that one. You just it's, point to me and I'll do the sound effects. Okay. <laughs> we need all, all the horns and bells and whistles going off right now. Are you ready, jewelry makers? Back. By very, very popular demand, Hong Kong Kong. It's <laughs> <laughs> our lovely Rachel. So, Rachel oh. sounds like a very angry duck right now. Uh, 9.99. I know we're doing our own sound effects right now. Honk. <laughs> is that a duck or is it a goose? I don't I know liked either it. way. I liked it. It was good. I mean, I could, I could pull out the turkey, you know. Oh, go on, I love <laughs> No, amazing. We had 305. <laughs> it is a strange sentence if ever I've said it. Um, <laughs> we had and then me going, six. oh, go on, I love yeah. your turkey. <laughs> <laughs> It's the strand that's done it to us. It makes us go all giddy. Um, yeah, I launched it. Yeah, exactly. I launched the first <laughs> ever Topaz strand back. I th I'm sure it was last birthday, not the birthday just gone in May, the birthday yep. previously before. We had over 500 of them. They absolutely flew out the door. We went back to exactly the same supplier and said, look, give me more. We want more of those. He, we had a much li more limited quantity um, and they sold out again. Guess what, lovely jewellery makers? This would have been your deal of the day. Um, if we hadn't have had the actual sun and scar, it's easy to understand why. You know, there are very few actually colourless gemstones that we have the opportunities to work with and work with in abundance. Yep. Um, to say that we're working with quality topaz like this, um, what? Or are you? Okay. Have you got a honker horn ready? I'll have to improvise. Imp let's improvise. Is it now? Right, ready? Ready? Sorry, I'm sorry. I did oh, my best. We haven't got sound effects today. <laughs> I know it does. Maybe not do the gesture. Okay. <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> <laughs> $7.99. That is... Oh, you know. 
I'm not sure about your interpretive dance of that. No, we should have got Chris on. He'd have done a much better grab job than me. Seven pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Look at the quality of the topaz. Can we just say for a second this is genuine topaz? We're not talking about crystal. Mm, no. We're not talking about glass. Swarovski would have cost more than that. Exactly that. And these again Which are is... that magic three millimeter size. If you've got the kits this morning, this would go beautiful with those, wouldn't it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, those you... spaces as well. If you've got the spaces. Yeah. We'd have paid more than that for something like your fire polish or yeah, your. You crystals and those kind of things that is actually such a good point like if you put fire polish or like some other you know i do i love that that it's got its place but manufactured this, they're it, made it's plastic. they're created it's yeah not real I this is a genuine yeah. gemstone yeah, yeah that's it's got the point. scintillation the fire the dispersion the rarity the intrinsic value a third of the stock um is already gone we've got people getting sixes and fives devon's got five julie's got six dorothy's got three kent's got two karen well done i'm approaching three full rows of names jewelry makers we had 500 back in the birthday not the one just gone the one previously and they absolutely flew out the door and i'm fairly sure it was more than 7.99 by the way um, back then yeah, I'm just... fairly sure it was um, good luck everybody I'm gonna leave those final five with you just because time is ticking you can still get hold of it now I'm gonna squeeze one more in oh it's a favorite it's a firm favorite you know Ooh. I love Amazonite as much you, you love Amazonite I absolutely you? love it oh, it's just like for me do you remember do you remember showing my age here now but do you remember like the um, uh, bounty advert you know, where she's like in this lovely yeah. tropical, yeah. just with the waterfalls and, and everything. It was Bounty, wasn't it, that did that? It, the coconut yeah, was, and whatnot. Yeah, it just yeah. reminds me of that. It's a beautiful variety of your lovely, um, uh, oh, of your feldspar. Beautiful. That's pretty, isn't it? That's We're going to go stunning. straight down to it. No dilly dallying. <laughs> on the way. Don't dilly dally yeah, on, on the, the way. way. There you go. Um, <laughs> three, two, one. Go, go, go. Woo, woo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but it has to be done. It has How to is be that three ninety nine? We've got no sound effects. Our customers might be over the moon with that because some of our sound effects. <laughs> I like the fact that we've got Debbie improvising. Your sound effects are way better. Mine are rubbish, but. We no. need some sort of fanfare for this. Amazing. Three ninety nine. Absolutely incredible. Stay where you are on those phone lines, and it is time for us to dive into your um, into your amazing kits now. Um, I wonder, Chris, could you scoochy scoochy? Thank you, lovely. Um, scooch scooch scooch. Um, two kits, simplistic in their components, because. With Sometimes when you add like loads of things in a kit, people think, oh, well, I don't want to add that. I don't want to add this. Yeah. The beauty of these kits is you're the designer. Yep. You can add whatever you want from your stash, which is the point of these, mm. into this kit or keep it as simple or make it as advanced or as intricate as you as the designer want to do. So here is the lion. That's the lion. And you also have an elephant. I've got the elephant. He's on my beading mat. So you're going to be demo. Now, be these are not just amazing, well, pendants, aren't they, effectively? Yeah. But they're a clasp. They're a magnetic yeah, they clasp. Are. Now, I'm duty bound to say that if you do have a pacemaker, obviously avoid your magnetic clasps. Um, however, if you don't, they are revolutionary. They are. Because you've got no more messing around with fiddly bolt press or anything like that. Um, they find uh, um, one another. And they're beautifully decorative as well. Now, alongside um, these amazing components, and I don't know which kit you want me to start with. Which Should we start with... Should we do the lion first? Yeah. Where, I haven't got those. Yeah, there should be two more. Is there two more kits? Yep. Is there? Wait a minute. Well, I'll take this time just to show you these. So there's your lion. Oh, he's a handsome chap, isn't he? Boop. Sorry. Look. Three-dimensional as well. And here is, if I just swap hands, is the elephant. It's an elephant. Here's the little elephant with a happy upturned trunk. So the elephant is teamed alongside, am I right in saying, is that angelite? It is blue opal, is it? Blue Peruvian opal. I think it is. 
on my wrong. Wow, amazing. And then you've got your red, um, then you've got your red Jasper. Um, okay, but let's start. Let's, oh, these kits are insane. Insane. Rachel, we're about to blow your mind with these kits. Which would you like me to start with, the black or the green? Right, because, have you seen these? No. Honestly, they're the maddest kits ever. Do I need them? You definitely need them. <laughs> because Ooh. I have... This kit in, in the storage includes a master carved elephant. Oh, he's a beautiful one. He is, isn't he? Oh, he'd be lovely with the class, with the elephant class. And again, uh, me, I'll get it. I, I'll try. I'll get him out of the packaging in a second. But he is drilled through the top there, so you've got a double side elephant with the tusks. And then let me just put that down. You also have. A tiger. Can you see him? In the same kit. In the same kit. Ooh. How awesome is this? Is this kit? Wait a minute though, because you even get your beautiful cord and a meter long length strand. And you might think it be thinking, okay, that's what onyx. Yeah. Spinel maybe. Yeah. No, it's type A black jade. Eye. No, it isn't. It is. It is. But it's so, yeah, it's so... Can you open lovely. those for me, lovely? Yes. These kits are insane. 600 carats of certified natural type A black jadeite. And I'm going to tell you, I know what these kits go to. Ooh. It's the price of one of your carving. Seriously? Yeah. For, for all of it? You get everything. Well, look at me open this like it's Christmas. I know. <laughs> Hang on. Sorry. Um, Look, just to get the wheels in motion, let's get it under five hundred pounds. Um, that's yeah, I agree. I agree. That's the price of your two carving straight away. Look at the elephant. Oh, the elephant's got like um, his face is so realistic. Oh, he's lovely. I think he's my favourite elephant carving I've seen. He's amazing, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Can you see that detail? Look, he's amazing, isn't he? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So you get, there's only 13 of this kit. It blew my mind when I first saw it. 12 of them left already, collectors getting involved. Um, look, even if we were to bring you the tiger and the elephant, 250 pounds, it's black jade. Black jade doesn't form in large, large sizes. That's why we really ever, really ever, ever, ever get carvings in your black jade. I'm never saying never, but really get it in black. Well, See what I mean? That's the price of your tiger carving. Yeah. Or maybe your meter long length strand here yeah. at Jewelry Maker, never oh, mind yeah. outside of these four walls. No. And everything else for free. That's super amazing. You've got to check them out. Look at your split payment. And you know, if you might be thinking, uh, if you're new to jewelry making, you might be thinking, okay, I don't know how to not, I don't know how to do this. Do you know what? You can walk it into a jeweler's and they'll do that for you. It's about yeah. getting the rarity of black jade. There are only 10 of them left. Immediately, we've got regular collectors and connoisseurs getting involved. Um, London, Alison, Cynthia, Catriona, Tracy, Oxygen, new customer maker. Plus, you've got your what? Is it four-way four split pay? So under 50 pounds. That's, I've not seen this before. One of my favourite kits, I think. Oh. It's amazing. You know what I'm going just, to just put in there, don't you? What? Pearls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pearls. Always pearls. And some of that topaz. Ooh. Some of that topaz that we just had as well. Yeah. I mean, just a couple of those to give you that diamond brilliance. It would go so far as well. That yeah. big, that big, it's a metre. It's think? a metre long length That's strand. Really Look at how that. lustrous that is. Yeah, it's really, it's wet. Almost. But do we all agree that this, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just, no reason really just saying the tiger on its own could be that yeah definitely hold it so you can actually see it sorry um here we go the tiger on its own could be 199 oh, yeah, pounds he's super lovely handsome chappy isn't he yes. um the final two sorry tracy cynthia cumbria Allison, london london wendy uh, good luck we're over allocated on that one told you you'd love it um okay now i've got another amazing kit now this one has only ever been on it so uh, uh, on our screen once so will be a premiere to many people um and this is in the green what is it i want to see i'll open you the i'll give you these to open oh thank you oh no way oh i love this color right how much do you think a meter of type a jade should be a meter. 
Because no that's like, I think, what, two and a half of our usual strands, isn't it? A lot. <laughs> yeah, that's like two and a half of our usual jadeite length strands. Well, this is it. This is it. Rachel, we do 38 centimetre strands and they're normally 199. 199 for 38 centimetre strand here at Jewelry Maker is awesome, isn't it? Absolutely Hello. awesome. You've got the cord. There he is. Um, hop, two, He's got a... three, four. Keep it up. <laughs> two, three. He's got a drill hole at the bottom as well. <laughs> <laughs> I see on your <laughs> I uh, don't ask me to do a, a sound effect to this one. I can't do it. I can't do it. To, but look at him. Purr. Purr. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it just reminds me of that. <laughs> Have you seen that video? And it's like, um, it, well, it's actually a photograph, I think. And it's a true story. These hikers over, I think it was in Canada or somewhere like that, and were followed. They were being stalked by a mountain lion. Oh, yeah, I have. Yeah. Um, down and, like, you know, they're throwing rocks and everything yeah, to yeah. scare it away. And at the bottom of this video, it says, does anyone know what the opposite to... Boos, 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 boos. <laughs> Because it's true. What's the opposite as it go away to the cat? Pistol. A water pistol. Oh, a very big one, maybe. There you go. You've got lavender colours. Look at how incredible these kits are. Oh, I love this. And one. you don't need to add anything, do you? You've Nothing. got your cords. How many do we have, Rach? Oh, not many. 34, but that quantity is plummeting fast. Oh, a metre of your type A jade. Let's... Do what? Match the price of the last kit and then say we're going lower. I oh. mean, there's, there's lavender colours in this. That I mean, that's more than okay. Very okay. Very, very, very okay. I've got my eye on this kit. I would not, I would be, I don't, I'm not rubbish at knotting, so just simple beading. Put some of the topaz in there, away you go. Rosary link it. Oh, I love it. You go twice as far when you rosary link kits like this. Rachel's saying she doesn't think she'd be able to knot. Oh, no, you would, Rach, because you'd use tweezers, you don't use your fingers. There you go. You definitely would. There you go. Oh, we'll teach you. Or not so much me, because I'm rubbish. Now, we have quantity, but they are flying out the door. Yeah, the tiger on its own should be the price tag. One, four, nine. It's hand carved. Again, you've got the drill hole at the top, so you could just suspend it. You could use the pinch bales. That would work as well. Um, don't forget the little elephant. Look at him. He's ever so cute, he is isn't very he? Cute, isn't very, he? very cute. And a full meter long length strand. We had quantity, but they are proving to be incredible, po incredibly popular. No surprise there whatsoever. Um, and would you team it alongside? Yeah, it makes sense. With the lion, with the elephant that's uh, coming up with our lovely Deb's kit. Whatever you tour on, uh, you tour on, I'd like some. It's basically tea. Tea? But Co it's special jewellery making tea. Sleep deprivation. Got gemstones in it. Not really. I wish we did have special jewellery maker tea. Yeah, no, we do, no. Um, it's sleep deprivation, certainly in your case. Anyway, <laughs> in my case, it? I go giddy at this time. So I'm yeah. Like, oh, it's yeah. just I'm just a bit of a wally, thankfully. Uh, yeah, that's all. So am I. There's am no I excuse. To keep... There's no excuse. I'm like this every day, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just... It's all good. Okay, you just, it rubs off on you every so often. Well done, everybody, on that one. Kathleen London, Angela, Angela, Alison, Maker in London, Hazel, Jay, County Antrim, Oxfordshire, Julian, Tyne and Ware. Hello, everybody. I've got the final seven opportunity. And I'm putting this away just because, look, it even comes in its own little storage yeah. box. So even after you've made your kit, you've got, you've got yeah. further storage for I you to that. use. How awesome. Again, I've got to ask, uh, or make a statement really, not really ask a question, but if you were to see, I don't know, the tiger on a, say, let's say, 30 inch knotted jadeite necklace in Sotheby's, it's not going to be 149, is it? It will be money that I could never afford in Same. a million years. Same here. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody. Congratulations to you. Are Hop, two, three, four, keep it up. My granddaughter goes, mm -hmm for an elephant yeah <gasps> are we ready for some brand new kits Yay, some brand new components um right housekeeping have we got quantity oh 67 of the blue opal and how many of the red jasper 
77 of the red jasper so they're not massive no and there's brand new components okay shall we start with which one you choose which I'm just looking at the number of knots in there, and if you charge fiver for the knots, how much that would be without any of the gemstones and even the clasp, because it's being knotted for you. So you've got a couple of choices with a strand like this. You can either keep the knots, keep because it will go over your head. It's big enough. Yeah. Or obviously you can do whatever you want with it. You can take it off. Of course you can. You could. You don't have to use these components together no, if you, you do don't not. want to, because no, no, no. I'm trying to remember what these kits are going to, and I can't remember. Oh my goodness, that's insane, yeah. isn't it? Um, so let me show you, because you've got a magnetic clasp. Your lion is actually a magnet. Yes. Um, which, firstly, I'm going to draw attention to the fact, can you see how it's a cup? So it's a very, very, very strong magnet. And what that basically means is when you clip it together, see what I mean? He's not going to slide apart, basically. No. Look at how awesome he is. The detailing on, um, on your metal. So, and he is 925 sterling silver. He measures about 18 by 19 millimeters. So, love it. He's going to stand beautifully proud on the decolletage. He's beautiful. Yeah, the king of all beasts. Is it, and also, you know, when you think of this colour, this red jasper colour, I always think very root chakra. I mean, I'm into all this. I know some people aren't. But, it, you know, it makes me think of courage. It makes me think of energy. And I, I associate those two things with the lion as well. So I don't know if that was deliberate, but I quite like the gemstone that's been put in with this, this lion clasp. And it's little things like this, these details, these unusual components that really make a piece, in my opinion. Well... That's a necklace. Yeah. I mean, I put these together because it was in a kit and that's my job to yeah, use them course, together. Yeah, of course, of course, yeah. But if I had bought this kit, I would keep my necklace knotted and I would use the lion either as, like, down here hanging from and mm -hmm. maybe put a tassel on it or something. Yeah. Um, or I would use it on a different piece of jewellery. But you also get the uh, cord as you well. You get the cord as well, the yeah. nice red cord. Um, now, this is limited. It's natural jasper. It's knotted for you as well. I like the sort of the sizable knots too. It really creates a lovely... I like the colour. Yeah, the lovely. Wow. Yeah. Brand new magnetic lion clasp. When you think about what lions symbolise, you know, they are considered to be, like, protected. Courage, courage, power. power. They're um, obviously Very family, family yeah. yeah, family orientated as well. Um, yeah, and, and and the male line in particular, isn't it? It's about that protection. Um, so. These are going to fly out the door, aren't they? And I just think it's something that is very much any age. Um, Gents, ladies, there is only a limited quantity, though. Brand new lion magnetic clasp. It comes with the cord as well, which, by the way, is a 0.9 millimetre, so you can use this for all your knotting, too. Definitely. Um, we are going to cut the price in half and then say these words. We're not done. <laughs> We're not done. Love the lion. Do you know, what I love about both of them, actually, is because elephants are um, symbolic of family as well, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are, yeah. So it's very... I think if you're making... If you're thinking about Christmas makes as well, you've got this beautiful autumnal kind of seasonal colour in your gemstones and in your cord. Yeah. But then you've got this really unusual lion clasp. There's a lot of sterling silver in that clasp. Yes, there is. I know I always bang that. on about this, but as someone who often buys it um, on a weekly basis to mm -hmm. make, to work with, uh, and it's going up so much that it always strikes me when there's so much of silver. And you'd have to cast something like this. Yeah, I was going to say, could you make something like you'd this? You'd have to cast it, and then you'd have to set a magnet in, and, and you know, so... It would be hours of work. Yeah, I bet. The phone lines have lit up. Good luck. We're not stopping at forty nine ninety nine. How much would you? How much you? In all honesty, expecting this magnetic class to be. It's not just a generic round magnetic no, class. Sizable. It's very sizable and it's a, a beautiful detail. The kind of magnetic class that you would absolutely wear front and center. Thirty four pounds and ninety nine pence. Plus, you're getting your knotted, um, your knotted red jasper, which is a wonderful, rich poppy red. And of course, you've got your additional pre-threaded uh, nylon cord. People multi-buying on this opportunity. He's a handsome chap, isn't he? He's lovely. And I, I particularly like that 
the colour of the uh, notching in between the beads, which is why I put pearls in mine, because obviously the pearls matched that colour. But if you wanted to put a different, just because it's knotted, even though that is a win, um, but if you want to knot it with the red cord that comes in the kit, of course you can do Yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah, it's going to complement. Yeah. Absolutely. That's the reason why it was put together. Um, look at the quantity, though. We're rapidly approaching half the stock being allocated. Angela, Devon's multi-bought. Well done. W uh, Wiltshire, Alison, Nicolette, London, uh, Kathleen, Linda and Sharon. Um, it reminds me, because there's a, there's a children's story called The Lion Inside, and it's all about being courageous yeah. and, and things like that, you know, doing things that uh, uh, um, you know that maybe ever so not you're scared to do but you know having confidence, confidence in yourselves and your own courage. actual ability yeah. you know and we all need that even as adults don't we from time to time you need that little in injection of confidence De and courage I remember speaking to our lovely um, Claire McDonald guest designer Claire McDonald she was wearing a, um, a tiger's eye bracelet and I was like oh I like your bracelet she was like yeah I just felt like I needed a boost today so you know you're very much into the metaphysical yeah. side of yeah, gemstones yeah. and I know this isn't a gemstone but it's a symbol all the same it is and also the fierceness of the lion um, and in some of the carvings as well. Um, I've been in temples before where people have said, I've said, why have you got all of these kind of carvings with fierce lions and dragons and things uh, next to the really serene Buddhas? And I was speaking to one of the monks, I think it was a school trip I was on with one of the kids. And it was so interesting. And she said that um, what you do when your mind is full of negative thoughts, sometimes you have to get fierce with those thoughts and put them to the back of your mind so that you can be positive. Oh, I love that. So this can be a symbol to me of, you know, no, no inner critic. Like, you know, I was, I was trying to encourage people to enter uh, our, our next gem. And I was saying, tell your inner critic to be quiet and just go for it. Absolutely. And jewellery like this should... Um, kind of reflect that story that yeah I agree do, do you know what I mean because we all have self-doubt or we have people maybe yeah I get it I totally agree that so this could be that reminder now do you know what can we have a look at the necklace mm. and I just want to explain um what you can do here so I've actually taken the actual jasper in half and then I've added some of actually their links from a chain but if you've got the kits this morning you can use those lovely yeah. thing, uh, connectors that we had um, and I've put it in half and then I've not actually knotted some pearls on the other side because it matches the knots on the jasper um, and put the line in the front just because I think it can make a really eye-catching I agree design and yeah. I actually had some other smaller jaspers in my stash that I've put between the pearls but of course, if you want to be a bit more minimalist, you can use that knotted strand to go straight over your head. Because when you think, I don't know, even somebody amazing at knotting like Jan, Jan yep. Dwyer, it still takes time. Of course it does. Yeah, of course it does. Now, hang on a minute. We had, what was it, 70? Yeah. We've had a pretty amazing Saturday. I've really, I've loved every minute of today. It's been, it's been, yeah, it's gone, it's gone so fast. Now I'm just actually putting this down back a bit because of my mic. Um, I don't want to leave 20 in the vault. I think this, this kit needs to be worked with, needs to be worn. But just to show you, yeah, over the top of the head, there's look no glass. That. That, look how simple that is. How about then, jewellery makers? There's loads of you with it in your baskets, but we want this to be an on-screen sellout. It's a brand new clasp. And again, might be the tip of the iceberg to these kind of ideas and concepts of your magnetic clasp. We might see the lion today and the elephant. We might then see, I don't know, who knows, a mermaid, a dolphin, a dragon. You never know, do you? Um, let's... Rachel did say we can maybe squeeze a few more pennies and pounds out of that price tag but it does need to sell out. Whether you're the first person or the last person, everybody will benefit from this price drop. I just wanted to show you how easy it is. That looks so lovely on you. And again, there's something about this colour that reminds me of the original Marlers. Let's drop that price. Good luck, everybody. Good luck to every single one of you. Twenty nine ninety nine. I would be for. more than happy with that price tag for the Lion Magnetic Class. Would we all agree? Yes. 
for the magnetic clasp, but the fact that you are getting beautiful jaspers alongside that as well is absolutely awesome. But with this kind of deal, we need it to be an on-screen sellout, lovely jewellery makers. They're brand new, premiering today. Um, as ever, if you've got any questions for our lovely Debs, we'll be, uh, who'll be demoing as well. Um, you're demoing with the elephant kit that's coming in a few moments' yeah. time. Um, rapidly approaching your single figures. Oh, the single figures. Hello, Lincolnshire. Hello to you, Nottinghamshire. Mary and Jerry, Cumbria, Christine, Elizabeth. Hello to you, Richard. Chantal, hello to you, Valerie and Sarah, Patricia and George and Susan and Cheshire and Barbara and Northamptonshire and Nottinghamshire. You need to be checking out those baskets though to guarantee your success. Rawr. 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 There you go. Um, yeah, love that. I'm going to leave the final eight and we're going to dive into the next auction um, because elephants, and I've spoken about this at length before, um, you know, I've shown you presentations. Elephants are incredibly poignant during, in jewellery, aren't they? really and and they resonate with a lot of people my mum used to love elephants and she had elephant jewelry elephant statues elephant everything and i think elephants appeal to a lot of people well, we're very we? similar to them aren't yeah. we you know they're very uh, family orientated yeah. um the whole herd raises the babies yeah, I love that. they mourn they're dead as well um, <laughs> what are you talking about, Rachel? Um, they mourn, they're dead. Do you know, they're incredibly, whilst, you know, they're obviously huge in their size, they can, they feel daisies, don't they, with their feet and they won't crush it. I know. Just, they can feel, like if there was a little flower on the floor, yeah, they can feel it with their feet and it won't get crushed. They must have like a lot of nerve endings yeah. in the soles of their feet. Well, they and, communicate in their feet as well, don't and they? And with their little trunk, like if you see the babies, and it's just so, and you know, they just, they're symbolic of so many things, aren't they? Like wisdom and family, family and determination, uh, determination, memory. They have yeah. an amazing memory. Yeah. Well, even when they walk past, say a family member has passed away, where that elephant died, they will remember that location. They're just fascinating creatures, aren't they? Absolutely. And they can run also 35 mile an hour, which I find quite impressive. That is impressive. You know, that's shifting. I couldn't shift that They're far. a symbol for luck as well. Yeah, yeah. And Hinduism, of course, they're lots of different religions. So lots of meanings behind the elephant itself. Mm, that's true. Um, look how pretty that is. And it's knotted. You don't need to do anything if you don't want to. Can can I just say this is not, this is blue opal. It is blue opal. Um, we were talking, weren't we, before we went to air this morning about. I was asking you about how much it costs to knot. Yeah. Um, if you take it to a knotting service, and I'm way behind the times. It's five pounds now. Yeah, yeah, about, yeah. It's really it? expensive. But on average, we don't know everywhere, but no. about five pounds on average. So five pounds. If you took this to be knotted, it, they charge you five pound per knot. Yeah. Wow. Look, uh, when I was in the jewellers, what, 25 years ago, I used to, um, one of my favourite colleagues, bless her, she was in her 80s when I was there. And she worked there her entire working life. And her role was knotting, knotting pearls. Oh, really? Knotting pearls, gemstones, etc. And I used to stand and just watch her and watch her and watch her and just talk to her. And yeah, back then, 25 years ago, it was £3 per knot. So, yeah, it's incredibly expensive. Um, right, let's introduce you to the elephant, shall we? Because he's yeah. a, or she absolutely amazing. Hello. <laughs> so cute. Oh, bless. Upturned trunk is a happy elephant as well. I like that. I was just going to say I like the shape of the trunk. That's so cute. Lovely. And you've got the four legs, which you don't often actually see no. in elephants uh, in jewellery, do you? Yeah. Where you've got that level of detail. You are rushing in for this one. I think I do think we are a channel of, uh, of elephant lovers. Every time mm. I bring some kind of elephant charm or motif, they always absolutely fly out. Um, you've got a huge carrot weight of opal here as well um, in this full 360 uh, necklace. Straight away, Devon, 150 carats um, with those wonderful for azure blues aren't they effectively like your lion and i will show you in a second it's a magnetic class that has that cup which means it's that much it's like a, it's like an extra lock in the door does yeah. that make sense it gives yeah. you that extra peace of mind crashing to your price point remind me again of the quantity 67 of these available oh my goodness but they're going, I mean, again, I'd pay twenty nine ninety nine for the elephant itself. I would too. And I think especially at this season when you're thinking about gifting, 
Um, we all know people that are so, so in love with elephants. Yeah, so I who think couldn't if, love an elephant? If, you gave, if they're a crafter and you gave them the kit, that's lovely. But if they're not and you made them something, yeah. how lovely. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Um, make sure you are checking out. And again, you couldn't put the elephant at the back, could you? You'd have to wear the elephant at the front no of the No one puts elephant behind. You need to be able to see him. Yeah. No totally hiding agree. him. Totally agree. Who's your favourite elephant? Dumbo. Dumbo, Nelly. Dumbo's tragic, isn't it? I'm not going to lie. That, that film traumatised me as a child. I, but his big ears, and then when he, he wraps himself up in his ears, when he's bashful, oh, I love him. He's I so know. Gorgeous. Tragic. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a little bit. Disney yeah, films can be quite traumatising. Absolutely. Like the early ones. Like Bambi. Oh. No. I remember Willow watching Bambi for the very first time, and she was like, what's happened? What's happened to the mummy? I know, and then you have to, yeah. Nothing. Uh, final 23 of these, Jane, Cheryl, Angela, Yorkshire, Mary, Angela, Linda, Olivia, Valerie, well done to you, Margaret, G uh, Gerda, County Antrim, Maureen, Yorkshire, Jay, Chris, make sure you're checking out, there's a whole heap of you loving the elephants, but there's a limited quantity on this kit, already down to the final third of stock, teamed alongside the beautiful blue opal, loving these, absolutely loving these, do you want to see how it opens, and it's diff more difficult with tweezers, obviously, than it is on a piece of jewellery, there's your my, uh, oh, sorry, here's, there's the magnet. This side, can you see the little cup? So it stops it sliding effectively. So you pop them together, there we go, and it clips into place. And it also means you haven't got it kind of distorting at the back. So it yeah. um, keeps it perfectly aligned. Final 16 of these. Hi, Alwyn. Hello to you, Jill, Christina, Susan. Again, check out your baskets on this. Over the hand, if you want to separate the components, if you don't have to use them all together, you know, that's a necklace in its own right. It is, and I, and I think it's just been sensitively put together. I like the colour of the cord in between the beads. Mm. I would choose that colour. And then you've got some extra as well. So if you're making anything to match or you're going to do the technique that I'll show you in a minute, then you can use that cord. It's a lovely colour. Amazing. Um, well, speaking of, keep on dialing through everybody, um, which is what... Which are you going to demo? So I'm just going to talk through how I did the, this necklace. Mm -hmm. um, I decided to keep, keep it knotted, but I wanted to do something where I use, still use the clasp. And so yep. this is what I came up with. But of course, you can just put it over your head, as we've said before, and, and use the clasp in a different way. So I've added some, some shell pearls from my stash and some smaller uh, jaspers as well, and a couple of... Uh, links from from a, a paperclip chain beautiful okie doke okie doke so if you get your knotted let me check i'm in frame yes i am if you get your knotted necklace and you decide that you want to keep it knotted and do something a little bit different with it then you could do this technique the great thing about this is i'm only going to add some sort of jump rings to make this design so if i got sick of it after a while i could just take the jump rings off detach the other strand and then just have it as it was originally so nothing's written in stone with this design i think it's very beautiful as a knotted necklace and I might actually use this elephant as, as, as a tassel oh, yeah. because I think he's absolutely beautiful which is my, my kind of style in wearing jewellery but to do something a bit different I thought let's do it this way so what I did was I got my uh, strand and then I sat all of my beads next to each other just to decide what was going to be the top and what was going to be the bottom. So this is actually going to act as the clasp. So the clasp is going to be down here. So you need to ascertain the size of your necklace. Uh, so you would need to know how many beads you need on this side. And that would depend whether you want it to sit as a choker on your decolletage or however you want it to sit. So you will have worked that out, first of all. Now you do get, which I'm just going to bring into shot, these amazing um, cord which you're going to be able to knot some other, whatever you like, you're the jewellery maker. But what I decided to do was use the rest of the shell pearls that I'd used on the red jasper. And I had some lapis left over from a kit. So I thought, let's keep it all in this sort of blue tones and then just add in some pearls. So my finished necklace will look like... Oh, look at that. Like that, which is something a bit different, you know. I maybe. love it. And also, you, then you could take it apart later if you decide. A bit wolf and badger, that is. Do you think? Yeah, I think Ooh, so. Oh, thank you. Okay, so what I did is I wanted to make this so that it 
first of all, when it sat on you, it kind of sat together like that and didn't just crinkle up. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can use a plain jump ring that will do the job. It'll need to be a larger jump ring, um, but these beads aren't huge, so that will work because I've tried it. But what I actually used for the Jasper was a link from some of the paperclip chain that I had left from a kit. So in that case, what you would do is open up your paper clip chain and decide where you're going to want your beads to sit together. So ideally you're going to want two knots to sit together so that you can actually fit your link. I'm going to bring that more into shot. So you can fit your link through both of the knots. So this is nothing that is permanent. This is something that could be undone at every any time if you changed your mind as to what you wanted to use it for and then what that does is it acts it's nice and flat but it can also be done with a jump ring and it will make that sit flat and I did that about three or four times all the way up so that it sat next to each other on my neckline so I did, just did that ever uh, however many beads that look pleasing to the eye and just keep popping up so that's all there was um, to that side on this side I took my um, cord, which comes with a needle on the end, and I just popped all of my beads. I worked out how long I wanted it to be before I started, and I popped all my beads. I just put them on the needle and popped them all on to my cord. And then what you're going to want to do is pop a jump ring just on the very, very end of this strand. So I'm just going to pop my jump ring on there. And you can either add your jump ring here and add your clasp, or you can actually knot onto these. So I want my little elephant to sort of be sitting in the middle there. So I'm going to knot this part onto this part of the, um, of the clasp. So I'm going to just take my... The first knot's quite easy. I'm just going to take my cord, pop it through the loop in my elephant... Now you can do it where you use some French wire and, and do, do a real sort of proper pearl knot, but I quite like the look of this colour um, and the knot, so I'll show you what I did to make it secure. So I'm gonna, just going to do a basic overhand knot, and I'm going to do it a couple of times, okay, so that that is now on there. Now I wouldn't ever just leave it like that. When I finish doing my necklace I will take some of the um, hyper cement glue and just and it's got a lovely thin point and I just go all the way over the knot and leave it to dry and that will secure my knot and also it makes it mouldable so if you're not too keen on the shape of your knot when you're finished you can go in with your pliers and kind of squish it a little bit and it will mould because you've got the glue on there. So I wouldn't ever snip any tails or anything off until I'd added that glue. So then what I did, I didn't knot between every single one. I just popped the, um, the beads down. And of course, you could knot in between every single one if you wanted to. But this is quite a thick cord. So, you know, that's not going to go anywhere. And you're not dealing with a whole necklace. You're just dealing with a little bit um, on this side. So once again, you can either choose to pop on a jump ring on the very tip of the other side or I actually used another one of those links from the paperclip chain so you can either knot directly onto the strand but that would make it more permanent or you can knot onto the jump ring which means you could take it off if you wanted to and this is where we just use our tweezers so I'm going to just pop the end, and the other end has got a needle on, so I'm going to pop the end through the jump ring, and I've got this into a bit of a muddle because I'm trying to keep it all into frame, but we'll just pull it through until we get down to where we want that knot to be. There we go. There, and then we're going to do our knot. So there's loads of different ways to do this, but I tend to make a circle and put my gemstones through so that you end up with your knot here. And the way to actually make sure that that knot sits where you want it to is you have to put your um, tweezers through, 
hold on to the base of where you want your knot to sit and just give it a pull so that it actually the knot will travel so you don't have that gap that we were talking about. Now I pull it as far as I can and then I don't tighten it completely. I take my tweezers out but you can also do this with pliers and then I just push the pliers along and it tightens the knot up so that now that knot is lovely and close to, to the jump ring and then I would pop some glue on there. Now obviously I've moved everything out of the way so that you can see it but your gemstones will be nice and close and so then if I get if I get the um, necklace that I did with the lion Oh we've got a message for you Debbie saying uh, love your designs Debbie they're gorgeous and that's oh, Liz and Oh thank away. you Liz that's a really lovely um, lovely comment thank you I appreciate that. Yeah they always are they are. Always are. Our lovely. viewers are lovely. So if you look on this one, you can see that I knotted with the red cord onto the link from the yeah. chain and I just attached the link onto the clasp. And then on this side, all I've needed to do is put the link from the chain, which is essentially a jump ring, but it's just a different shape, onto this. And as I was saying, I've put these links from the chain all the way up so mm. that when this is on the neckline, it sits next to each other rather yeah. than getting tangled up. And then um, that's all there is to it. You've Look just you've knotted onto your jump ring or whatever you've decided to do, just in two places, so just two knots, and then you've added your jump ring or your chain links, and then again up here to keep it nice and flat, and uh, and that's all there is to it. But you know, I love it. I love these kits. I love all the components, like I said, whether you use them together, thinking outside the box like Debbie, you always do. Um, or if you just go, you know what, I'm just going to wear that as is. Over my top of the head and I'll use yeah. the magnetic clasp elsewhere. Yeah. Um, make sure you check out now because those kits are getting very, very, very limited. They've been super popular kits. I'm not surprised. No, I'm lovely not for Ellie as well. He's lovely. Um, or Dumbo, whichever one you want it to be. <laughs> Other elephants as well. Um, now, it is time for us to show off your fabulous creations. Um, and fingers crossed you can still enter for the draw, which happens on a Wednesday morning. The only stipulation is that they are jewellery maker products. Up next is the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Oh, welcome back. Our Wall of Fame, number 611. Someone's been very busy and what Ooh. an amazing stand. That looks amazing. I bet, Vera, you're a busy lady. How well is that stall set up? Yeah, because you've got the Amazonite at the top. You've got the height, you've got the interest. Yeah. You can see everything. That's beautiful. Loving that, Vera. Uh, Vera says, morning all at Jewellery Maker. This week's entry is a selection of necklaces and earrings. All thanks to Jewellery Maker and also thanks to your amazing creativity, Vera. That's absolutely amazing. Well done. Uh, number 612 is from Anne. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, Anne. Um, tubular netting, is it? Oh, it's a tubular beautiful. netting, yeah. Hello, I made this kiss cross necklace from 6mm agate bundles and 11 and 8 uh, wire end guardians and a magnet clasp all purchased from jewelry maker i love it and so i hope I. you like it too um, good luck to all in the draw and it's beautiful a vision of summer i think but I also think autumnal lovely. yeah At i think oh, it's beautiful oh you know, i got excited this morning driving to work and 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 yours has actually made me think of this um but yeah i drove to work and i said like, oh the leaves yeah the leaves the crunchy yeah, leaves are, are falling they down are, i noticed that love it uh number number 613 is from christine look at that Ooh. is that is it cool i think that's paracord isn't it? <coughs> oh that's so clever um christine is saying this is paracord ah. um i find all i have to do is clip on a charm and whatever uh, to change the look um i like it as it is um could we have some more paracord please also some s class i use uh, could you obtain in silver with two large rings we shall do our best and relay back that back to the team, Christine. Paracord is still as popular as ever, ever. And I'm wondering, do gems do that, Rachel? Do gems do paracord? You know, because it's very, what's his name? What's his name? Like the, um, who am I thinking? Bear Grylls. Oh, Bear Grylls, He always yeah. wears them he and does. Beckham and whatnot. Um, over to you. Uh, 614, Norma. Hi, Norma. Carrie. 
Oh my goodness, that's is that fluorite? Pretty. That's beautiful. Hi all, can I please enter this faceted fluorite set to the Wall of Fame this week? As always, good luck to all in the draw and a big thank you to all at JM. That's so beautiful. Lovely, I mean, Norma. absolutely stunning, Norma. Good luck. Um, I've got 615 and it's Linda Jones. And she says, good morning, JM. My entry for this week's Wall of Fame is a fully knotted type A 12 millimeter round green jadeite necklace. And it's finished with a sterling mm. silver toggle clasp. All components are from JM and I hope you like it. Good luck to all. It's beautiful. It's classic. It's elegant. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want to wear that? No, well, you don't need to reinvent the wheel when we're talking about something Good as rare luck, as that. Good luck, Linda. That's stunning. 616, Barry. Hi, Barry. Barry Harvey. Here's my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. The huge box of goodies that I bought on one of your under £10 days arrived and I couldn't wait to start using the items. This is a longer length necklace made with jade nuggets and sunstone faceted rondelles, spaced out with black and white seed beads and finished off with a gold toggle clasp. I don't really think I need to say everything from is from jm love and magic to all at jm and my fellow waffers and that's barry ah barry, wow. bless you barry barry got Aww. some good bargains you certainly <laughs> did well done now between now and the top of the show we're going to include the last remaining opportunities of something that i relaunched it was a showcase they absolutely flew i know it's one of your favorites as well uh, it blows my mind. Gemstones are cool, aren't they? They are super, Very. super, super cool. But when you've got a gemstone, that's also fossilised life. Yes, it, isn't it? Just amazing. Do you mean the coins? Yeah. Here we go. It's madness. Like this, gemstones for me, it's amazing that they have formed in the first place. But then, if you look within, particularly the, sort of down here, can you see... Oh, they're epic. Look at yeah. Fossilizations that have literally been captured in oh, the gemstone itself. That blows my mind. How cool is that? Now, these are last remaining opportunities. I know, I know. Twelve ninety nine. Look at that. That one is incredible. That one with your, that you've got your thumb on. That one is amazing. This one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's incredible, isn't it? Look at them. They're all different. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I'll lose hours looking at these, see? That one. You know, like show and tell in school? <laughs> yeah. You'd want to talk, take this in and go, look, this is life that, that occurred millions oh, of years my ago. My kids have done that when they were little, taking gemstones. Yeah. And show and tell. Yeah, I, I made them a set. I didn't get them back, though. That's the only thing. It's uh, fine. It's fine. Um, like amber and stuff. But look. Life, millions of years. Is it me that can just almost see that? It almost looks like, I'm not saying they are, but you can imagine the life that was yeah, perfectly yeah. preserved. Now, I don't have the time to go into the whole presentation talking about what fossil jasper is. It's basically jasper that has occurred around a fossil and that has been perfectly, perfectly preserved within the gemstone. It's just incredible. Yeah, you should get it for gems. It's got the coolest story, Rach. I'll send you my PowerPoint if you want. Um, it's got the coolest story behind it. Yeah, because it's millions of years old. It's just amazing. Have you ever heard of dinosaur bone as a gemstone? Mm -hmm. Where di the dinosaur bones have been literally uh, um, um, perfectly formed by a gemstone. Might be, it might be a quartz, it might be a jasper, it might be whatever. Um, but that perfect cellular structure. It's, amazing. it's the same thing with your beautiful... I can tell how excited I am. I'm such a nerd, aren't I? These are just a little bit of magic, though, aren't they? Are they 12 99 Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. But they're last of stock, and look at the call screens. Oh, no. I, I think it's going to be one of those that you get now, or it's going to sell out, uh, and you have to wait until we order it again. Let's do the 12 millimeter rounds again. We'll lose ourselves in this. Let me just get a piece of paper so that you can see them properly. Here we go. Oh, cool. Look at this one here. I know. Oh, look at... Oh, that is absolutely incredible. I like little wood lice. I'm not saying they are wood lice. <laughs> but like, like a million-year-old yeah, wood lice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It could also be flora and fauna, couldn't it? it yeah, it could. I'm not necessarily saying... So, you know, we get excited about amber, and one of the wonderful things about amber is it preserves life, doesn't it? Yeah. I guess. Not literally, but no. captures the beauty of it. Um, hello, Amanda. Hi, I bought uh, I bought these when you launched them, and I can't stop looking at them. Yeah. No, I get it. I totally get it. I'd yeah, be the that. same. Just amazing. Who needs a storybook when you've got beautiful gemstones like this? Beautiful. How many have we got, though, Rach? 
43, and there's a load of you there. Maeve, Wiltshire, Swansea, Catherine, Gwen, Hilda, Carol, Diane, Patricia. You need to check them out. Limited in their quantity. Totally natural. I know. Totally They're natural. Just magical, aren't magical. They? Just I've got magical. one more to bring you. They're still in stock, but we're running out of time. So, ah, oh, the perfect graduation. I love these. Why haven't I seen these before? Uh, they were relaunched. Ah, uh, they were. Oh, looks like almost like a little fishy. The price is one. really amazing because I've been to gem fairs and seen cabochons made of this, and they're like thirty, forty pounds each. Yeah. Look at that. A that butterfly one. wing or a fish scale or something like that. Just so cool. So clever. So cool. Um, and all natural. I love the colour palettes, everything. What's not to love? Seven ninety nine. amazing. Phone lines have gone nuts. Absolutely nuts. Do you know what? I'm all about encouraging the younger generation into um, your amazing gemstones and things. And I know if I put these in, uh, you know, not so much Tiggy, she's only two, but if I was to show Willow these, she'd be like, oh, yeah. Wow. Definitely, and it just gets them interested and learning, and that they absorb information. Little ones like sponges. They are like they? little sponges. Little sponges, mm -hmm. and it's amazing what they remember. Yeah, amazing. Look at that. Millions of years of life, effectively, perfectly preserved, and amazing, genuine gemstone. And like I said, gemolo uh, gem gemology is fascinating, isn't it? You yeah, know oh, how yeah. you've got to have the fur. You've got to have these different chemicals and under the perfect pressures and, uh, and intensities and geological uh, conditions, and then add to that a fossil. I mean, like I say, blows my mind. Um, defying the entirety of Mother Nature's whole decaying process. It's, it's amazing. amazing. We're running out of time. You can still get hold of yours, but they are flying. Can we say a huge thank you to our lovely Rachel for coming in um, yes. to uh, sort of join us on the Saturday morning it's been wonderful thank you also to Chris and our gorgeous Dan most of all thank you to you our lovely Aww, Debs when you're back you. I am back on the 29th I think not next Thursday the Thursday after oh that's with me yay oh is it no it's not no, it's not. Anyway, I'm back with you in the morning. One hand. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm back with you in the morning. Have a lovely afternoon. We love you. Love you. And we love you.